didn't really mean that. We'll take a break and we'll be back right after this one. More to come when the Howard Stern Show returns in a moment. 97.1 The Eagle. You're listening. You're listening. Listen up, everybody. Two, two, three. Howard Stern Show. Yeah. Howard Stern Show. Rock me, baby. Hey, now. Hey, now. We got to, um... <laughs> Jesus. That is loud, baby. I love it. I can't even talk over it. Man, that's so loud. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Anyway, I didn't want to get started with this, but uh, maybe I'll do it for a couple of seconds. There were some guys outside. Robin got confronted by them downstairs, and so did Gary Babafui. They have a rock Baba band, Fui. and they can't understand how I'm not putting their rock band on the soundtrack. The well, movie. they they know why, because you haven't heard them, but they know if you hear them, <laughs> you'll stop everything and put them on their, on and that's, their soundtrack. And that's always funny to me. <laughs> But these guys are the Jesus twins. And, they, and they're downstairs yelling at Gary and calling him an idiot. And oh. they're calling gorilla names. And, you know, you just can't even get out of the building right now because and, of them. Because they even have bodyguards. But these guys aren't even known yet. But they think they're famous. The bodyguards were calling you names. The manager was calling me names. The bodyguards were going, why is Howard being such an a-hole? Like, nobody... They're just the worst jerks. Yeah. And but you should see that this bodyguard is bigger than all outdoors. It's like, oh. where did they get him, and how do they afford him? And why would these guys need a bodyguard? I would love to know how they make money. I they would don't. Love to do know. they? Well, I mean... They have a manager. There's a guy standing there who does all their talking for really? them. Really? He can't be any good because he he doesn't know how to do things right. Like, he thinks showing up at 5.30 in the morning... You know what I mean? Like, he well, doesn't know who to you know, call I, or anything. As, as I, I walked through the door, I was like, well, that looks like a pretty decent organization, but... Why would they do this if they were anybody? See, Grillo's body. Well, you're saying that the guy doesn't know how to do anything right, but meanwhile, he got them down here, and they are going to get on the show. We're putting them on just solely to hear their music and let them know how much they suck. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's, I think well, what if they're good? They're not. But yeah. I didn't need to listen to the record to know that. Really? I could tell. I could look at them and tell they suck. <laughs> really? They have, like, stars' attitudes, like, without being stars. Yeah, big right. stars. Right, let me meet funny. these guys. Really the manager called funny. up and said... We want to speak to the hook nose. I mean, that's why the... You know, I mean, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. my. The manager said that? Yeah. And this would all be really stupid if they were goofing or being sticky, but they're not. They really aren't. All right, let me meet these guys. Bring them in. I got it. Because they kept... The, every time you try to tell them... No, I didn't try to tell them anyway. Anything. But, I mean, they just keep saying, tell Howard that we're here. Like, they know you. They want you... They know that your CD for the movie soundtrack is at the factory being pressed. Yeah. And they want you... They know that when you hear this song, you're going to tell them to stop the pressing. Really? And put this song on it. You're kidding. No, mean, and, and, I'll, I'll destroy millions of dollars worth of pressing. Right. And here are the Jesus twins. Here, come around this way, guys. This is the only show you've got to get past a stutter, a monkey, and a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> they have... <laughs> well, you guys understand that a lot of people... No, Crackhead, once you leave, the interview's over. Oh, my God. Oh, wait a second. Let Crackhead crack crack can sit there. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Crackhead. Get him out of here. What do you think? I'm Captain Jenks calling you up to me for a phone call? Get out of here. No, you. Come on, douche. Come on, douche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I have a fight between Crackhead and Bob and the Jesus. Guys, you don't want to get into a fight with Crackhead Bob, trust me. Likeable guys, No offense, but you. Taking up space. Listen, man, you had your time. Get off the show. Well, we want him here, though. We like him. He's our guest. This is our house. Yeah, we like Crackhead Bob. Listen, am I on? Yeah. Because I can't hear myself. <laughs> That's all right. You, you haven't Where said that anything. Guy? Where's the bald guy? I can't hear myself. Well, let, let me ask you this. You guys, um, you guys have a band. And as Gary says, I mean, at some point you have to have some sort of recognition factor or you have to do, do something to somehow get a claim. But you guys are already having rock star attitudes. You haven't done anything yet. We Howard. Something. What have you done? Let me tell Would you, you take that cigarette and put it out? It's killing me. Oh. Can you give it to me? Yeah, yeah, give it to Gary. You, you it's kill killing him. you worse, but <laughs> we no. don't want to die. Yeah. <laughs> Whoopi, when I want your comments, I'll ask for them. Listen, how we are here on business. Yeah. Yeah. We came across the country. I didn't come here for monkey face to get in my way. Right. I told him I'm going up. He said, guys, 
<laughs> the Jesus <laughs> twins are nothing. Fred, I, I want my manager in here. No, no, he, they want to bring the whole entourage. So the Jesus the... twins are nothing. Well, go home. I said the Jesus twins will go home. Right. They're telling me I who's coming in. I want my manager in. here, and I want my security. Have you guys had who your band? Who do you need security from? Yeah. I need security. Well, I, the monkey might attack me from again, the... like he did in the elevator. In the elevator. He almost took. He, he really? The doors open. <laughs> I had to get. I, I almost told my security guard to take care of him. You two guys are the gayest couple I've ever okay, seen. Okay, right. Why don't you get a police? Why don't you go? I just him trying to get a show for three hours. Let's not talk. Let's listen, listen to the, let's listen to your loser music. Right, music will wind up on the soundtrack. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Are you guys really convinced? I will hear this music. Yes. yes. And uh, you are really yes, convinced. Yes, listen, you have. If you want me to criticize the album, I'm more than happy to. All right. You haven't heard the album. I don't give a rat's ass. LL Cool J. Yeah. He's not a musician. He's a sitcom star. He's, what, you said it was breaking the rules. Why don't you just get Fresh Prince of Bel Air on there? <laughs> LL Cool J that, song. That's intellectually stimulating for how it's. LL Cool J song okay, is ahead. one of the best songs I've ever breaking heard in my life. Breaking the rules. Is that what the you haven't heard the song what yet? Is how, this is Beavis and Butthead soundtrack. I don't care what. Lee I don't care about, about the Beavis innovative. and Butthead. I am telling you. Lee Bag is criticized you. Where are your balls? You're all, right all I can how tell you. All I can tell you is. All I can tell you is. I figured I'd join. I heard, I heard the song, and I, song? I... No, not your song. I haven't heard it yet. I'm going to listen to your song. You can you can say what you want about LL Cool J, Flea, Red Hot Chili Peppers. The song is good. You got Chewbacca what? singing a vocal? Hey, guys. Who's Chewbacca? Hey, hey Jesus. Who are you calling Chewbacca? Rob Zombie. Rob like Zombie? You're, uh, the guy, the guy's a genius. Uh, they sucks. They they're not musicians. Oh, for God's Green sake. Green Day appeals to me. You are a musician. Wait a minute. Have, you I, haven't sold the record yet. I am yet. the innovator of music. Oh, listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> I'm not... So, Ozzy Osbourne should have been superannuated years ago. What? All right, listen, the guy's listen. like 75. And Perry Farrell? Yeah. He's an impresario. He's not a musician. He hasn't played a gig in years. He's no good either. He they sucks. all suck. They all suck. Okay. You're the day. only guys who are Wait good. Wait a minute. All right, here's your, your song. Your Let's hear your song. Your audience Wait. caters to 18, to 50, and you have Green Day appeals to the new kids on the block crowd. Well, listen, Green Day. Green Day, is, they suck Green, in the times of all well, these bands. Bush, you're saying, Bush, you're saying, Bush was in the studio. They Bush. suck. You're saying everyone sucks. I don't mind that you say everyone sucks. Why is it you guys have, have not been no discovered? We are discovered. By who? Right now. Oh, there was right Howard. They were throwing right around right a big name. The manager was telling me that the guy that manages Janet Jackson mm -hmm. is in charge of them, and he made a call to you know you your did. label. That, you did. That, that, was a, that was an act to get in, you card. Get him out of here. <laughs> He's so dumb. Howard, you have to see the video. If you don't think they look gay now, you should see these two homos running around in cornrows. This dick doesn't know what no, listen, listen. Are you guys wearing cornrows listen. in your video? Homo! <laughs> <laughs> you guys just kiss each other in the video. Well, listen, this are you guys bro obviously listen, your twin brothers, when you right? You a new friend. Right. New Year's. There's right always now, there's always going to be criticism at first because you're doing something original. Right. Yeah, that's douche original. Because you know, because you know, Millie Vanilli never did what this, you do in that video, you loser. Blue, this guy, this <laughs> douchebag, doesn't realize that we're the best dancers, the best singers, and the best songwriters in the country right you're, now. You're adequate at all of those and bad at some of them. Why am I listening to this douchebag? Play the song. All right, let's hear this. <laughs> I, you know, I didn't have to suffer. Oh, that's real oh, funny, funny, dickhead. What is it? Uh, and Fred, one, one cuckoo sound effect. I, I didn't like where you pulled on the phone. Come on, on the air. Shut the crap off. All right, this is this is uh, the retard song. This is the retard thing. Fred, Fred, last time you called in. Last time I called you in on, uh, he played cuckoo music, right? Right. Yeah, I got the charity paid. We have talked bucks. to these people before. Yeah. Fred. Yes. But these are the guys. These are the guys what? who got on the Tonight Show. Remember, they called us. They got on the oh, Tonight Show. Those guys. Did, did, did tell that story again. What happened? You got on the Tonight Show. How did you get on the Tonight Show? J uh, just do it quick. Jay, Leno gave it. Would you shut up? Jay <laughs> was at a kinko. He's so annoying. Could you keep Why? I'm not like this. Is not stiff. <laughs> Gary, move back. Get him out of here. <laughs> His bad breath. Now listen. Your bad hair. Right. right, 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 right now. Right. I did. You done? <laughs> <laughs> Crack Bob laughs at you. Oh, Bob, you like these guys? No. <laughs> Bob is. Oh, Bob. Bob. Let's no, it. you! <laughs> I have no time for your game. Bob, Bob, easy. I'm getting mad at you. Bob, easy. <laughs> I got your charity paid. Do you want me to kick so? your ass? Oh, All right, Bob, easy, easy, easy. The old Bob showing his face. Yeah, right, Bob. What, do they have rich parents or something? Shut up. Listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen. <Are you> kidding? <laughs> Robin gave us the whole, uh, the whole, uh... This is Gary. Oh. I get tons of CDs. The CDs are going out. in the trash. I said, let Howard Stone get a CD. He goes, I threw him out, guys. This is from the hotel. Right. I said, listen, douchebag, I'm getting on the air. And he's right. like... Well, I'll tell you something. I, I, am, I am always open to listening to new music. Exactly. I am not uh, close to it. That is why I told I, everyone. This right. is why I, I'll send... But tell me, what's going to... It's called... 
Now, how come I haven't heard of you guys before? I mean, yeah, you, the no only one. Time we heard we're of on the show six months ago. No, but I, but you're, only you're on the show because you crashed the Leno show. Years oh, you old. did. You're 23 years right. old and you're musicians. Right. And what do you play? We both sing. And you both sing. Yeah. All right, and dance. And right. we write the songs. Too. Okay. No <laughs> instruments. You guys are playing the instruments? No, I'm just asking. What are you, Kurt Loader? Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Posers. <coughs> Yeah, big poses. Who is that in the background? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Easy, easy, easy. These, these two so douches well. don't realize that they, they, the studio changed so they can't be seen on the east <laughs> And they think they're still part of the Fred, show. Fred, why don't you play some <laughs> wedding music? We'll all get aroused thinking of your wife. <laughs> yeah. I can kick both your ass. Uh, okay. That's it. That's it. You, you couldn't even stand up to the guy who's kissing your wife. Oh, really? Right in the studio. You, oh, really? You're a pussy. Yeah, that's right. That's why your music won't be on the soundtrack, because you're so brilliant. That's but, how it's decision. But you guys realize, the soundtrack... No, no, listen decision. to me. Listen. The soundtrack has already been pressed. I don't pressed. care. You, you, don't, don't, you don't understand that. The, <laughs> the soundtrack you have music. right now, you might as well put out fart. It is fantastic. It is fantastic. It is not fantastic. Can we hear their music? Right, let's hear your music. music. All right, I'll tell you what. Let me take a break. Let, let's just calm down. I have to you leave. You want to spend time? Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. All right. You know, I don't want to spend time with them. I'll play the <laughs> song right now. Okay. Here the we go. The music's got to be a relief from them. All right. <laughs> good, good, good. I got to hear this. Wait, tape two or one? Uh, tape two. Okay. Let's see what now, you got. Don't guys. cut it off in the middle. I don't want to hear dumb... I don't need your voices. comments in the middle. I don't need your voices. No, no, no. Don't no, worry, guys. Don't, don't, don't tell me like how to do the show. Don't tell me how to do the show. Howard, don't worry. The music stands on its own. Oh, does it? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's as funny as they are. Oh, really? Oh, it's that bad? It's so stupid. It's frighteningly... It's frighteningly mediocre. He's really? He's so mad that we got past his dumb... No, who got... I got you in, you idiot. Yeah, you got me and He was like... I go... He's like... Come on in, guys. Like, and he hung I, didn't even know, I didn't even know if he was setting up for the police to show up and arrest us because he called right. at least a hundred times our manager. All right, let's see. Let me see what's going on. Let me see if your music is, as Baba Booey says, frighteningly mediocre. Ah! Frighteningly original and innovative. All right. You, you never heard anything like this. Oh, shut up. Lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shut up. Get him out of here. <laughs> Do I need him here criticizing my music? Get him out of here. Come we got him here. Get him out of here. Two hey, hey, Jesus, I'm every man. I'm the guy you're trying to impress. You're everything. I'm right. in your oh, demo. I, 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 don't don't you. You. I don't I need you anymore. I don't need you anymore. I'm talking to Alex Stone. I don't need you. Yeah. You were my bitch for, for a few hours, and now you're gone. I got <laughs> you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. What's the matter, crackhead? <laughs> I'm going to relax. Oh, boy. You're going to relax. All right. Well, maybe crackhead will like it. You might like this music. You don't already like it. No. <laughs> you can't understand these retarded. <laughs> yeah. What? You won't what? understand you won't understand. Take the it lyric. easy. You won't I understand won't, the lyrics. Won't. You won't understand <laughs> the lyrics. Fred, Jackie, and Baba Booey won't will you understand. understand it. The crackhead. only people who understand it is will, how crackhead, will you understand like the music? Yeah, I will. You, you will. I will. I will. All right, here we go. All right, let's listen to it. Everyone go calm ahead. down, all right? You're coming in here hostile. <laughs> all right, here we go. What? I had to deal with monkey face for three hours I was trying to strangle me in the elevator. These guys went on the Tonight Show. No, if I wasn't in, su if I wasn't <laughs> I in such I a mag... Find out. Just remind me, how did you get into the if Tonight Show? If I wasn't show? in such a magnanimous mood, I'd need Gary right in the balls in the elevator. Really? Yeah. Tell me something. Remind me how you got on the Tonight Show again. Same way I got on here. What do you mean? We were singing. Yeah. And they, they did a, a uh, videotape of us singing, you know, like... Right. Pre-recorded. Yeah. Before the show. So we get to the show, and Jay's like stroking us, patronizing us, just saying like... You know, we, they brought us into the sound room and right. it's like, dude. They're treating you lousy. Right. Hmm. Yeah, so then Jay, so Jay, <laughs> these guys are irritated by everything. So then uh, Jay, somehow, well, during the taping of the show, you ran up on stage so during what the happened taping. Was, I, let me help you out, Howard. Wait, why why yeah, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, let me just, very quickly. So they didn't end up being on the show. They didn't end up being on the show. I remember they told the story badly the last time. They didn't end up being on the show, so Jay was kind enough to give them, they took their tape and put them on the show, but not them live. So Jay was kind enough to give them tickets to sit in the audience. Right. The balcony. Right. Now say he put happens. us in the balcony because I said before the taping, I said, hey, Jay, we're going to go on the stage and do a little singing with the band. And he's like, well, maybe next time, guys. You know, uh, right. maybe next time. I'm like, maybe this time. Yeah. And he's like, uh, get these guys seats in the balconies. Yeah. And I go, uh, and we're thinking, how are we going to jump on stage from the balcony? <laughs> <laughs> there, there was two, like, old wimp grandmas sitting in front but of But you us. ended up on stage, didn't you? You ran right. down and you ran up on stage and Jay had you thrown out of the building. And Jay, like, turned his back to the audience. Right. And All right. Here we go. And they edited you out, right? Yeah, that wasn't... Yeah, he's like, uh, you know, the band from the lot. Band like, I'm, from like, the lot. I'm Helen Kushner, and we, we're never allowed back. <laughs> Wait a minute, after you leave here, it's the same here. You're banned from here. Right, right. we'll be on the soundtrack, Pope. 
All right, let's hear your music. Everyone calm down. Let's see. What is the name of the song, by the way? Feel My Ubiquity. Feel My Ubiquity. All right, here we go. Speaking of the people. Here we go. What's up, Jack? <laughs> Sit down, sit down, guys, relax. Oh, no. our security. Guys, sit down and relax. Oh, sit down and relax. People who want to fight in here. Crackhead Bob was grabbing. Wait, sit down. You guys got to learn how to. You, gotta, you can't get up and start attacking people. <laughs> what happened? You got to think his friend played the vomit sound effect. Ja Jackie thinks he can throw paper at me. I, this isn't a. Uh, this isn't Melrose Larry Green, you douchebag. I'll come over there and break your nose. Yeah. Right. Oh, all right, all right. Easy, he, easy. He has <laughs> easy. All I know is Crackhead Bob took his one bad hand and was holding everybody. <laughs> yeah, sit down. Sit down, boys. Come on. Sit down. Come on. Uh, Crackhead, sit there. Sit quiet. I see why they need bodyguards. Okay. No wonder you guys need bodyguards. <laughs> you guys are real rock stars. <laughs> First of all, let's discuss this as rational people. <laughs> Look at the, what do you mean you can't? Look at the lyrics. You guys are like the you guys are like little losers back there. You're not even on the That's show. That's exactly right. Let's talk about your music. Right. No way. No way. Wait a second. You didn't even play the song. You played the first verse. All right. And it was awesome. Uh, uh, listen to me. Listen awesome. to me. You made it through the first verse. Listen. Where's your music? You're in your, you're in your basement still. You're in your, uh, you, you haven't done anything. You want to know something? It's, be it's better in my basement. You, have, you haven't done anything. Yeah. Yeah. You're a loser. Yeah, you're exactly. you are not a that's musician. That's why I'm here, and that's why you're struggling. You're a sound yeah. effect, yeah. man. You press a button. Yeah, you press a button. Exactly How right. is that talent? Which Fred opened for Ozzy. Who'd you open for? Wait, let's, let's, let's play, um, uh, a ding-dong sound. Why do you guys have to, why is everyone attacking each other? These guys are getting on my nerves. Okay, all right. Here's, here's, Continue the song. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. It's the most obnoxious <laughs> people we have could have had. I like song. these guys. I don't know. Am I crazy? <laughs> Continue the song. Right, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Hold it now. Everyone just calm down. <laughs> Hold on a second. How long did it take you to write yeah. this song? You guys listen to the show. You know yeah. that we don't just play a whole song. Listen. Hey, read the lyrics. Read the Let lyrics. me see the lyrics. What? Let me see the lyrics. Hold on a second. Let me see that. Who wrote it? You we write did. together? Yeah. Right. Let me see what the lyrics are. Because I'm having a hard time understanding it. You understand? You now, first of all, you've got to understand something. The album's already I pressed. Know, I if I were you and I heard this song, you would stop the press. I would delay the I movie. Would, I really, you would delay, delay the whole movie. Delay the whole entire production. Let me see these lyrics here. You better like them or they'll fight with you. <laughs> <laughs> that was the scariest thing I ever saw. You guys are getting up to fight. What do you mean? What's the matter with you? <laughs> and you guys don't look like you can fight that. I mean, Robin can beat you guys up. Now, stop it. <laughs> Indigenous to New York City. Where the pigeons here all know my name. The incense is burning, patchouli on the street. I smell transvestites and bums. The aggregate so complete. Stop the press. Keep going. Yeah. Stop the press. Keep all right, going. it's going to become clear in the next verse. Up to the coast to D.C. and Philly. It's redolent of all the history here. Brotherly love, but I'm a misanthrope. I crack the Liberty Bell. Piss on the Washington Post. Right. Read the next verse. Read the next yeah, verse. don't try and stop me now. Ooh, have to knock you down. Yeah, don't try to stop me now. Ooh, have to knock you down. Continue. <laughs> it's 3.02 a.m. in Los Angeles. I hear they legalized my favorite plant. In the city of plastic, sycophants in mass, they'll give an unctuous smile. Unctuous. Then F you right in the... The, lyri the lyrics just flow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what is what is what is flow right out the, the lyrics door. just flow. Now they're you, flowing. Because this douchebag doesn't understand the English language... He doesn't... He, yeah, dude, because ubiquitous is a word you hear in a lot of rock songs. <laughs> right, we're innovators. We're Go innovators ahead. to the music industry, you douche. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. All right, let me finish. Let me hear a little more of this song, all right? Go ahead. All right. It's the first time we ever played a song on the air, and the two artists got up and tried to beat up Fred. <laughs> <laughs> and Crackhead Bob had to step in. 
Yeah, it did. Boy, crackhead, you know how to fight. He, he, grabbed, was holding he we, grabbed one of the Jesus brothers. His arm is a club, Howard. Yeah. Did you see that? Yes, he's really use it as a club. What did you do? You, you grabbed the Jesus brother by the coat. Right. What the? Well, <laughs> this guy can fight. He got nothing to live for. He'll beat you with one arm. Right. Right, enough with the crap. Let's get to the song. You heard him. You won't know. All right. Let me hear a little more of the song, and then I'm going to ask you guys to leave, and I'll decide what I'm going to do with this song. All right? Is that fair? Is it possible? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That you could like the song and want somebody else to perform it? Well, oh, yeah, 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 perform it. Best singers in Los Angeles. <laughs> How does that mean? I just asked a question. What are you saying? If I like this song, maybe have somebody. Maybe you could take them as oh, songwriters. Oh, songwriters. <laughs> what the, the hell is she talking that... about? I'm just well, wondering. Well, the best entertainer is not the I biggest. I was just yet. wondering. All right. Howard, Howard. Go ahead, yeah. I just wish you could see the video. Yeah, so, so do I. Yeah, so do I. We can see the video. Yeah. Put the video in. I got to see that. She's so stupid. It's. I wish Howard, I wish video. you could see the this video. This is the clincher right here. Yeah. This is what's going to clinch us on the soundtrack. He's so stupid. <laughs> he's doing us the biggest favor. Big he's, he's, like, he's, like, he's like so stupid. So far, he got us all the way up here. He doesn't even realize it. Right. <laughs> and a brain in his head. It's like the guy downstairs. I go, hey, Bozo. Are yeah. you coming on the air? He's like, hey, Bozo will get you real far. Right. Well, you can't insult. Oh, there you are. Oh, I see you dancing. Look at this. Wait a second. Can I uh, see this? <laughs> Well, maybe they can put that up on the big screen. Yeah, put it on the big screen. And what are you guys, in cornrows? No, tuxedos. Wow. We were so confident we shot a whole video. Right. Now, now who paid for the video? Did you guys pay for it yourself? Our manager. Your manager. He believes in you. The video's ready for MTV. Right. In other words, well, I can... Your excerpts. Put the you excerpts in. Move film clips. Right. Exactly. Yes. And now you got the biggest thing in the country. Mm-hmm. Well, I got to say, you guys are handsome. I'll tell you that. You're not going for handsome. Nothing. No. No, well, I'm saying you're good-looking guys. <laughs> well, how's the dancing and how's the... Can you guys throw this up on the big uh, screen? I guess they can't. Why not? I don't know. Baba Booey, can you make that happen? Of oh, like he's going to say yes? Oh, yeah, he's going to want to help us. Yeah, he wouldn't know how to do it. You're right about that. <laughs> he's going to purposely mess up. Yeah. Well, I got to tell you something. Uh, I I must tell you that it would be impossible to include you on this soundtrack. That's not true. What is that, Gary? Or any soundtrack. It'd be crazy to put him on any soundtrack. Eh, look at you, you uh, little sucker. <laughs> I would rather hear uh, Emily singing. Yeah, who cares what you would rather hear? They don't care. It's going to be a fight out. <laughs> who cares what Baba Booey wants to hear on a soundtrack? Let me, you know what? Let me. Don't go. care. He's gonna put, dirty, smell no. me up my microphone. Please call me. <laughs> please call me again to try to get in ever again. You don't need to speak I'm going to right anymore. to the ha I'm going right to Howard. You loser. <laughs> I'm done with you. <laughs> but Jerry doesn't. All right, let me let me go to the audience to see how they like the music. Well, Is that I fair enough? Wish I could see Did you play the music? Like I right. Well, I mean, right. let me, they, let me see if they if they're getting oh. into it. Hi, how are you enjoying the music? Hello. Well, here's a guy maybe he's enjoying it. Hello. Hello? I got a phone system from hell. Hello? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, here we go. I was going to ask the audience how they were Gary's enjoying it. Gary's screwing it up. Don't you get it? it? You think ah, it's him? On. Of course. <laughs> Gary, put the plugs on back on. It's either him or the stutterer. Right. Is the stuttering messing things up? Hello? Mm-hmm. All right, I'll try this. Listen. Hi, you're on the air. Yeah, how you doing? Yeah, how do you like the song? It sounds like gospel music. Gospel? Do you like gospel music? No, not at all. You do not? This guy's a jackass. Well, oh. why don't you come down to the studio today, no, you loser? Like, he's, yeah. he's whining like Richard Lewis. All right, right. thank you. Oh, All right. Howard. That, yes, that's hi. Howard. Howard. Yeah, have you, you heard guys? any of the... Did you hear some of the music from the Jesus Brothers? Yeah, the Jesus absolutely, Twins. They're absolutely horrible. You don't like horrible. it? Horrible. I think they're terrible. I think you suck. You come down here, I'll kick your ass. Look at him. This is this guy's... Uh, Maybe you're antagonizing the I know the these guys, Gorilla, set this up. No, I don't oh, yeah, set it up. No, no, no. Don't accuse me of that. They're only putting the phone call. Howard, honestly. Shut up, dope. You shut up. Listen, they've only put the phone call through. Get him out of my ears. Howard, are you... Howard, they're only putting the phone calls through that are negative. This is no. I will randomly pick up phone calls. But if everybody loves your music so much, why aren't you signed? Maybe they haven't been, been discovered yet. Answer the question. Why haven't you been signed? We will be after right now. Yeah. 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 But being discovered, you idiot. And I'm sure I'm going to pass. And you're ruining it. I get out of here. Everybody that calls for you, I'm going to pass those messages right along. Of course uh, not I don't need your messages anymore, loser. Hello? Hi, are you enjoying the music? Hello? Yeah. No, it, it's, it's so terrible. 
Why would they just like this is well, like? Well, maybe they're not hip. Is what you're saying? No, we are innovative. The thing is, the fans. Hello. Did you see the video, Howard? Yes. You know what? You know that's innovative. I thought someone like you could recognize innovation. Maybe you're the only person. What did you see on the video, Howard? Well, I'm watching it right now. There's dancing and singing going on, and the boys are dancing very, very good. I got to admit, they do some good dancing. They're doing some good dancing. Hey, Howard. What? The, all the bands that are on your game. soundtrack that I've heard of are going to rock. These guys Ozzy have... Ozzy Osbourne is a grandpa. Don't rock. It's These so guys, lame. They when was the last time Ozzy their... Osbourne uh, sold well, Let me get... Let's, let's see if we can find the positive. Yes, Phil, you're on the air. Yeah, now you got these two whining fag Jews off the friggin' air. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys Jews? They got it, man. The I think their video is like gay porno. <laughs> <laughs> I look. This isn't going well. Either, man. It's not going. I don't go by what they say. Right. I'm just trying to find some positive. The music sounds like the Blues Brothers. Enough with these losers. Uh, you just said well, the music look. sounds like the Blues Brothers. I take that as a compliment. Right. What a douchebag. And you're going to insult us. What's your favorite band, Bush? All right, he's gone. Loser. All right. Well, it hasn't gone well. But listen to me. With these, with them, with them screening the calls. You were in here ten minutes. You almost got in a fist fight with Fred and Crackhead Bob. Right. I think it's time to bring in the manager. Your manager? Yes. yes. All right, let me meet your manager real quick. All right. All right, and then yeah. and then let me think about all, all that has occurred, manager, all right? Yeah. It speaks for itself. I don't even know why I'm on the show. There's no doubt about that. It speaks for itself. Where is the manager? Uh, here is your manager. Now, do you manage any other groups, or is this your first time managing? Is this a Actually, movie promotion or something? 17 movie? years of age. Do you have what? a chair for him? Okay. No anyway, chair for he don't need. He doesn't need a chair. Anyway, when I was 17 years of age, I managed a group called Vice Poon. Oh, okay, what is my problem? Problem? Get, let me get away from that. They hate that. him, too. <laughs> Howard. Who cares that you managed? Okay, Howard. Yeah. This is my first professional group other than that, mm -hmm. and I could say that. What did you do before? This, let the man speak. Well, I'm actually the vice president of an entertainment oh, company. Oh, how you get to the point? But, uh, getting away from that, getting away from that, <laughs> Howard. Right yeah, now, my main concern... Ever. Go ahead. Okay, Howard. What is your concern? Well, my main concern is taking this group to the top. Right. Making all... Other issues irrelevant. These two gentlemen right here, the Jesus are twins, the threshold to the next decade. They are getting away from the grunge, from the MTV generation, the rap, the crap, and also the techno right. music right. that is very superfluous. Right. Right now. If you give these two gentlemen a chance, <laughs> Howard, yes. I was yes. listening. Yes. I was listening to heart. the entire segment, yes. and you only showed a small segment of their music. Yes. If you will only play the entire song right. and let right, the let whole demographic uh, populace okay. of this entire country respond, I strongly feel that your ratings will improve, <laughs> right. their ratings will improve, right, get it'll, benefit, it'll, benefit, it'll benefit everyone. Gorgeous woman on my right, her ratings will improve. Just <laughs> give that's a, that's back in Bob. the yeah, vote to the American people <laughs> and let them decide because we will win. Right, the Jesus Twins will take over. This is, <laughs> this is the him best him group in America today. Just give them a chance. All right, Thank let me play a little more. You make your point. Let me play a little more. Let me play a little more. Let me play a little more. Your manager has been I affected. I love the way he's wearing the headphones. Right, your manager has been... How old are you, by the way? You're a young guy. 29. 29 years old. Your young guys just starting out, right, in the management... Uh, um, I don't have my master's degree yet, but I'm working on it, my right. MBA. Are you a student? Is that what you do? Uh, no, you I've been out of college. I've been out of college now for six years. I, but other than that, I am the vice president of two separate companies. One's an electrical. The other is but the an animation is project. Right. But no, you're no, upsetting the guys. But in addition to making $300,000 a year um, running two separate companies, <laughs> right, let me I hear. also manage these guys. And in right, about let me a very short period of time, you're wrecking it. You just had us all psyched yeah. up. All right, all right. Let's talk about the Jesus Twins <laughs> and let's show <laughs> America just, just how good they are. I tried right. to get to work. This <laughs> These guys are right. The manager's busy promoting himself. <laughs> all right, the, forget the me. Jesus Twins. Let's talk about the Jesus. All right, let's hear. Let's hear a little of <laughs> Yes, Gary. I mean, it's, you know, 
It's not bad. There's nothing well, now, original. Now, no, no. Now it's, it's not, not bad. Original. There's nothing original about it. Is original. This has been done. It's been done in the yeah, 60s. By who? The Temptations. By who? It's Thanks. been done by every that's black group. That's, that's what we're doing. It's been that's done. Real it's been music. Done. Yes, 30 Excuse years me. ago. Excuse real music. Me. Just to respond to what Gary just made, yes. the statement that Gary made, right. what you have to understand is that we're not reinventing the wheel. <laughs> All we're doing <laughs> is giving... Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Music on the... Uh, no matter who's singing the song, regardless, <laughs> music is music. Right. But the thing is, is that the type of music we play right. is in need right now. The timing and the market demand for this type of music right. is right. essential. What right. made you think that? Yeah. Well, the thing is, is that right now... People are tired right. of rap. Listen to me. They're tired of techno, and, and they need the Jesus twins. The only people that seem to be right tired now, of it are you every, three. Every band that's out right now sucks. Right. Bush, they, you don't like all them. these bands can be gone as soon as the Jesus twins. Yeah. Don't throw pilots. They suck. They all Everyone suck. sucks. <laughs> the Red Hot Chili Peppers, they suck. They're professional soundtrack. They go from one soundtrack to another. Right. You're saying you're a fresh sound on the, uh, exactly. on the horizon. All right, look. The Jesus twins have made their point. We have to move on with the show. You guys can understand that. We'll song and we'll be out of here. I can't, I can't convince you to leave now. Yeah, All right, let me hear a little more. Just a little more. Go ahead. Don't leave I me with a negative. To Listen to me now. I've been very tolerant. Don't leave me with a negative vibe. When I tell you to leave, you'll leave. The more. Don't the... be silly. Don't be silly and not play the song. Hey, 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 hey. Don't antagonize me. Don't antagonize me. Do <laughs> <laughs> you understand what I... Just shut up. You understand what I'm saying? Shut up! Shut down! I'll play a little more oh, of your ahead. song. Go you came here along. You came from Los Angeles. I understand. You got your manager here. You don't want to be embarrassed. Do you have some other meetings set up today? Oh, personally, not. I'm just here for the Jesus Twins. Right. I, see. I don't really know I think where I am. Anybody that's listening to this. <laughs> All right, all right, listen, you shut up. I'll play a little more of the song, and then we're going to call it a day. Oh, my God. All right. Thank you, Howard. I all right, all right. If this was my life, I would jump. All right. Man. Hey, these guys are trying to make a career. That's all. We are making a career. Well, we'll I'm see. Taking them. There you go. What do you think? What do I think? What do I think of the song? You, you want to know right song? now. I can't put it on the soundtrack. Why? Because it's already been pressed. It's too late. You got to me too late. No. All right. Let me, let me address the question you. <laughs> Forget the soundtrack. Go ahead. What do you think of the song itself? Oh, you would have to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys going to get up and beat me up if I give a negative response? No, no. not at all. Uh, I look, will. Look, that's what I mean. Listen. Your yes, soundtrack. I'm going to tell you what the I. The soundtrack is over. It's Let's forget the soundtrack is irrelevant. Listen to me. The soundtrack is irrelevant. You asked me what I thought of the song. The soundtrack is not good. This song is so innovative. I want to back you guys. Hundred percent. Then what? How do I get? Talk? How do I own these guys? I'll tell you. How what, do I get rid of you? Howard. What? Howard. I'll tell you what. <laughs> what? You, you, you give me three million dollars, we'll talk. <laughs> right. If I but, give you three million dollars, I can own these guys. If you give me three million dollars, all right. Let me think cash. about it. Let me think about it. That's a big. That's a big commitment on my part. I'm not saying you're not worth it. I'm saying I got to think about it. Okay, two point five. All no, right. these guys are worth that more than that. Oh boy. <clears throat> you can't say it. What? Say what? What you really think of the song? It's, it's, it's a nice song. It's an okay song. It's an okay song. It's not horrible. It ought to be horrible. I said it's not horrible. I was expecting a lot worse. What do you mean a lot worse? The song is the best <laughs> song better than any song you have on any soundtrack. Really? Yeah. Absolutely. I'm a heavy metal fan. Right. I'm into metal. Hey, that's you're only into metal because that's what that's what's out right now. Right. As far as what exactly. You, what's in the uh, that's all. So that's well, why I'm very gonna, limited. That's why you're gonna have Beavis and Butthead Part Two. Right. Yeah, well, that's exactly right. Fine. What am I supposed to do? You guys show up here. The, mo the, the soundtrack is being already I, pressed. What is it? What, you're completely balls? late. What are you, balls? What, what are you talking about, balls? Hey, now you're pissing me off. 
I don't care. You can't tell me to stop the presses because you guys showed up. No way. Get out of here. You're insane. make the whole soundtrack. I can't stop it in two seconds. There's millions of dollars committed already. How dare you? Well, they didn't manufacture more than 100,000 copies. Oh, of course they did. They mastered the whole goddamn thing already. You don't know anything about the music industry. What is on the remastering? You have a bonus track. Oh, come on. You can have a bonus track. track on, if it sells really well, you have another well, one. Well, all right, all right. That's true. That's true. Now, are you going to do all right. on your repressing add a track? Well, what are you going to do? And then if you put... If you put <laughs> I don't like being put on the spot. If you put the clips of the you movie... You me. If you put the clips... There's nothing to be frightened. <laughs> I know. Clips of the movie. You send that to MTV next week. It'll be the no, most... Uh, the biggest... Video. Really? Hi, have you sent your videos to MTV? No. no. Of course they have. No, well, well, I haven't. haven't. Why wouldn't you? Why would it just why would it why just would I don't even you? care about NPBS. Why, why, why are they right. targeting us? They don't call anyone but us. Yeah, why are you bothering me? Yeah, <laughs> I'm right. doing you a favor right now, you, and <laughs> if you don't want to see it, I'm, what is Gary, so funny about it? He's a little look oh, daddy. They're here. doing you a favor. <laughs> yeah. I am doing we you a favor. We are doing him a favor. All right, right. listen, I need time to think. I need time to think. Can you give me time to think? You want to pass? All right, I'm going to pass. No, you're not going to pass. If you, if well, they asked about the repressing now. If Howard passes, where do you go from Don't here? worry about it. I'll talk to Howard. Right. Listen, you're not going to pass. I'm passing. You're not passing. I have to. Listen to this it's song. a business thing. No. Let me listen, listen to it, it again it. later. Listen to it again right, later. Right. Watch the video. All right. let, me, let me stop now. This is nonsense already because i got, I got to move on. i got a career too, you know. Not if you don't put the song on, you know. Really? Yeah. The soundtrack's been bombed. The you song. have to create an innovative soundtrack. All right, let me think about it. Let me think about it. You yeah, made some yeah. points. Let me think about it. All right? <laughs> when did they come up with the idea of coming Robin's here? Robin's still talking. I don't know. I don't want... You see, you're going to continue this. I'm just fascinated. Well, I, I'm fascinated I decided, the whole thing. Since we, sh we shot the video uh, last week, yeah. we've been up pretty much all the time, mm -hmm. finishing this thing for this project, right. trying to get it on time. No, sir. I like you two boys. What nice project? Guys. This project. This project. We have video covers. People said we were crazy. Right, listen to me. Listen to me. Uh -huh. I like you two. You got a, you got a lot of energy. Where have you performed? Nowhere. That's not true. What do you really? Mean, nowhere? You where did you perform? Perform all over LA. You do? Yeah. Uh, where? Everywhere. Let me address that issue, Howard. Right now, if I may. <laughs> yeah. Um, right now. I am putting a deal together for these guys to appear at Billboard Live that should be happening within well, the next oh, 60 please. days. Listen, this is not no, this, this, is, this, is, this is true. <laughs> within the next 60 days. Right. Uh, in addition to that, we've got a you're couple... You're saying they're, on the they're about to break big. Is what I would saying. speculate that within about 60 to 90 days, it would be charity for them to appear at Billboard Live. It would be a gift to anybody that comes there and, and we'd probably have to raise the price of the ticket from $10 to $50 a ticket. Well, obviously you have a lot of confidence in your band. It, it's not just confidence. I have shown the, the tape cassette to a couple of people in the Sunset Hollywood area. Very prestigious people. Right, and they have um, already I, Without recognized. even mentioning any names, there is a bar in the San Fernando Valley that has begged me for the last six to seven months to play these guys. Listen, and right now, you're the uh, point I, I is, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> no one does. your manager. Yeah. Listen, he's more like a figurehead. <laughs> yeah. No offense. <laughs> Listen, yeah. the point is, Howard, right. All right. would you let me think? All right, I hear what you're saying. It's you guys know everything. That were written right, right. from the Don't okay. get to the movie. Absolutely. It's going to be the title cut, Mark My Word. Right out of the theater. When people are walking out, feel my ubiquity. Perfect. Climax, the end of the thing, right there. No, listen to me, listen to me, out. listen to me. I got to end this laughing, thing. he'll be watching it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you for coming in today. Let's see Gary's dumb smirk when it's in the movie. Yeah, let's, let's take a break. Follow me to the movie and watch my dumb smirk when it's not. Good, good, good. All right, go ahead. Help the guys out of here now. They'll do you what you drop. No, they'll leave. They'll leave. They'll leave. They know what they have to do. These are good boys. All right, boys. I Jesus twins. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. You did a great appearance today. You had your music played. There go the Jesus twins. Thank you, Jesus twins. The best music you've ever loved. <laughs> <laughs> like a deal for them to play at a bar. <laughs> All right. Now here's Harvey Leeds from the record company. Really? I swear to God. <laughs> Harvey? Yes. You like their music? Uh, well, for, I started to like it, and then they started insulting Ozzy Osbourne. Right. That's uh, a big problem with that. Really? Did you like it? And then they... Harvey, what record label are you with? Epic Records. Right. Aren't they bankrupt? 
No, no. Big, big, no. very <laughs> successful label. Harry. Harvey, Harvey, you wish your soundtrack was on Epic. Right, Harvey, the uh, boys, you like their music? I did like it, but then they were very insulting in it, and their manager, it sounds like the World Wrestling Federation. Yeah. Right. That's true. Well, there you go. I mean, there's a guy in the record industry who likes the Jesus ones. Well, good for them. But when they showcase in L.A., I'd like for somebody to come and see him. Really? Absolutely. Tell the somebody boys they got know? a record executive. Hey, let's get the boys back in here. Oh, so they can please. Don't let me bring no. them. No. Come on, come on. Wait, just, get him out. just for a second. Just for a second. They've already yeah. in, no, I get him. They've already insulted Harvey, you know. They did? Yeah, because as soon as Harvey said, you know, I like him, then they started insulting Ozzy. Ozzy. They'll go, oh, who gives an S what this guy says? Who's this moron? No, uh, well, here they're turning off your... You guys just got a major guy from a record label who likes your music, and you're insulting him. How are you? How are you? I'll tell you why. Why? Why because are you insulting him? Epic, I believe, is the band that signed Pearl Jam. Is that correct? I believe so. Well, they they suck. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, do you want to be on a label That's that a has any other know, artist? Well, listen, you got. You guys want to play well, the big time. You got to go. Go on Motown. Yeah. You will not sign with Epic. You're turning down Harvey's offer. That's right. Wow. Any 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 <laughs> company that, has that, that puts millions of dollars behind a Jim Morrison imitator, I have no respect for. Really? That's wow. Oh, well, there so you go. Turning down. Gary, uh, Gary stole my cigarette. No, What'd put, you do with it? Put your cigarette out in here, please. <laughs> no smoking. No, it's a quick. New York. <laughs> I have to deal with that crap in So what life. you guys are saying is Harvey Leeds, who is a vice... What are you, a studio? vice president? Can I smoke no. in the studio? No. 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 What are you, a vice president, Harvey? Right, correct. He's the vice president of Epicard. Epicard. He, wants show, he, he wants to, to, show wants to go someone. see your band, and he wants to check you guys out, and you're turning him down. Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. You think that's why? These guys are original, I'll well, tell you that. I, I hope they have good luck on the wrestling circuit. <laughs> we just rejected you, douchebag. All right. Okay. Harvey, thank you. Geez, oh, we only called you wow. back in because we had some. I thought you'd be excited here. by this. I, I got I got the wrong impression. It has to be a cer uh, certain kind of uh, label, certain yeah. kind of company. Very good. Have All right, you well. approached those companies? <laughs> what a pair of brats! <laughs> Have they approached those companies since they know exactly where they want to sign? Uh, no, not yet. Right. Not yet. They're working on it. <laughs> well, I thought you guys would have been turned on by that. I, I'm. I obviously don't understand. We misread you completely. I thought you would like to be with us, Epic Records. Okay, good. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. I thought I was helping you. Interesting. Boy, take off your headphones. Boy, these guys are something. The Jesus Twins. Amazing. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Now, tell me that didn't... That's why I told them Jesus. <laughs> tell me that didn't throw you for a while. Yeah, loop. it's always you're going, Jesus, these twins. Jesus. I, <laughs> I, can't I, thought, I thought maybe they were just, like, getting, you know, trying to get on here to get interest from a label, and then they got it. And they rejected it. That yeah. makes no sense. They rejected Harvey. Well, I, I guess they're onto something. I don't know. They're on something. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Back. They're on Crackhead. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> crackhead Bob, you almost got a fist fight with the Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Hey, let me tell you something. If it wasn't for Crackhead Bob, that guy would have been around to Fred, and then it would have been ugly. Yeah. Because Fred would, Fred would have had to fight him. Let me tell you, they weren't really going anywhere. No. <laughs> they don't look like fighters to me. Everybody looks like they could kick my ass. No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Did they have a mark on them? They've never fought anybody. <laughs> That's why they're running around with bodyguards. Right. Well, there and you nobody go. knows who they are. Right. <laughs> All right, let's take a break and we'll do the news. <laughs> <laughs> right I just this. wonder who those bodyguards are. <laughs> I don't know. But they better have good body without Do they know why they're walking around with those two guys? Yeah, because those guys are going to get in fights every three minutes. <laughs> 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 Threatening everyone. All right, we'll be back right after this. Hey, uh, let me give the Jesus Twins their shot now. First of all, before the Jesus Twins perform, for those of you listening at home, obviously you can't see this on E yet, the Jesus Twins have actually gone to quite, ex quite an expense here. I mean, they've flown in a whole band. they got like three background singers. Did you see what's going on here? Yes, I, I met everybody out in the hall. You did? Took about a half hour for that receiving line. And they got a, 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 a three guitarists and a drummer. And a, a whole road crew. Even security people. Yeah. And the whole band is black. Except for the Jesus Twins. Except for the Jesus Twins. Now, do you, they really consider themselves a band, a group, or are the, these people just working for the Jesus Twins and the Jesus Twins are really it? Are you guys, are you guys a, a band, a solid band, or is it just like guys, that, do you guys really uh, plan on staying together? Is it, uh, you do. I can't hear what these guys are saying. Let me see if I can read. Let me see if this works. Hey, you guys say something. Absolutely. No, I can't hear. It doesn't it. work. That's what I thought. <laughs> Gary, get in here with the wireless, will you? Yes, not. By the way, while uh, Gary's getting the wireless... I mean, who writes the music? I do. I, I didn't want to say... Ah. No, the Jesus Twins. Your Jesus Twins write the music, right? Yeah. Right. 
Uh, Matt Pollock is here from Electro Records. How you doing, Howard? And uh, he is a big guy at Electro Records. No Thank kidding you. around. He looks like a pissed off guy. Yeah, he is a pissed off guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's already pissed off. Ready to be impressed. <laughs> hey, uh, guys, this guy's from Electro Records. I mean, he's a big deal. What? I can't hear you. How does this work? Gary, you got to turn it on, pal. It is on. We have no equipment that works. <laughs> pathetic. Show is pathetic. Very good. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea what I have to do. Anyway, also uh, here today is Harvey Leeds. He is from Epic Records. Steve Leeds is here today from Universal Records. Where is everybody? Yeah, I I'm, see I'm announcing names and not, no one's here. Steve. I, don't I see Steve. I don't see Harvey. <laughs> what, what's going on? The report where highlighted on the sheet where he's on car phone. Oh, oh, Harvey's on a phone. I was going to say, where's Harvey? Harvey looks like crackhead Bob. Yeah, Harvey's very heavy. And, All right, uh, Steve. And, and Ross is running late. He oh, okay. Well, who cares about Ross? You don't know what he's doing anyway. Crackhead Bob is here as well. How are you, Crackhead? I'm doing okay. Yeah, you're a little horse, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what happened? What was he doing? Oh, oh the dining and telling... Oh, you want to run there? That hurt your voice? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and just... And just... Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Now, uh, Crackhead Bob actually uh, was out online trying to get tickets for the premiere. Did he get tickets? Yep. You got yep. tickets. Yep. Does, yep. And, uh, Matt, does, this, does the Crackhead Bob smell? Um, Steve, switch seats with me. <laughs> <laughs> You smell I don't mean you, in a bad way. Were you out there all night? Oh my God! Yeah. Right. Now so the last you time, cleaned yourself. That's I just it. wanted you guys to come in here because you are music professionals. Come in here and evaluate the Jesus Twins. They're looking to get a shot at the premiere. I said I, I give them a shot. They got their whole band. They flew it in. Be fair with them, all right? I mean, you know, don't uh, try to be. We're fun. here with an open mind. All right. And uh, I know Crackhead Bob. I'm going to ask you to represent all fans. Tell okay. me what you think. Okay. Last time the Jesus Twins got into uh, an altercation with Crackhead Bob. But you can bring, put that all behind you and okay. judge him with right. an open mind. Now you, are your microphones and stuff working? Let me hear the guys. Let me just hear, let me just hear if they're working. Well, I all can right. hear them now. Let me see if I can hear you. All right. You, all right, you guys are all set. All right, all right. All right, let's see what happens. There they go. <laughs> what is happening? I don't know. Are you guys ready?
Guys, jumping uh, around is Ross. Was Ross listening? <laughs> Ross, it doesn't matter. Ross has an opinion no matter what. <laughs> and boys, uh, Jesus twins, how do you feel? Are you? Uh, uh, wow! <laughs> they, were, uh, they were jumping up and down and doing this song. They were dancing. They did the whole routine. Man. Uh, Jackie slipped me note. He says, hey, why don't you tell the Jesus friends we want the band without them? <laughs> band, is, band is great. Band did a run. Very soulful. Guys. No now, guys, uh, how do you feel afterwards? Where's Gary with the wireless? Ready to go again. You're ready to go again? Wow. <laughs> well, Wait, these guys are out there. You need another song? You need to see another song? No, I don't need to. <laughs> Now, uh, who so, wants to go so this is So this is what's going on in Lawrence, Long Island right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Now, wait a second. Let's, well, uh, who wants to start with the uh, critique? Uh, crackhead Bob, you want to go first? Not me. You don't want to go first? I'm going to. No, start with Steve. Start, start with Steve. Why don't you get John in the studio? Why don't you get John in the studio? John? No, no. I'm manager. John. Your manager, yeah. Let him get in here to. Uh, you, are you guys all right? Now, you obviously put a lot of energy into this performance. Yeah, I mean, it's dancing and singing. Are you right? tired? No, no, no. I mean, they were really dancing and singing oh, at the yeah. same time. Oh, yeah, they were all over the place. Right. This is what we were meant to do. This is and what we were born to You were born to do. How's the band feel? Do you guys feel everything went well? Successful? Yeah. Yes, very good. Smoking. All right. Do they know each other? <laughs> do you guys, does the band know each other? <laughs> <laughs> do you guys all know each other? Do you rehearse? That's a good question. Is there any rehearsal? Or, uh, Gary, can you get the microphone back there? you got to kind of read the situation. Yeah, do you guys? Yeah, musically, we know each other. We've been together for a while. That's right. So you played with the Jesus Twins a lot before. The last two months. Yep. Last two months. And the backup guys, you got your own thing going, or uh... I've known them for four years. Yeah. He's our voice coach. He's your voice. Four years coach. ago. You're happy with your uh, students? They're doing good. I'm. Uh, at first they employed me. Now they're employing me. You will answer that one. Right. I see. I see. Well. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> All right. Anyway. Uh, okay. Who wants to go first? I know uh, Harvey, your brother Steve, is on the phone. They're both big record executives. You want to let him go first? Absolutely. All right. <laughs> okay, let me see if I find him. Harvey. Harvey, you there? Harvey? He has a history with that. Yeah, this is the second time he's been in. <coughs> having a hard in time here with our technical. Company of the Jesus Twins. Howard, can you hand me one of those waters? Yeah. Harvey. He crashed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to give up on Harvey, and we're going to go over to his brother Steve. Steve, what are you thinking? Oh. Um, I, th I think uh, visually it's very interesting. Um, by the way, I should point out Steve was reading the sports section of the Post. Ah, during the performance. All right, all right. Uh, what do you think? I like the musicianship. Um, there's something happening. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm curious as to what the Jesus Twins think their audience is and who they're at this point. Public. Ones as far as listening to new trend crossover thing. John, take control. Crossover thing, right now. Get it, John. John. Right. Now, what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> no, this, is you, uh, this is in reference to the okay, audience. Bob, Bob, will explain, Bob will explain to you. All right. I, I have two answers for that. One of the beauty, 
one of the beautiful aspects about this group is that it's multiracial. It's very rare that you'll find a multiracial group. Secondly, well, it's very melodious. How many races are in the group? Two. There are two. Yeah, two. Ah. Right. But it's uh, still. <laughs> no, that's multiracial. That's a biracial group. But it's, but it's also very melodious. And after listening to this, everybody that desecrates the vision and the image of the Jesus Twins because of obnoxious behavior learned a very important lesson today. What's that? That the Jesus Twins are for real, that I am not mentally insane for taking these guys on. And let's just say that the newest millionaire in America today is Jonathan F. Mendelson. And then... That would be you, right? Multi-millionaires are the Jesus Twins, Eric and Jeff. Ladies and gentlemen, let's please give them a round of applause. I think the new rich guy is the guy who rented them the equipment. So, what, what does yeah, right. The new rich guy is the guy who made 15 grand on the equipment. <laughs> so you're saying that the Jesus Twins will be discovered today. This is a great day in the Jesus Twins Howard history. Our past tense, the Jesus Twins have been discovered thanks to you. Thank you. So please, band members, let's give Howard Stern a round of applause. No, thank you. <laughs> Howard, Howard, you should just check. Uh, Steve also was about to voice his concerns about the band. All right, go ahead. What is your concern? Go ahead. You've always been honest. We've never, we've never talked. We've, we're talking here about money and, and things like that. I haven't heard the word passion discovered. I'm concerned what the band's real self-image because we see full Let page... Let me address the issue. Excuse me. Excuse me. Well, let wait, the band wait. speak for We see a full-page ad in Billboard. Okay. We see you throwing around a lot of money, coming here, groveling to try to play the premiere. And, you know, that's, that's fine. I give you a lot of credit for effort. I think the music has some validity to it. I'm just concerned what's really behind all this. What's the passion? Where would you guys play, other than if Howard's unable to put you on his show? What venue in New York City or in Los Angeles would you guys see yourself and your audience gravitating towards? Well, if Howard can't um, let us play at Madison Square Garden this week, we'll be back in a month. Playing there. Right. Once your record hits. Where, where have you guys played publicly to this, to this point? It's irrelevant. But I will say <laughs> It's very relevant. Hello? I will say this. Where are your fans coming from if they haven't seen you perform outward right. other than through Howard's graciousness? <coughs> it's, it's not, it's not well, an important real. issue. No, it Look, is an issue. You <clears> talk about fans and I'm audience. overcoming Where a cold. Where is your audience so from? Forgive me. Huh. Right now... You're overcoming a cold. Why did you shake my hand before? Oh, no. Sorry, Howard. Oh, wow. Anyway, the House of Blues, Billboard Live, Aftershock, practically every club in Los Angeles wants them to play. That's not what we're seeking. What we want is a record label to sign the boys. That is their paramount value. The reason that we came to the Stern Show had nothing to do with the shtick. The shtick was nothing more than a lender getting us to the top. That's all it's served. What language uh, is he just using? Just the <laughs> the the Dude, you got a whole nother lingo. A lender? Dude, you're way past Ebonics. <laughs> the music. So, That's all we care about. So, John, has the band, has the Jesus Twins performed in public other than... Well, well let me ask you something. I've got I to step in here, Steve. So you're being awfully tough. What is your critique of the band? Never mind where they're going to perform. Well, H Howard, I, th I think they're very good, but my concern is, is, when we take them to the marketplace, is marketing. Who is going to be into them? Do you think, there's a, do you think they can find an audience? <laughs> <laughs> no, there is an audience right now. I see. I have business partners right now affiliated with Motown, affiliated with um, Spielberg's company, among others. <laughs> I'm talking about the record Dream company. Martin. Thank you very much. DreamWorks, the record company. Right. We do have people that want it. Which he wasn't supposed to mention on the air. Uh... Hold on a second. You know, Howard, this is a perfect time because they keep talking about that they have this um, possible deal with Geffen. Mm -hmm. And Ross works at Geffen. Have you heard anything about the assigning for the there Jesus Twins? There have been some questions raised saying, who is the Jesus Twins? Yes. Mm -hmm. there have been. That's it. There, there have been. <laughs> there have been. Right. What's the answer? Now, Ross, what is the answer to that question? <laughs> who are they? Uh, that's why I'm here today. But right. no, but Steve makes a, a valid point. Did I you mean, get to hear the Jesus Twins or yes, you were like? Yes, I was standing in the, uh, you in the control room right, watching. Well, you did hear it. I did I hear it. You watched the whole thing. No, but, but Steve makes a valid point. There's something called fan base, mm -hmm. and it's, right. it's very important to find out what the band so has. You're telling, you, you're telling me at Geffen they were asking who are the Jesus Twins? There was some really? questions I'm going to make a prediction right now. All right, go ahead. Oh, that, he's all fueled up now. <laughs> go ahead, yeah. Never mind. Go ahead. It's a prediction. Go ahead. Be, don't, hey, don't cop out. Now, you're going to be brave or what? What is your prediction? Without sounding arrogant. Go ahead. I don't know if you can. Go ahead. That's what got you here. I believe our debut album Go ahead. will break all records. Really? Including Michael Jackson's Thriller. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. And 
Uh, people are excited about Alanis Morissette. The, band, the band is about substance. The song that we performed today was written for a soundtrack specifically. Right. We have a whole plethora of different songs that run the gamut as far as every emotion. Right. This is just tip of the iceberg. Yeah, I wish we'd done something else. We heard. <laughs> <laughs> <We're laughs> <like, laughs> <as far as, laughs> uh, excuse me. All right. So wait a second, Crackhead Bob. What is your opinion? Did you uh, get moved by the music at all? Every year, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's this. Yeah, go ahead. But every year else, that I like that. But that so oh, it was it was studio. just not. That was not it. You like the whole band except for the Jesus Twins? Yeah. Oh. It's that year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's that year. It's what? I think that's, that's about thing. the most it's honest uh, appraisal we've done. We talk seriously. Well, I mean, <laughs> hey, he's your fan. Listener. Oh, that's nice. my, it's your audience. He's my adversary right now. Yeah. Well, but, uh, but, you, you but if he cannot give an honest opinion, if he can't give a disinterested uh, verdict, then uh, what's the, I, I don't see him. You don't feel he's being honest. Way, shape, form, no, you feel I like, did like something. He had a. Yeah. Uh, he liked the band. Yeah, band is okay. Thank you. And they're playing your music, right? All right. Yeah, there you go. Hey, right. John, do you have a tape? All right. Can we Howard? get a tape? John? John? I'm sorry. What was now, 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 wait a second. What about... What, Hold what, on what, one second. Do you have an audition tape that we could take back to our companies? Really? You would? Oh, sure. You would? Oh, really? Sure. What the hell? What's going on here? Absolutely. We have, we have a bidding war over here. Is there a bidding war? We have a CD. Can we get back to Los Angeles? Now, let me ask you something. The manager. You got it. Let me ask the manager something. Thank you. Howard, please. Now, there seems to be a bidding war over the Jesus Twins between Geffen Records and of course, uh, Steve's label. Affirmative. Right now, who, how will you how will you <laughs> pick a label? What about that other guy? What does he have to well, say? First well, first of all, the money is not the only. Matt, issue. what do you say? I, I think I think the band is ever. is really soulful. I think you guys are, are great live, and I think the twins got some really great moves. I think you guys were a little bit out of sync, but I think that might have been because you were a little bit nervous, maybe, and there's not a lot of room to move. Are you telling me Electra Records is, has interest? I in did these not words? say that. Oh, I see. Uh, you're I bowing out of the bidding now. I'm not. I'm not bowing. I just want to say that. You know, <laughs> I think all the record guys here expressed the same thing. We thought the music was you know it's a bit compelling and they're and they're fun to watch but where do you go with this and as a record company you got to look at it not just musically but you got to look at it is there a market for this do you no, think there I, is a market what for this? Do we do I, this it, gentlemen can i ask you go, go, ahead. Ahead. Wait, 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 go ahead what do you no. want to do all right here's what i'd like to do i want to speak with each and every one of you bob i'll buy you a drink at scores but anyway the other three i want to speak with each of you and then hopefully what we can do is i'll get together with my business people cpa lawyers etc and hopefully wow. <laughs> within about seven days i will be back on your show right we will sign a contract right and then you will buy me a drink at scores except that i don't drink alcohol so you'll owe me a diet coke or an orange juice. Oh, i see so you feel confident now that the jesus twins are on their way i have one question you've made it so many it's times uh, Let me see what the I people say. Let me go to the phone. Can I ask one question? Yeah, please. go ahead, Jackie. These, we got all these record company guys here. These guys spent 15 grand to come out here, and they just asked him if they have any kind of a demo or anything. He said, well, we got it back in Los Angeles. Why would he come all the way out here without yeah. a demo? With them? Well, they didn't know they would be meeting uh, record yeah. company guys. We, eight, I believe eight to ten videos and CDs were here originally right. from two weeks ago. Those went right in the garbage. Now, but then... Then after we knew who you were, we kept one. Uh, there you go. But you guys should... You know, you've traveled back and forth a few times. Book a show in New York. Find a small club and right see now, what's out right. there. Shows... I don't think that's a bad idea. Why don't, why don't we do this? Why don't you and I get together after the show? Oh, God. Why does he have that? The next show is so unique. All right, let's see what the uh, audience well, thinks of the Howard, Jesus Twins. Howard, let's talk about the premiere right now. Hold on what? a second. Let me you see what the be, fans you say. you got to check with the fans. Be be uh, Chris, what do you think? I think that the... Uh, I, I personally don't care about their what their personalities are like, but I just think the music <laughs> sounds like theme music from a gay porno. <laughs> it is gay porno music. Well, there's a market for that. <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> there's a market. Now we know where to Thank you very much. Thank you. And, uh, Steve, what do you think? I think they should change their name to the Below Average White Band. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, uh... Thank you very much. <laughs> pro wrestling where they belong. Let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Isn't this all superfluous if we have record company guys respected in the business? Mm -hmm. And we're going to, um... We're going to, to gorilla screening. What is that? What are you doing? Isn't, actually, that, it's not superfluous because these are the people who would put down... These would be people who would parenthetically put down $15 to buy your CD. So well, it's not irrelevant. I, I, well, in the studio. I, I don't but that's just it, though. Yeah, when you, you hear it on the radio. Like I'm telling you to go out and perform. Your record, if, <laughs> if your record goes on the radio, say, I mean, people can't see you. I George, mean, uh, it's... Well, do, 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 should we have these guys for the premiere? Howard, I've been a fan of yours for 15 years. Mm -hmm. I'm begging you, okay? Please, on behalf of all your fans, 
Do not bring these guys to your premiere. <laughs> I am begging you, Howard. I've been a fan of yours and for 15 too. years. And you are begging Please. me, too. You this is just be... one individual. Hey. What kind of music do you listen to? What kind do of music do I listen to? What kind of music would you prefer heavy metal? I listen to all kinds of music, and this, like let me tell you, it's guy horrible. Guy. <laughs> okay, uh, well, it's so just, terrible. Just one opinion, guys. All right. Okay, so no, but okay. in all seriousness, it's two what opinions. type of music do you okay, prefer? So. Howard. Right. Howard. What type of yes. music do you prefer? We're not dealing with the phone calls. No, we're here to consummate the deal. And right, I understand what you're saying. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, let me take one more phone call, all right? <laughs> That's so. Right. so. Uh, what did you think of the music? Uh, I think this is dipping on your good nature there, Howard, man. I, I mean, you're always rooting for the underdog. Right. There are other bands down in Soho that sound a lot better. I mean, uh, I'm not saying anything bad about these guys. I'm just saying, like... Well, they're up here. The they're trying. Up, get this the is break, John you know? Mendelssohn. I'm the manager. I just have one very important Sign question to ask you. Go ahead. Forget... I I don't think they forget any like prejudice. Like what did you think about my band? Do you, do, you, do you like their music? Do you... If you were in the Motown, would you like this music? <laughs> no, please. All right. All right, listen, listen. Never mind his opinion. Okay, here we go. Here's what I'm going to do. Focus on business. Too. All right, I will meet with my people and see if there's any room for the Jesus Twins at the premiere. That is not what you said. That's what I said no, I would do. No, 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 if no, I, no. I cannot uh, guarantee them a spot. If it was good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. It was fine that I would go consult with people. Yes. <laughs> I am willing to do that <laughs> for whatever reason. <laughs> <laughs> Howard, on a scale of one, but I can't be responsible when people start throwing Howard. things at you. Yeah. That's go ahead. It. On a scale no. of one, right. Ten, that, that's it. Right. He wants. <laughs> what on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you grade this? Don't put me on the spot like that. Oh, I'm, not gonna ask, no, I'm not going to give you 1 to 10. On a scale of 1 to 10, what would you uh -uh. grade it? I'm not going to fall. I'm not going to play this game. <laughs> I am not going to play the game. You guys want to go that game? Play the game. Okay, yeah, we'll Matt, go. go ahead. A scale of 1 to 10. I'd say a 6. All right, Steve? I'd say the musicianship is a, 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 a 7. Uh, yeah. The performance is a 6. And uh, not having a CD listening. I, said, I don't give a rat's ass who these record people. Here you go. What they saw. Uh, hey, 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 hey. One more label. People Piss off. who think it's a ten. Uh -oh. I don't need these people. Uh, uh, well, hey, there's always room to grow, guys. Six, six is not bad. I mean, well, we're not going to sit here and give you a nine. I mean, a nine. The Beatles didn't get a nine. Earl Jam. We're better than the Beatles. You are better than the Beatles. That's a crackhead, Bob. Do you want to give a number? Dad. Gary, what do you think of the music? Wait, wait, wait. Let crackhead Bob go first. What? Yeah. Wait a minute. But yeah. go. for that, for that, yeah. for that, for the band, for the and band. that, two, uh, two, gonna, a two, two, <laughs> two. for the guy, is a two. What? That's, that, that's, right. me. that's me. That's me. That's me. Oh, oh, all right, Ron. Ron. I'll, I'll give him a seven. I mean, there's always room to grow. You guys only played around for you know a few months, right. maybe a couple of years. All right. Well, those you know, are nice scores. Those are nice scores. Yeah, they're not. I, not I mean, it's I'm not saying, awful. I'm saying if you guys were interested, and you were as as far as a, le a legitimate interest in the group then how would you how would you say that a six would be something that you'd be interested in let me uh, I, six, that doesn't if we weren't even interested i could speak for myself not the others on the panel here if i was not interested it would have been what like what bob gave you which is a two you know what i'd yeah. like to see you again i'd like to see an environment where you can move around on stage where you're not tripping over well, yourself hopefully this thursday but well, you can book a club. No, 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 the premiere. No, 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 no. That's not the place. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. The premiere might not be the place. So listen, guys, I can't make you any promises. I told you that up front. I got to talk to the people because even the people at MTV, I wanted to have more bands than I'm having now. They've already asked They've half the bands. Cutting you back. So if I can squeeze you in somewhere, I don't know. I'm going to look into it. That's the best I can do for you. That's the best I can do. I can't complain about that, Howard. Right. You can't. You can't complain about that. But I guarantee this. Uh -oh. If you give these guys just uh -oh. that one song, right. three to five minutes maximum, yes. here's what we'll do. We'll put you on the VIP guest list <laughs> for our house of blues. That's right. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that at all. we plan to have a record label cut within the next seven to 14 days. A label cut. With no. or without. The premiere. I understand. But with the premiere, it would be even better. It would accelerate that. Okay. Oh, very good. Question. All right, listen, the acceleration I... would definitely be dramatic. All right, listen. First of all, I want to thank the band and the Jesus Twins for coming in yes. today. They did a very nice job. All right. You put yourselves on the line. You came in and you played. It was entertaining. I want, to thank, I want to thank Matt Pollock of Electra Records. I want to thank Steve Leeds of Universal Records. Harvey, I don't know where you are. Ross Zapin of Geffen Records and Crackhead Bob of Oh Baby Records. Oh Baby. Oh Baby. So, so uh, I will look into it. I promise you that. How's that? All right. All right? That's all I can thank do right now. I'm not in charge of the event. All right.
Would you guys be willing to play a benefit for uh, Alec Baldwin's mom in Syracuse? I don't see why not. Why don't we talk about it when we're done? All right, good. A little charity work. Okay, very He's good. always talking. All right, we're going to take a break. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Howard. What, what's new music coming out on your label? Quickly mention a band. Uh, well, you already know. We've got the Metallica record. It just continues to do well. It's a terrific it's record. Good stuff. Steve, what do you got? Right now we have a band called Space. Space, that's the next big thing. Ross, you got anything? Or uh, Veruca Salt and Morphine. I see. And Crackhead Bob, uh, where will you be appearing next? I don't know. All right. All right. <laughs> don't forget, also, Howard, two, two more plugs for two great bands, The Odds and Moby. All right, certainly. We'll all look into that. And uh, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back right after these words. Thank you, Jesus. Please. We'll return to The Howard Stern Show after these messages. Night. God. Oh, my God. Countdown. Came out of ten days until the dawning of the new Hollywood. Wait a second. I will now bring you one of the greatest virtuosos of the greatest virtuosos of our time. We are back. Hold on one second, Dan. What'd you say your name was? The Howard Stern Show. All right. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Hello Cool J. Did you pick up the soundtrack yet? Did you get the soundtrack album yet? Yep. You got it already? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, wow. I kid Bob, boy. Wow. Did you get the rare covers, or did you get... I think so. Let me see what cover you got. Nobody can tell me what to do. <laughs> no, open it. Take it out of the bag so I can see what cover you got. You can't do that. Oh, that's what's funny. <laughs> you can't open a bag? Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me see. It's all over the floor. <laughs> what, what is it? So you were on a line all night? Yep. And what was that like? What time did you get out there? Uh, at first, first... I went and I uh, told and uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh, and a cane. All right, I don't know. What no, he's that. saying first he went to go get a suit and a cane. A cane. Oh, for, for yeah. the premiere. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm gonna be amazed. I'm gonna be amazed. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna be amazed. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're gonna amaze yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes and no. So, so you, would, so you were on. Oh, word. That comes out. I'm sorry. I am sorry. All right, use the F word. I had a big. All right. It was cold last night, right? Oh yeah. It was, mm-hmm. it was very cold. <laughs> Come on now. I might make a sequel to Sling Blade with Crackhead Bob in it. So you, uh, you went, you went, and you uh, stood online. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And all. Oh, I want a lot of them. I don't want a tab. Okay, we got one. Uh, oh, you were signing autographs. Oh yeah, and right. and, and you know, your money too. And yeah, you, you got you got money. Yeah, from so. who? You you want to start there? Five bucks. You charge oh, five you bucks for your autograph, yeah. right? Oh yes, I know. You charge five dollars for an autograph, yeah. and and how many did you sign? Uh, oh, a a lot, a lot. Really? A lot. Wow, look at I, Crackhead Bob making it into an industry. Yeah, that's amazing. Hey, I never tried that. Too <laughs> huge. <laughs> So yeah, so so you went out there and there were a lot there were a lot of people all night. How did yeah. you stay warm? Oh, I I was I was freezing. I was freezing. Oh. All night. Yeah. What time? You you went out there like in the afternoon. Afternoon. Uh, no, you in the morning. It. In the morning. In the morning. I know a guy from um, King World. You know King World that that, that syndicates Wheel of Fortune and stuff. Sure. He called up asking for a premiere tickets, so we didn't have oh. any because we're giving them to fans. He yeah. hired people to stand online. Really? Yeah. What's that? Two uh, tickets. Two tickets. <laughs> Two tickets. We can understand. We that. get that. Okay. All right. No, but I want to. Uh, I want money. You want money? Yeah. You're gonna sell them? Yeah. Well, that's up to you. I don't know, man. So yes, I'm out. What for me? I don't want to no, buy them. I'm going. You, not you. Not right, you. Right. Not yeah, you. we got tickets. Not you. You're and in you, the wrong place. And no. there were a lot of people out there with you all oh, night. Yeah. It was a freezing night. Oh, I was freezing. Oh, baby. Right. There were any girls online trying to get on to you or something? I think no, because it was so freezing. He was just, <laughs> just a little bit. But, right. but, but. but uh, Not the kissing? Oh, yeah. You but, were kissing? Yeah, but you, that. You kiss girls? Oh, yeah. Oh, I love you. I love you. They love crackhead Bob. Yeah. Right, right. Oh, I was. Uh, Jesus. And you can't get a date? Hey, he's dating bye himself. Bye. They always kiss you and then leave. I right. think a- at, after the movie. After the movie. Ah, that's when you exactly. Ah, yeah. very, very good, good plan. Who are you <laughs> bringing to the uh, thing? Uh, Denise. You, you have, Denise. Denise? Who is Denise? Uh, uh, 
Your wife? Your no. ex-wife? No, no, no. Your tattoo artist? No. <laughs> Who is Denise? Denise is for, for what? all the Tyrians. All Tyrians. Denise, uh, you want... From the Altarians? No, no. He's an Altarian? Is she an Altarian from the planet out there? Uh, I think no. No. I think no. I, I think no. Uh, hey, uh, by the way, if anyone's waiting for me down there at the ticket location at HMV, I don't think I can swing by because i got to go do Maury Povich and we're running late. I know. But Crackhead Bob's so fascinating. You can't stop talking to him. I can't stop talking to him. <laughs> from the Altarians. No, <laughs> Denise on. from the Altarians, is she hot? No, come on, come on. No. From all the Altarians? No. Uh, come on, who is she? Seriously. So, to, in one, two more days. Uh, just, uh, D Denise is, uh, my sister. My oh. sister. Oh, your sister. Your, oh. your sister. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is she hot? That's oh, okay. Yeah? yeah? What's she going to wear? What are you going to wear to the premiere? He told you he went and bought oh. a new oh, suit with a cane. How did I forget? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I want that, so, and then a memo. A memo you got? Yeah. No, I want to. I want to. That's, That's why, why he's going to sell the tickets. Oh, you're going to sell those tickets and get yourself a limo. Yeah. Wow, yeah. you're going in style. Yeah. Good for you. All right, so Crackhead Bob has two tickets for the premiere. If you want so to if you them. want that. Uh, how much are you looking for? 1000 for one. Oh. You, could, you should be able to get that. I think so. Maybe not small, but like two more dates now. Uh, I want that. I want that. Yeah, right. but that's the day of. So if you sell them on the day of, you'll have to be there. You won't get a limo, so you, you silly. Yeah, you have to pull up in your limo and then start selling <laughs> tickets to pay the guy. <laughs> <laughs> you're going you're gonna to put yourself in a bind. Uh, that's not a good negotiating stance. So, so what about you? I don't know. I'm not going to get involved We're in scalping. Involved. Okay, I'm not then. involved. Okay, then. <gasps> Here's some faxes on the Jesus Twins. The Jesus Twins should go on tour with David Peel and Wesley Willis. They'll call it Hara Palooza. Oh, come on. Is it, they say, well, here's Wigger Vanilla. Vanilla. Yeah. Wiggy, Wiggy Vanilli. <laughs> Change the title of the song to Feel My Embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> the Jesus Brothers must be crucified. <laughs> the, uh, no kidding, they suck. Get them out. Uh, sign Vanilla Ice. Oh. No. Oh. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Howard, the guys need to chill out. Uh, the guys need to chill out, but I would buy the album. Oh. But Ralph is still a queer. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus putzes suck. F him. Howard, I'm asleep already from that. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? So, all right, they got one positive one. Yeah. There you go. One out of a hundred. Isn't all right. That's not so bad. All right. Listen, they're trying. <laughs> Let me bring you my cart. All right. What are you gonna? You gonna there? You gonna be what at the uh, premiere? Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. It might be funny to have them there. I think as funny as it is to have you there, it's, you don't understand. You're as funny as they are. Ah, come on. Now I'm a dog now. I'm a dog now. You're a what? I am a dog now. You're a star now. Yeah. Wow. wow. Uh, just a little bit. Just You're a, a funny little bit. star. You're on the soundtrack album, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Have you heard? You heard the album? I, no, I just want... I just want... He just got it. All right, all right. That's all right, how I'm going to do right. it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm going to do it. <laughs> but right there. Right there, Crackhead Bob, right? Right there. Yeah. There's your name. Yeah, but I, I want you to sign that. Oh, please. If, if you don't want. Yeah, oh, now I'm signing that? Oh, yeah. Every come time on. you come in here, Bob, you have something for him ah, to sign. Can't you just be a regular guy? Yeah, once could you not ask? Right. One time be a mensch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Robin, uh, let's, uh, we, we better do the news here because you and I have to leave quickly. The 86th floor observation deck of the Empire State Building reopens this morning. Don't you always think it's going to be Crackhead Bob who does it? <laughs> no, not me. Actually not, no. no. That's it. Not me. I wouldn't blame him. This following the deadly shooting over the weekend. Yesterday, workers at the New York Landmark spent the day installing metal detectors and baggage scanners to improve security. So now they'll have an x-ray machine and one of those metal detectors you walk through as you go in. Did you realize that after the World Trade Center bombing, they did install that kind of security at the Empire State Building, but it was removed after a couple of months because it bogged down the lines? Right. We're complaining of long lines. Well, you know, it's getting to the point where we have to have metal detectors for, like, you know, just going to the bathroom. Supermarket. Yeah. yeah. So Pretty it's soon a, it'll be at the supermarket. I saw some people complaining, saying, see, man, Empire State Building, they're at fault because they don't have uh, metal detectors. You know, How I don't see you... it that way. 
I don't see it that way. You know, it's, someone could have easily just even planted a bomb. I mean, the world has gone nuts. That's right. <laughs> so, so who do we blame? We don't blame the, the the people who are nuts. We blame the people who are just trying to. Right. Like, We're everybody's supposed to know how to handle yeah, these yeah. nuts. I mean, come on. Anyway, the man who uh, those is, are the lawyers preparing their lawsuits. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, they're gonna get rich. The man who is accused of well, he's dead now. The man who killed uh, up on top of the Empire State Building is being profiled in the newspaper today. He was a school teacher who claimed to have amassed three hundred thousand dollars over the course of a lifetime worth of work. He was sixty nine years hmm. old. And supposedly he announced to his family recently that he was going to America, which had always been his dream. He was gonna be involved in some big deal here mm -hmm. and then he was gonna be able to bring the entire family over. Yeah. Instead he probably got swindled out of all his dough. Well it was really funny because if you read what was going on in the couple of months that he got to New York and went to Florida almost immediately, stayed at a couple of different hotels. They, uh, one hotel says he liked $20 hookers. Mm -hmm. And so he was constantly having the prostitutes come and go at his room. And sometimes the guy would have to go and tell him, like, get the prostitutes out of here. This is a respectable hotel. A lot of people live at this hotel and they don't want to see these women, these no. $20 whores just hanging around all the time. Oh, and baby. then every once in a while he would stand at his door naked. Yeah. One of the maids even says she she was propositioned by him when she came in to clean the room. He said he would do it for money. He said get you know said an obscenity and told her ten dollars and then started to take down his pants before she could even answer. Wow, what a stud! And he had a wife at home, of course, and a couple of kids. But uh, he was over in America, USA, you know, spreading the love. <laughs> and Barry Shex was called. He said, "Don't jump to conclusions. The guy could be innocent." <laughs> <laughs> They said he was always peeling off uh, bills from a large wad of cash. And then a few days before the shooting, he called his family and said all the money that he had was gone. Jeez. Oh, baby. And that he was ruined. And they started to worry about him then. And then, of course, they heard that he huh. had gone up to the top of the Empire State Building, shot a few people, and then shot himself to death. Well, that ain't white. <laughs> oh, thank you, Craig <laughs> Bob. See, he's clear about some things. I yeah. wouldn't have known that. I didn't know that. What, a, what an astute comment. <laughs> Gee, it ain't right to kill people. Yeah. You're right. That's an amazing insight well, you just if you did as much dead. If you did as much crack as he did, <laughs> that's about as insightful as you're going to get. <laughs> it ain't right. Here is uh, <laughs> yeah. a guy named Hector Mendez. He was one of the <laughs> witnesses to the shooting on uh, Sunday. I heard something... You say, oh, it's my first time. I'd say, maybe they like, throw five crack. I don't know what <coughs> When I take it, oh, I saw a guy who moved back. <laughs> then I feel something burn. It was clear. It's clear as Crackhead Bob. I was going to say, Crackhead, could you interpret that? That's like Crackhead Bob describing what went on in the line buying oh, tickets yeah. for the premiere. Yeah. That, that, too. That, too. Yeah, and then yeah, you got... Yeah, uh, yeah. And then you got... Uh, yeah, yeah. And then, boom, 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 boom. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. That too. And that too. The knee, the knee. The knee. Oh, baby. Did that, oh, did that, did that. Oh, baby. <laughs> like a caveman. Yeah. Go ahead, Rob. So anyway, that's what was going on up there. Today, they had the funeral for Deng Xiaoping. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> Over in China. Here are a few of the sounds. Oh my. Good morning, Dong. Dong. And here's some of the fanfare at his funeral. the old in with the new. Sounds like to play an old cartoon. I know. Do you get the feeling China's about 900 years behind the time? No rock musicians allowed, nothing. So anyway, that's the end of Dung. So long, Dung. So long, funny man. I don't know how they're going to... I think I saw they were preparing... They were preparing like a glass coffin for him. Hmm. Yeah, that's so you could see him. Wow. 
I was just looking uh, the other day at the uh, tomb of Lenin. You know, they got his body there yeah. preserved. It's very weird looking at these guys. It's beautiful. With their eyes all glued shut. Yeah, and it's like going to one of those. Getting pasty. It's like going to one of them taxi dermy places. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why anybody uh, wants to go see that. Must start to stink in that glass. Ooh, Ooh, can you Ooh, cracking that? Oh my god! Ooh, it would kill you. <laughs> But anyway, there he goes, Deng Xiaoping. Listen to Crackhead Bob trying to be part of the show. <laughs> I know, he's oh, commenting yes, on the news. Did. What? I'm okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what else is in the news, Robin? John Benet Ramsey. Uh, we mentioned yesterday that she is gaining a lot of attention from the talk shows. They are all converging on Colorado, trying to figure out what's going on. In Cindy's column today, she says that uh, the family confirms that the father is the number one suspect. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> How do you know that, crackhead? Um, yeah, that, that it? Right. <laughs> wow. All I'm saying is that's what Cindy says in her column today. Oh, my. That the family has told her he's the number one suspect. Oh. Well, she would know. And Geraldo told Cindy that the reason John Ramsey has never sat with the police and done an extensive uh, question and answer session is that he now has the same kind of high-powered lawyers that uh, right. surrounded O.J. Simpson. He's calling them the Dream Team 2. You know who the number two suspect is? Who? Cindy, <laughs> believe it or not. They're flying her in for questioning. <laughs> I think the murder weapon is hidden in her hair. <laughs> Yesterday I told you that the... Uh, District attorney or the prosecuting attorney in the case does uh, not like the way the police have been handling the investigation and wants to call in a private detective. Hmm. Eight in ten Americans believe it may be wrong to clone human beings. In many countries in the world, Howard, it is illegal to clone human beings. I'm all for it. It is not illegal in this country. I'm thinking of selling my DNA for people who want to raise a Howard Stern. I'm talking about for a lot of money, though. What is a Howard Stern? What is that going to get Think you? about it. Think about how much fun it would be to have like a Howard Stern lookalike living in your house. Just a lookalike. Don't try to ruin my market. <laughs> I'm just Miss wondering, I'm just wondering yeah. what Don't you get now. out of it. We'll sell like a crackhead Bob. Yeah. Imagine yeah, that. Get the whole whack pack. Yeah. yeah, get your own whack pack. Are you serious? You realize like a porno star, a hot one like Jenna Jameson, selling her DNA? I'd buy that and have her cloned. Oh, baby. <laughs> Imagine crackhead Bob gets a Jenna Jameson and Well, there are, see, these are the legal questions. All right. What rights do these people have? Who do they belong to? It sounds like you're you're saying that you now have ownership. Yes. Oh yes, baby. Of a person. Baby. Ooh. Oh, baby. <laughs> Shut up with that, will you? Well, you know, people like Crackhead Bob actually could use ownership of a person. Right. Person. They'd be like slaves. <laughs> <laughs> Someone to take care of them, mm. be with them, uh, raise them like chia pets. Chia oh. pets. <laughs> <laughs> a telephone poll by ABC's Nightline indicates most people accept cloning for animals for medical research. Now, this is valid. You know, when we talk about these uh, organ donors mm -hmm. and how difficult it is to find them, if you wanted to clone a, another person just so you could get a kidney, I suppose that would be all right. Sure. Or a heart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> or a brain if you ruin the one you right. had. Right. That's right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that would be an interesting thing to do. But right. we don't have laws governing this in the country <clears throat> right now. And they say the problem with it is that as soon as the procedure for doing something like this is published in one of these medical journals or science journals, then everybody has the information. Could you, and like... you don't know whether... All scientists are going to be ethical about using this information. Turn that off. Well, that is a, I'm not saying no, that, that indicates to the audience that that isn't real news what you're doing now. You're offering no, opinions. No, no, no. That is not my opinion. Really? That is real news. But you're posing questions. <laughs> you're getting people to think. <laughs> that was not my opinion. The Let me ask you something. The problem is that you can't tell where the information is now going Could you clone, or what people will do with it. Could you clone me but give me like a black eyes penis? No, you're going to be identical. Oh. You'll have the same miserable, tortured mm. self-image. Baby. <laughs> Baby. I think so. <laughs> what else is in the news besides cloning Robin? Okay. 
<laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, Bob's done with that story. Yeah, okay. he's tired of that one. Try <laughs> <laughs> Bob. Let me see. Where else do I want to go here? Uh-huh. The Education Department says school drug programs are having little impact on drug use. I think why. They are particularly questioning the effectiveness of the highly popular DARE program. Yes. Oh, DARE, oh. which stands for... I don't know. <laughs> Drug Why Abuse no, Resistance no. Education relies on visits by police officers to fifth grade classes. This is the class you said turned you on to drugs. Yeah. I had cops come to my school and show us all the different drugs. They put them in a case. Mm-hmm. And within two years, I did every one of the drugs that were in that case. Mm-hmm. I went out and bought every one of them. Because I got curious. I don't need them, need them. Yeah, I, I swear to you, I had never considered drugs until the cop came with all the drugs. Laundry list, right? I swear. And he said, this one will make you, like, drunk, but without the side effects of drinking. And I went, whoo, <laughs> whoa, what are you talking about? Department officials say recent reports found better results from schools where students took part in programs other than D.A.R.E. Even so, the department says it wants to spend more for drug education and prevention in 1998, but tighten controls on who gets the money. The money. The money. Well, if it's not working. Meanwhile, over this whole gun issue between uh, New York and Florida, we are now fighting with the state of Florida here in New York. Mayor Giuliani said the, the reason the atrocity happened at the top of the Empire State Building was because of Florida's insane gun laws. See. Now the Florida governor is challenging the mayor of New York's claim that Sunshine State's laws are insane. The governor says that his state's gun laws are tough. He says they have prevented the sale of weapons to 40,000 felons and led to many arrests. However, we did have a guy up there shooting the other day, and he got the gun from Florida. That's it. <laughs> Bottom line. Darn. A memo indicates that President Clinton enthusiastically backed using the White House to encourage big campaign donors. This is what the president spends all of his time on, trying to get reelected in the next four years, figuring out ways to get the money in order to do it. Administration sources say two years ago, Clinton received a memo from the finance chief of his campaign. It called for inviting big givers to White House coffees and offering them overnight stays. So you just invite people to be house guests and they pay yeah. you. Yeah. Well, wh- what do you think? What are the odds of becoming the president? You might as well cash in. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Come on, that's our house, and I can't get in. Hey now. <laughs> I'll get you in. <laughs> yeah. Hey now. What's the movie hits? <laughs> yeah. I just, oh, baby. You know, our, baby. Uh, why do we keep electing Hayseeds president and then get surprised by what they right. do when they get there? Yeah, these guys, these guys are all, these guys were in Arkansas a couple of years ago. <laughs> they never expected to live in a mansion. Yeah. <laughs> you know what was a good movie? That Eddie Murphy movie where he becomes senator? Yes. Or congressman and he makes tons of money? I love that movie. Distinguished gentleman. Yeah, I actually like that movie. Absolutely. Yeah, it was good. Toe. Down and toe. You can tell which is in the language. Let's all talk like Crackhead Bob. I don't know. Down and toe. Tanguish Fennelman. Bob, want to talk to us? What's going on, baby? Oh, he's not doing an impression. He's doing an impression. Wait, wait, wait. That uh, that was the uh, that 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 <laughs> Come on. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. And I've been telling you about this little girl named Justina Morales. She, We can't even find her body at this point. She is dead. They pretty much know that. The little girl disappeared from schools. Nobody checked <laughs> on her. Even the uh, city agencies that are supposed to check on children who had received a complaint about the fact that she was absent from a relative mm-hmm. declared her safe days after her murder so 
I see. <laughs> you know, certainly these agencies are all working very well. She is dead. The boyfriend, Luis Santiago, of her mother is being charged with her murder. But now it appears, and the mother was given immunity in order to give information that would convict this man. Turns out now that the mother was sort of a participant mm. in the girl's death. What they were trying to do was get rid of her so that they could start their relationship without any children. Oh, baby. But because she's been given immunity now, Mom, that not Mom. she will not go to jail for the death of her daughter. She helped this man hold her legs while he was trying to drown her in a bathtub. Oh, really? Yeah. And well, he eventually beat her unconscious and then wrapped her in plastic and smothered her. Wow. Well, that ain't right. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, I, you know, I don't know why the city or the state, whoever it was, jumped so quickly to uh, give this woman immunity. So You're that she right. would not have to pay for her part in her daughter's death. The state interferes and they try to get conviction and sometimes jump too fast and... Shut up, Bob. I'm saying it. <laughs> they try too hard to make agreements with people who might potentially be involved. Right. Is that it? I, I hope you're very happy with your song. <laughs> yeah, I like that song. <laughs> All right, what, anything else, Robin? Yes. Yeah. Charlie Sheen is in the news today. He, what? of course, is the actor from Platoon and Wall Street. He's been accused by an ex-girlfriend of roughing her up, and yesterday in court he pleaded innocent to battery charges. But then the judge had to slap an order of protection on him because he touched the woman... He's accused of battering inside the courtroom in front of the judge. No kidding. Yeah. What's he thinking? Not much, apparently. Why did he touch her? What did he, why, what? Oh, they started to talk, and then he, uh, you know, and I don't know whether it was an angry touch or, you know, but he'd already been told to stay away from her and not to have anything to do with her. And right in front of the judge, as he was, I guess, leaving the courtroom or something, he got involved with her somehow and reached out. And touched her, and then that started the whole other thing. So the judge just said, "You know what? I'm going to slap you with a protective order. <laughs> Stay away from her." Wow, it's a guy's problem. Leave her alone. He claims he's innocent. However, the woman did require stitches. <laughs> the assault allegedly occurred after a drunken sheen went on a rampage with a baseball bat, Whoa. smashing a car belonging to another girlfriend he thought took his sports car. This woman claims he prevented her from leaving and after a furious shouting match, slammed her head into a marble floor, <laughs> knocking her out. She told detectives that when she came around, she was soaked in blood and being dragged through the house by Sheen. Wow. <laughs> she needed seven stitches to uh, mend her split lip and had bruises on her face, neck, and leg. She is suing Charlie Sheen. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, and yeah. Jenna and Jenna thought that rough sex was just getting choked. <laughs> <laughs> Yale is considering a policy to ban sex between teachers and students. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there wasn't there wasn't a ban on that before. You're kidding me. Mm -hmm. You're allowed. You're allowed to have that. <laughs> I thought Yale was going to ban Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Why? The university committee is expected to begin meeting within the next two weeks to determine if such a formal policy is needed. You know, some of those professors, man, I mean, those chicks are hot. But these are also Ooh. all adults. I know. You know, I mean, people in college are supposed to be able to handle themselves and make adult decisions. I mean, I guess, though, that it could lead to a whole bunch of problems when a student is, like, L getting low grades, grades yeah. or something like that. Yeah. But although teachers get paid so little, I could see why those bennies really help. Well, this is college professors from yeah. Yale, don't they get paid? They pull down about thirty grand. It's not that much as you think, and you know, getting a little tukey on the side is sort of what makes it all <laughs> that interesting. That helps you. Yeah, you can eat, eat hot chicks and stuff. <laughs> Some argue that students need to be shielded and protected, while others say college students are mature enough to deal with such relationships. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Under current Yale policy, for those of you interested, uh, these relationships are permitted, although in cases of alleged sexual harassment, the burden of proof rests with the accused faculty member. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
The issue came up last fall when a 17-year-old female undergraduate accused a former Yale math professor of sexual harassment. After being <laughs> reprimanded, the professor resigned. Well, that ain't right. <laughs> Anybody had it with Crackhead Bob? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. The attorney 20 minutes ago. Willie Shoemaker. Remember him? He's the jockey who wound up being in a car accident and uh, paralyzed. I want to teach at Yale. I'd give an A-plus for butt sex. Oh, yeah. I am on another story. Oh, sorry. Willie, Willie Shoemaker. Willie Shoemaker, the famous yeah. jockey. Yeah, I know that guy. He's, he was in a car accident a few years ago, and now he's a quadriplegic. <laughs> well, he's suing the doctors at the hospital where he was treated. He said it was not his negligent driving that caused his quadriplegia, but the uh, negligence of his doctors after the uh, accident had occurred. Huh. The California Highway Patrol said uh, Schumacher's, uh, or Shoemaker's blood alcohol level was more than uh, 50% higher than the legal limit oh, oh. when he was pulled out of his wrecked Bronco nearly six years ago. But Shoemaker's $50 million negligence suit says doctors at the Glendora Community Hospital ignored his neck injuries and even moved his neck while treating him for other wounds. Hey, sorry, and Willie. They couldn't figure out what was wrong with you. That's why he says he's a quadriplegic. Yeah. M might have been a good idea not to go drunk driving. <laughs> then you wouldn't yeah, be a... come on. Yeah, why should he blame himself? <laughs> <laughs> he was perfectly fine when they pulled him out of that wreck. <laughs> and finally today, a 400-pound man <gasps> has been charged with running a teenage prostitution ring. But he was yeah. arraigned outdoors because court officials couldn't squeeze him into an 11th floor courtroom. Oh, oh! Officials say the 47-year-old man named Robert York remained in an ambulance in a driveway outside of the Manhattan Criminal Court building, and the judge arraigned him in the ambulance. Oh, baby. <laughs> Corrections oh, baby. officer Richard King says eight men were needed to lift York into the vehicle. Court and corrections officials say we'll have to figure out how to get York to the courthouse's 15th floor on March 12th when the case resumes. Hold a Twinkie inside. He'll get through the door. <laughs> and don't feed him for don't a feed him. hours. Right. Police say York sent young girls out on prostitution jobs. The teenagers told police the driver would collect $250 cash from her customer or $310 if he paid by credit card. Hey now. And York would give her $100. The driver got $40 for each job. <laughs> All right. Oh, and then one other thing, just a final note to say, uh, too bad, and we hope you will both do better, to Farrah Fawcett Majors O'Neill, <laughs> whatever her name is, yeah. and Ryan O'Neill. They're busting up their 15-year relationship. Don't okay. you ever dare to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Read it in the paper the other day. I'll go out with her. I would, I would acknowledge it. If she's looking for a young stud like myself, you I'm know, available. She's, she's doing another Playboy layout. Really? And they were talking about showing her sexy dancing on entertainment. Oh. I saw it. Tonight, she last what? night, and they said Ryan O'Neill was cheering her on. I, I, I saw that on entertainment tonight. They um, she they would dunk her in paint. This yes. is what her career has come down to. Remember when she tried to be a serious actress? Right, and she wouldn't even go near Playboy. Yeah, now they dunk her in paint, and they have her pressing up against a canvas. Like rubbing herself on the canvas. Ooh, really? Yeah, I'd love to go out with her. Robin, can you give her a call and give her a good word for me? <laughs> One beautiful woman does it, it'll work. One other thing. Christopher Reeve has found another job. The man who played Superman and is yeah, also quadriplegic and winds up, wound up in a wheelchair. They're dunking him in paint and pushing him up against the canvas. <laughs> no, he's going to... Remember the Alfred Hitchcock movie Rear Window? Yes. Where uh, Jimmy Stewart breaks his leg and winds up having to sit in a wheelchair and he starts looking at the neighbors through yes. his binoculars and sees a murder. Do I remember that? I'm mean, doing a remake. Well, guess who's starring in the remake? Who? Christopher Reeve. <laughs> really? Christopher Reeve will take the Jimmy Stewart role. You mean yes. he, he finally found a role where you can just sit in a chair. <laughs> That's cool. Cool. And they say they'll highlight some of the technology that is available today to help the disabled. Perfect. Because I'm interested yeah. in seeing that worked into a movie. <laughs> they relevant. could begin shooting this movie in the fall if Reeves' health permits. Good. So he's got another job. Oh. Wow. I heard a rumor he was going to play Bernie in Weekend 3. <laughs> hey, guys. That drag... was not true. Hey, guys. Drag Bernie over here. <laughs> no one will know he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie. That guy's funny, that guy plays Bernie. 
Uh, all right. Um, <laughs> I got to go, Robin. So do you. Yes, I do. And I got to go. I got to take a nap. That too. And that too. Uh, Crackhead Bob, congratulations on your premiere tickets. Okay. Uh, also, Crackhead Bob at Long Island Brewing Company on March 14th. Oh, he does have another appearance. Yeah, he just didn't know it. <laughs> uh, CDs on sale in stores now. Take a take a look at that when you go to the record store. I think you'll like it. Uh, if you have a chance and get there early, if you pick up a copy of the CD without my uh, the one that isn't the movie poster, there's more rare ones. There's three of them that isn't yeah. the movie poster, so that aren't the movie poster, so or check, something or something like that. that. So check that out. Uh, also, a uh, Jackie joke person, Martling, is going to be doing some things. He has his Sergeant Pecker and the Joke Man. Each are 78 minutes of nonstop filthy jokes, only 12 bucks, 12 bucks plus $4 shipping and handling. CD or cassette buy to get one free. I'll say. Call 1-800-323-KING. Jackie CDs are now available at major record stores coast to coast on Olio Records. For information and fun, visit Jokeland on the web at JackieJokeMan.com. Oh, just dunk me in paint and push me up against the canvas. <laughs> we'll see you uh, tomorrow. Yep. Thank you. More to come when the Howard Stern Show returns in a moment. Hey, Todd Whitman. Wow. That's cool. Jesus. Hey, you know what's really cool? When we go to commercial breaks and stuff, the, the, the crowd here just yells stuff. Yeah, they just yell, whoever. Like, uh, whoever. And it's like the most entertaining thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Especially that guy with the, uh, what do you got, like red hair and glasses? You're really good at oh, it. he's crazy. You should hear this guy. He just, he's relentless. He's like, F Timmy. F Penelope. F, I mean, you I'm go. to take over Jackie's job. Yeah, let me, just do some yells, will you? What, what do you want me to say? I don't care. You do it. Just do what you do. F not... Billy West. F Red and Stimpy. F the semen and the Jesus twins have left the building. And they, the Jesus Quiz. They no longer wish to appear on the show. Good. But I'd like to thank you for giving them the opportunities that you've given them over the past He's doing an impression yes. of the manager of I the see. Jesus Quiz. Hey, guys, why don't you just yell out? You know what? Just uh, yell out. Bring Ralph stuff. back. That inspires Watch them. when Ralph walks out. Ralph, just walk out on stage. Watch this. <laughs> Wild, like like Rob came out to like powder Robin, and it was just like homo. <laughs> they the were crowd. screaming, "Take the test!" You take guys, the test. so the next thirty seconds, feel free to just yell whatever Anything, you want, anything whatever you, you want. want. Go ahead. Whoa. Howard, can I move to New York and work on your show for free? And yes, like, really? yes, you can. Yeah, you're good at it. Yeah. If I came to New York tomorrow, you, or... oh, wait a second. This is the Jesus Twins manager. You guys are history with me. You can forget it. Goodbye. Hold on, what's it's over? One You're second. going back into obscurity. Howard, where's the question? I can barely hear you. There's no question. It's a statement. I said you guys are history. With me, you're history. Howard, feel on behalf of Janie Music and behalf of myself, we owe you a thorough apology, and we want to. Hold on. You guys insulted me. You insulted me. No, That's you're a, not coming up on the stage. Howard. What? Howard. Listen. Listen. Everybody, I got Bob Saget. Let me let me uh, bring in Bob. We don't have Howard. time for you. We don't have time for you. You blew it. Howard. You blew it with me. It's very difficult to hear you, but I just want to apologize on behalf of the Jesus Twins. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was very difficult for me to speak on the phone, but I do want to apologize, and I do want to convey to everybody that the Jesus Twins are serious musicians. This Tuesday. At the baked potato in Studio City, the Jesus Twins. All right, thank you. I got Bob Saget. Live whip slash that has been. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Now, I listen. I admit we were wrong. Absolutely. In the confrontation that took place on Tuesday, for making that point completely superfluous, the Jesus Twins are a phenomenal group. Howard. You guys blew it with me. You wait blew it with me. Wait a second. Howard. I I helped you out. But I you, want to have an you, you opportunity. Bit the hand that feed, you, over. you bit the hand that fed you. You bit the hand that fed you. Howard. What's your problem? It's over. It's over. Howard, we are, we came here tonight to apologize. Like you a can't man. You can't your whole life apologizing. Put us on the air. Enough with Lucas. All right, thank you. Thank you. It's over, Johnny. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, i got to talk to Bob Saget now. You are the walking dead yeah, to me. Try some other radio show. That's all. All right, where is the, uh, where's Bob Saget? 
Uh, we're excited because the movie... There's now screaming F Full House. F Full House. <laughs> <laughs> F Full House. <laughs> Bob Saget's here to welcome us at the show business. <laughs> That full house. It's an angry crowd in here. There's Bob Saget, everybody. There you go. Hey, Bob. Good to see you. <laughs> hey, you got to watch yourself around here, man. That full house. A lot of F full houses going on in there. This is, uh, this is our Hirschfield painting on acid. Yeah. I am, and, and I am in Andy Warhol's colon right now. Yeah, you sure are. <laughs> and I'm right there with you. Holy <laughs> Bob, uh, of course you have dude. America's Funniest Home Videos. I do, don't I? And you have a uh, full house going, so you pretty much made as much money as you possibly can in show business. That's that it. I've, I've hit my limit, huh? Because <laughs> when, you, when you do a show like Full House, you, now we see it even, now that you're not even doing it live, it's still in syndication. It's I am a widower in foreign languages. You are. It's yeah. really quite incredible. And you, and you still get a payday from that, right? It's all about money. Yes, it is. <laughs> that's why I'm, it's not, actually, well, that's why for you me. Got, that's why you got into this business, I assume. Oh, man, <laughs> just absolutely to make a not. I wanted to meet people like the guy that was just talking. I just really saw <laughs> <laughs> the brain of a chickpea is who I want to hang with. Just you've been in a position in your life where perhaps uh, now that you've uh, achieved some success, that uh, you, you you extend a helping hand to someone. You certainly uh, go over. You take some young talent out there. You try, try to, to help these guys. Right. And then they bite the hand that feeds them. They bite the they hand that feeds them. They don't get it. Right. <laughs> they don't get it. You don't bite the hand that feeds you. There's a sign that says, where's my show? So it's all about resentment, <laughs> jealousy, right. arrogance. Yeah. I, I host people getting hit in the nuts. You're an incredible talent. Thank you. But anyway, listen. I am taking thorough responsibility for the inadequacy of my band. I you should know what? Excuse some me. From the Excuse me a second. Listen to Bob. I woke up. I did a paper route. I'm exhausted. I'm actually going to go over and take the mic from you to help Shut me. up, you faggot! <laughs> hey, hey, stop hey, it. Hey, what is hey, it? Hey. <laughs> Here comes Bob. <laughs> He's grabbing the microphone. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> By the I way, believe in freedom of speech, but I'm very tired. You wrestled the microphone away I from... I had three hours sleep. I, I wish you well, sir, and right. I just want to do courtroom artist sketchings of you all night. Well, I mean, this is your segment. You're right. It's my yeah. segment. i got a congratulations on everything, Thank by you. the way. Now, you haven't seen the movie yet, have you? I have not. I'm looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, I can't wait for you to see it. By the way, Thursday night, tonight, it opens up. All over theaters across the country. I know that. Especially in our radio markets. And tomorrow is the actual general opening. It's amazing to me. The general opening is why we all got into this business in the first place. Exactly. But, but what's we great, all wanted some of that. But what's great to me is that you really, uh, you are the PR maven. I Thank mean, you. people do look at you and you are, you are everywhere. And you are partly naked and beautifully obscured. Like uh, Fabio. You, yes. But you are so, you, are, you look so technologically perfect. And do all me a the, favor. Please pay to see this movie. Because, uh, I only you're pay the only one. You're the only one who hasn't seen it, it so far. <laughs> I apologize. I've been very busy talking to people like that leprechaun in the front row there. By the way, a friend of yours... I like you. I like you, and I did not want to make fun of you. I actually want to put you in an apartment or take you to the old St. James Club and throw you off. It's amazing. It's amazing even you... You're listening to The Howard Stern Show. More after this. 97.1 The Eagle. You're listening. You're listening. Shut up. Listen and learn. To The Howard Stern Show. A sense of urgency in this music. Something important is coming up. Wait a second, I hear a message. Yes, yes, yes. Don't miss tonight's E episode of the Jesus Twins. You know that manager of the Jesus Twins? Uh, he got fired. By the Jesus Twins? <laughs> yeah. You got fired? Yeah. What happened? Let me first say this. Oh, this is the Jesus Twins. I told you guys you can't be on the show anymore until you wear my booger. Right. Enough so with the crap. Where's, where's the booger? Where's the what? Where's the booger? It's in your nose. <laughs> well, it's right here waiting to be put on your face. You going to start with that crap? I'm yep. not starting with any crap. you got to make it up to me. I'm going to make it up to you. I have a whole prop proposition if you just listen and mellow out. <laughs> you ready? Quickly. Now, here's the deal. First of all, I want to say one thing. To get on this uh, show, Stuttering John puts us through 48 questions. Like, he goes, you guys are charlatans. All right, okay, I got to go. This is boring. What is he talking about? He's lost my interest. I don't know. He's going to, he, I don't know. What do you want? Uh, I'm, I'm here on business. 
Now listen. We're gonna if you repress the soundtrack, right now it's number eighty eight, right? Yeah. We're gonna make it up to you. We're gonna let you use feel how you pick You wear my booger. Is that so you're gonna start with the infantile stuff? Alright. They fired the manager? I that's what I was trying to learn about, but the guy won't talk about it. I'd rather know, hear from the manager. Yeah, the manager was fun. He was the only good one. <laughs> he was the only good one when they fired him. <laughs> I liked him. He believed in them. Yeah. Imagine that. The guy believed in him and they fired him. That is cruel. Mm. Anyway, the Jesus Twins will be on uh, E tonight. Check them out. They'll be performing Feel My Ubiquity. <laughs> it's pretty funny. In front of record company. Yeah, executives. it's hey, fun. you got to see this. It's a fun show. <laughs> to say the least. Mm. I didn't play uh, The Dog Named Stains, but I'm going to do that tomorrow. <laughs> it's a keeper. Yeah, we got to do some news for you, though. It's an evergreen. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> I got Red Peters working on a song for me. Is that right? Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna be debuting that here very soon. And we will something like that. Make people disappear temporarily. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably try another job. You there. must be in pretty good shape. Those bicycle messages are all in good shape. Oh yeah, they're really hot. Happened today. Well, I I I want. Look at this. My phones are so screwed up. I got 20 guys on the phone all at once. I'm trying, I've been trying to hang up on this guy for about an hour. <laughs> yeah, I keep hearing him. I thought he was gone. Yeah, I know. Then I hung up on the guy I wanted, see? I can't work the phones in here. It is just so complicated. Do they change every day, Howard? Uh, no. It, you try it sometime. Try to keep talking, running music. No, I'm and just wondering. I don't know what happens. you have a problem? Uh, it's set up in a very kooky way. I can't explain it. It would take me ten minutes to explain to you how it's set up. <laughs> but it makes me nuts. <sighs> hey, Mark, you're on the air. Hey, do you think Jackie still feels like you're holding back his career? Do I do I think Jackie thinks I'm still holding back his career? I don't know. I haven't confronted him in a while. No, on I that. think he thinks this is his career now. I yeah. think he's gotten it straight. Yeah, yeah I'm stuck. I think he's accepted it. All right. Yeah, I think he knows he has a good thing. I think years ago he didn't. Now he wasn't sure. I'm a beaten wife. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a battered wife. <laughs> he sure is. We're a happy family. Hi, you're on the air. Oh, this is, uh, I don't know, I lost track. Jack. Jack, that's right. Yeah. Good morning, Howard. What's Good morning, happening? Robin. Good morning. I don't know if you caught Charles Grodin last night, but in his opening monologue, he mentioned the kid who got suspended for repeating a joke he heard on your show. Charles Grodin is obsessed with me, and for only one reason. The guy sucks so bad. I mean, his show is so unwatchable. You know, I was even talking to, my, talking to my father the other night, who was a huge talk show fan. My father just loves talk shows. He'll watch any so talk he show. He looks all over the dial for yeah. talk shows. He says he, he cannot watch this Charles Grodin. It's impossible. And the ratings are so abominable. And that, that whole CNBC is such a failure because it has ignited no one's interest. They have Conan reruns and Charles Grodin. This is who they came up with to put on there. People who are completely out of... You put Charles Grodin on any medium. Radio, he couldn't get ratings. He can't get ratings on TV. And I guess they've just resigned themselves to the fact that they're going to be a one share or a half a share or whatever the hell it is. Whatever the little blip they get. Yeah, and I mean, the guy, if he goes on, at least if he goes off on me, maybe I'll talk about him and maybe people will tune in. That's, that's all that is. Yeah, well, he went on to say that Westinghouse and CBS and CBS Radio all ought to be ashamed of themselves. Oh, they're so ashamed of themselves. You know, did you see the annual stockholders report on CBS? Do you know that CBS, the company that I work for now, do you know that uh, there's two divisions? There's the television division and the radio division. We are carrying the whole goddamn company. The radio division. Doesn't surprise me. There was a $110 million profit, $91 million coming from the radio division. The TV guys are so incompetent. they got a TV network they can't they're, make money with. They're hardly bringing in anything. If it wasn't for us. You know, when we merged, everyone said, wow, isn't that great for the radio division? They'll be carried by the TV division. That ain't the case. Charles Grodin wouldn't know anything he's talking about, except for maybe bad hair pieces. That he knows about. Well, Did like... we ever get the tape of him talking about his hair? Uh, no. Charles Grodin doesn't have the ability to make money for anybody. He has not generated a dime for CNBC. Well, I'm might... part of a company, and I'll say a large part of it, that has generated $91 million this year alone. In profits. In profits. That's, that's pure profit. Yeah, that's not all they make. Yeah, that ain't the gross. Well, he claims CBS executives have talked to him about doing the show, but after his going off on him last night, he figures he's burned that for it. Oh, sure. CBS executives would never approach him for one reason. He has no ratings. He sucks. He sucks. He can't, he can't entertain audiences. 
And all these guys are jealous. You got that on tape, him going off on me? I wish I did, Howard, but I was getting ready to go to bed, and I just couldn't believe you. All right, I'll have it tomorrow on the show. I'll get a copy of it. But he's got a new wig, and it still looks bad. Yeah, he, I know. He's trying to upgrade. I know. He, there, there's a show. I actually saw the show. It, I didn't even bring it in because it wasn't worth it. He, he says he doesn't wear a wig. He just he just kind of <laughs> he kind of quickly said, uh, people say I wear a wig. I don't wear a wig. Just something really? like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't wear a wig. All right, have so a no one. wonder he's doing so well. He lies to his audience. Well, he's going increasingly bald on the show. Maybe he's taking the wig off. I don't know. But gradually. He yeah. He want to shock the Right, audience. exactly. Something's going on there. <laughs> guy's such a jerk. You can't even watch his show. I was laying in bed Saturday night, and I was trying to uh, watch his show. They run it. I guess they run a rerun. I was like, hey, I want to watch a talk show. There was nothing on TV. I, there was nothing on TV. I couldn't watch it. Uh, yes. Oh, this is the manager of the Jesus Twins, or the ex-manager. Manager of the Jesus Twins. Your ex, right? I am the ex-manager. Is this Howard and Robin? Yeah. Howard, how are you doing? Listen, I just want to say right off the bat that it was an absolute pleasure being on your show. The two live visits in New York went very well. And they were odd. Howard, when we came back to Los Angeles, I really thought that the Jesus Twins were mature adults. There were sophisticated musicians, and that they were going to conduct themselves in a professional manner. In addition to that, I also want to add that they took $40,000 off of my credit card, my corporate credit card, to spend on advertising that was inappropriate, and now I've got EMT. Inappropriate. I'm sorry? Inappropriate. Inappropriate. Thank you. Did <laughs> inappropriate. I inappropriate. I'm sorry. I'm very upset right now. Howard. All right. So you're not the manager for the Jesus Twins anymore? I am currently not the manager. I'd be open to taking back that position if the Twins will call up and apologize to you for the way that they conducted themselves. I completely condemn Are you nude them. right now? I'm sorry? Are you naked right now? Am I naked, Howard? That's completely superfluous. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> well, I, first time I've ever heard him laugh. He, yeah. His laugh is more frightening than his speaking I know. <laughs> anyway, I just want to make one point very clear. Yes. Right now, I'm very upset with the boys. And the reason I'm upset with them is that they are exceptional talents. They are the magnum opus of the 1990s. And I Why did they fire you then? They didn't fire me, Howard. I, I quit. I quit. Why would you quit if you feel that way? I quit. Not because of the music. I quit for my own personal reasons. What is you the reason? Understand. You see, What's the reason you quit? What is the have reason? An obligation to society. They have an obligation to conduct themselves like professionals. And it was the lack of professionalism that led me to make that decision. I officially quit on April 4th. And the reason why is that, first of all, a lot of what's been going on is due to a strong alcohol problem. This, this is your business with the band. Yeah, can't you call them on the phone? Call them on the phone. The bottom line is, is that I have a responsibility to myself and I have a responsibility to the music community. Are you still there? Ah. <laughs> Barely. I'm, I'm really trying to hang up on you. I just the can't. The music community. <laughs> I have a not phone. even in that community. Yeah. All right, well, all right listen, go work it out. That they can. Right, if they call up and apologize on the, if they call up and apologize on the air, you're saying you'll go back with them. Even with if the drinking Jesus problem, you claim me. Call up and apologize not only for the way that they acted toward me, but the way that they acted toward you, the way that they acted. All right, I'm going to indulge this for two seconds. They're on the line. Jesus twins on. Yeah. All right, Jesus twins. Yeah, John, you want to talk crap about me? Why don't you say it to my face, John, you pussy? Listen, if the two of you are in front of me right now, I'd break all six John, for you. You wouldn't even get laid if you didn't go constantly around town saying, I'm the Jesus Twins manager. All right, let me ask something. Well, listen, listen, I would be the manager if the two of you acted like adults, spent more time practicing your music and less time drinking and acting like buffoons. What happened at Billboard Live when the two of you schmucks embarrassed me? I told you to work on the 11 songs, but no! Instead, you had to get kicked out by security guards. Are you my dad? Howard and so Are you my dad? Howard. John, you've been fired. You shouldn't even be on the Howard Stern show. You Why did I quit? Listen, who bought you the uh, Mercedes Benz? Who bought Eric the BMW that I purchased out of my own pocket? Listen, I, I make $300,000 a year. Yeah, now what are you doing? You're on the streets where I met you. If it wasn't for me, the two of you bums 
would still be living on the streets of Hollywood. Or, 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 or hey, you're complaining about a, you're complaining about an advertisement in Billboard magazine. At least that was money well spent. Oh it's really? Like, now I have a lawsuit. Hey Howard. Yes. I can You guys got to get off the speakerphone. I can't hear you. Not on speaker. Oh. This this is a guy who spends twenty thousand dollars on hookers when we went to New York. Oh right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Very well. Yeah, is that true, John? No, that is completely fallacious. How much did you spend? True. How much did you spend? I spent twenty thousand on hookers. I spent. Howard, I, how many people do I'll you tell know? you where I, where I spent the money. I spent the money on musicians, on instrumentals. I spent the money trying to develop these guys. I flew them into New York. John. I was the one that was responsible for their success on E. I was responsible on your show, Howard. Right. I'm sorry, but they John. completely are responsible. John. They owe you an apology. Well, that I'll agree with. John. I agree to that, but... But he went accessible. No, I'm, I'm done with that issue. John. Let me, John. Let me tell yeah, you one thing. Please. You have some stop, nerve. Stop, stop, stop. Howard. Wait, wait a second. John. Please. How do you make 300000 a year? That's what I want to know. Well, first of all, I'm the vice president of two companies. He's a one of which He's is done Low with Low Voltage Neon Systems. <laughs> the other is j and &E Music. We're done That's with him. That's why he wanted to fire me because of the fact that these two punks had the audacity to take my credit card, audacity. credit card and spend it on I'm getting calls from Howard's lawyers. I'm getting calls from E. I mean, yeah, well, you guys really screwed up. Yeah, we told you not to do that, and you did it. Do what? You know what I'm talking about. Hey, John. Um, hey, here. John, you're going to have to deal with that now because the point is... You might as well you might as well spend your money on hookers without the Jesus twins because that's the only way you got laid in the first place. Oh really? Yeah, really. Listen, part of my responsibility as your manager, who got you the crew cuts? Who, what? I mean, the the hair. I'm sorry, the, the braids. Who purchased the money for the for the nice haircuts that you guys have? Who bought you the clothes? Who bought you the cars? If it wasn't for me, you guys would be living in a cardboard box. You I need, need you guys need with you your money. Today. You can get money from anywhere, you loser. Oh, you really? Retard. I'm the loser. Come on, you're playing football. Everybody all else right. is playing baseball. All right, all right. Guys, let me and ask you this. I'm you willing. Okay, I'm, I'm, do, I'm willing to do this. I'm willing to buy you guys show. two new cars. I'm willing to bring you back. On the condition that you guys clean yourselves up, get into the studio, produce. I, I, I didn't tell you this. I didn't want to tell you this. But uh, I have right bad. now a $10 million dollar contract with a major record label just ready to sign. The instrumental musicians are ready to go. All I need is your signature. Yeah. If you will meet me tonight and, and, and no, make no, a no, song no, on the air. That's right. You have the police come over to our place. And put uh, us, Howard, Howard, you wanted to arrest us, Howard. Really? For putting up the ad in Billboard magazine. I said, look. He's right. I didn't want to arrest you. You got that all wrong. Gus Brady was the one that wanted to arrest you. In fact, I got into a physical confrontation with, with, with Gus just the other day because he was talking smart about the two of hey, you. Hey, John, <laughs> why did you have people come over to our place and have us... Uh, Make us go into AA, huh? That was I did, because I love you guys. Don't you understand? Now, don't I'm your manager crap. for crying out loud. You guys say, show me the money. The way that you've been acting, I'm thinking, show you the exit. But I don't want to do that. I think you guys are the greatest musicians of all time. Stop kissing our ass on the edge, John. You have no career at all. Stop the arguing. Perhaps then maybe we can perform like true professionals and show Howard, Robin, Jerry, among others, that we are the magnum opus of the next 25 John, years. John, you're out of the picture. You're history. We're going to get someone else. Oh, really? You're a loser. Well, I encourage it. you to do that, because with the way the two of you are acting, you're probably going to be performing somewhere on the streets of Greenwich Village or Venice Beach, probably asking for nickels and quarters. Let me ask you something, John. What is, what is your claim to fame without the Jesus Twins? What oh, is really? Well, listen, you I am an go executive genius. I've got a 190 idea. Twins. You know that to be a Howard. fact. Howard. 
Howard. Yes. I am a tested mentor, schmuck. Please speak for one second. Howard. Right. This is a guy who, who tried to get us arrested for putting the ad in Billboard magazine. Let alone, yet, yet, I hear from women. I go to the same clubs as John. They make fun of him for showing off the Billboard ad magazine everywhere he goes. He goes, I manage. Listen to me. Listen to me. Being great. It sounds to me like this guy is the only guy who's got money. So far, you guys haven't earned a nickel. What, are you kidding me? I gave all my time in AA because this idiot tried to get us arrested if we didn't go to AA. So we had to make a deal that we'd go to AA. And now we can't even play music because of this retard. He's a retard. Oh, retard. Why can't you play music? Listen. It's hard to play music when you're not drunk. <laughs> so our drinking is under control. There's nothing wrong with a cocktail once in a while. <laughs> That's oh, true. Really? Well, listen, uh, pot you, drink, Power. you drink more alcohol than most people drink water. <laughs> you know, wait, two hours, you idiots. There's nothing wrong with getting stoned once in a while. Oh, really? Yeah, that's right. Well, listen, Power. if you're going to yeah, keep up that attitude... What do you call once in a while? Uh, a few times a week. It adds some music, and there's nothing wrong with that. All right. Howard, right. let me ask you a question. This is a guy, if he's my manager and I ask him to buy me a pack of cigarettes, he runs out of thrifties like I just asked him to buy me a, uh, a, a cocaine. Well, well, first of all, if I can address that issue, Howard, it is true, I don't smoke, I don't drink, and I don't do drugs. He's a faggot. But I am not a faggot, I'm not a sissy. I, just simply put, I'll tell you what, if you guys come back and you get your crap together, I'm going to have someone in Europe design a patch for each of you. You have to understand, these guys... <laughs> a patch? That's right. I'm going to have a designer patch for these two. For nicotine? Each one will get a designer patch from France. What do you mean, a patch? A what is it? A patch. It's so stupid. What do you mean, a patch? <laughs> That's right. For your cigarette smoking. <laughs> <laughs> I, think that you you start music? I think it's bad for your career. John, what, what, John, what do you care about a career? You're fired. You're gone. You're history. All right, then forget it. I'm fired. Okay, I'm fired. Jesus okay, why don't you set me on fire? This go inferno. Burn, baby, burn. You got the e-lawsuit to deal with. Don't you have enough to deal with instead of calling Howard Stern? All right, listen. All right, listen. No, I, Howard, I just want to make one point very clear. because right, I could listen I to this all day, but Howard, I've got to go. Yeah, yeah, so I got the Eddie Murphy situation to deal with. Go ahead. Hey, Howard, let me ask you a question. On Friday, you fired an exhibitionist, exhibitionist named Zach, right? Yes. Okay. First of all, I commend you. In fact, I applaud you for Look doing that. Look at him kiss your ass. You fired him. What? Look at him kiss your ass. That's all he knows how to do is kiss ass. No, I'm not kissing Howard's ass. I'm just simply making a point. The reason you fired him is because he acted unprofessional. These two gentlemen are unprofessional. They didn't fire me. I fired them because they embarrassed me. Uh, They're an indictment upon... It's hard to believe there's somebody on the planet that can embarrass you. Howard, let me say this. I apologize to you. I'm sorry you didn't accept it. I can't do anything more than that. I won't agree to wear any anybody's booger on the planet. Not for a million dollars. Yeah, you, you have to wear my booger. That was very immature of you. You have to wear my booger. Howard, wait a second. What's the big deal? Get away from boogers. Howard, Howard, in defense of the Jesus Twins... I know I'm supposed to be angry with them, but I love these guys. These are brothers. <laughs> no. Howard, wait a second. Anyway, I just want to say one thing. Oh, All right, look, I got to go. Right. If I could straighten these two punks out, <laughs> if I can get them to be civilized and normal, no, and carry themselves no, like the true professionals, I think they're capable. It sounds to me, uh, John, like yeah. the Jesus twins are John, saying goodbye. To move on to another group. Yeah, I mean, you've said everything. Uh, let, me, let me just say this. Let me just say this. John has put a lot of time and patience into us. And money. Let's not forget the money. I'm not saying that you haven't helped us out, like John. Like $400,000 in four and a half John, years. Let me make it perfectly clear. I'm a control freak when it comes to my own life, and I can't have a dictator controlling my life, John. All right, well, well there you have it. I'm willing to do, guys. I'm willing to negotiate, because I love you guys. I think... I don't think there's a group out there that is better than the two of you. You guys what are you are negotiating? <laughs> they don't want you. All right, then they don't need me. John, right. right. But I'm just John simply saying... a valuable asset to us, and I love him before we got in a fight, but I will say this. I am not going to have John Mendelssohn control my life. All right. All right listen, guys, you, I never get tried to control when you, want you. To. I never tried... John, to put a leash, something. a collar around the two of you. I just simply said... John... 
Yes. I think it's over. You think it's over? Yeah. John, when you get us the $10 million contract that you agreed to get us, then we'll I have the $10 million dollar contract in my briefcase right now. Oh, yeah, right. Yes. No, well, it's true. The money? I, I, I was... You don't understand. You see, while you guys are drinking and, and smoking and doing whatever you guys want to do, I'm in meetings. I'm the manager. I'm always in meetings. I'm flying from one part of the continent to another. I'm always working. I get up at 4 in the morning, and I often go to bed at 3 o'clock at night. Now, you're saying... You're saying you know how hard I work, <laughs> you, Robin. You get an hour's you sleep. You were military, weren't you, if I'm, if I'm not... No, John, you're saying over, that in yeah. your... You're saying in your... It's over. Uh, you're saying in your suitcase right now is a contract for the Jesus Twins, $10 million? $10 million, that is correct. And you have... John, you want to impress us? Get us back on the Stern Show as regular guests. I'll tell you what. Howard, I'll make you a deal. Okay? I will wear the booger. I will wear the booger Look at him, you on the contingency no, 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 on the contingency that the boys fail to make it. Let me get this straight. Well, I'll tell you what, Howard. You're, Howard John, you John, what. unacceptable. You, you didn't insult me. The, the Jesus twins did, right, and they I'll have to wear my booger. Here's the deal, okay? All three of us will wear the booger if they I don't make a number one song. Right, if you uh, won't I'll wear the booger, what, then I'll it's off. Twins, <laughs> you hear me okay? Can everybody hear me okay? Yeah. Oh, we hear you just fine. Howard, I have enough confidence. Clay, I think that there is no group better than they. I will do this. I will get them to the top. I am a genius in my own right. I have the ability and the work habits to make these guys number one in six months. At six months from today, what is today's date anyway? May 6th, right? Yes. No, May 7th. I'm go ahead, sorry. quickly, because I have May, to go. May 7th, May, June, July, August, September, October. By November... Seven. If they're not number one, I will come on the show and I will eat your booger. Ugh. I right. will make Rob to your booger. <laughs> I will eat Robin's booger and Gary's booger. But if but if they are among let's see the top ten on on the Billboard charts, right. I want you to publicly apologize to the Jesus Twins. No way. Everybody oh, wow. Why would I do that? Twins. What good is that for helping them? I, I'm not going to apologize to anybody. Listen. Howard. You're insane. Howard. You're right. He is insane. Yes, really. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm with you guys. The manager. <laughs> you make them number one. I have to apologize to them? Why would I apologize? I want, I want an apology on the contingency. I'll right. tell you what. Twins? Yeah. Twins? Yeah. It's I'll a tell you what. Twins. The two of you John. come back to work. Trick. Okay. Say my name the way it should be said. Not twins. Okay, if the Jesus twins That's are better. willing to come back to work, what a I will have a Mercedes Benz <laughs> waiting for each of them. I will give them a $200 advance, and I'll tell you what. What? A what? A $200 advance. What is that going to do? <laughs> I'm going to buy you cigarettes, you schmuck. John, that won't even pay for my cigarettes, John. I'll tell you what. How if could the you two them? of you don't come back to work, they're going to start smoking generics. <laughs> I don't think so. I smoke Marlboro Lights, period. No, if the two of you don't go back to work, you're going to be on the street begging for generics. You said you have musicians who record all the music. Who do you play the goddamn songs, John? I can't, I can't release that over the air, but I've got it all set up. Who do you think wrote the songs, John? The Jesus Twins wrote the songs. Well, who do you think paid for the songs to be produced, schmucks? Let's face it, you're retard out of work on welfare without the Jesus Twins. Oh, really? Although you may Listen. have given us a lot of money, and you paid right. for our living Listen. expenses over the last I five years, my high without school us, you have nothing. Fell Victorian, okay? I was an exceptional college student. I was a, co I was a co collegiate debater. There he goes promoting champion. himself again. I don't need the two of you. I'm doing it because I believe in your music. It's not about the money. Uh, you guys constantly music. say, show me the money. All right, okay, all right. Listen, I got it. I can listen to this all day. You know I mean, they're fascinating. <laughs> if you believe in the music. But they're only fascinating when the three of them. Uh, John, right. if you believe in the music, get us in the studio, get my car fixed up. I'll tell you what, guys, I'll do this. I'm willing to meet with you guys tonight. I don't think so. I'll tell you what. John, talk. I'll tell you what, I'll make you guys a deal, all right? A thousand dollars a day, that's five thousand a week, that's ten... That's seven thousand dollars a week. All right, how about six thousand two hundred and fifty if you stop drinking? I'll tell you what, if you guys promise me not to drink, yeah. if you promise to cut down on the cigarettes, if you promise to cut down on the marijuana, then I might consider the idea of thinking of... No, the marijuana adds to the music, there's nothing wrong with marijuana. Uh. 
All right, I'll tell you what. All right, I'll agree to the marijuana. I'll agree to the cigarettes. But you got to cut down on the alcohol, guys. And what's the I'm deal? Sorry. A thousand a day? It's killing your liver. It's going to kill your performance. And I don't you want have... to see you guys John. Uh, become another Kurt Cobain, okay? I'm John, sorry. John, the point is, you have no group. You've invested all this money. Oh, really? You have nothing really? without us. You're an uh, out-of-work manager without us. All right, I'm going to tell you one thing. I can, find, I can make money, but I will, agree, I will acquiesce on one level. I think you guys are the best. There's no group out there that is better than the We people. already know that. We already know that, John. I'll tell you what. I'll make you guys a deal. <laughs> show me the How money. How serious are you As about Jerry Maguire being... says, show me the money. Show you the money. What if I show you the exit? Cuba Gooding. Listen, I mean, the way you guys right. are acting, I should send you both to Cuba <laughs> oh, I wish I could with your with face that. busted <laughs> off. I can have this every day. <laughs> I swear to God, you guys are such idiots. I swear hey, to God. If you Whoopi. promise not to drink, and you promise to get in the studio and do your jobs, I guarantee you I'll show you the money, I'll show you the cars, I'll show you the women, and I'll show you a platinum... Wait, wait, wait. John, let me see platinum gold. John, what about the crea creativity aspect? I want full control of the... Use all creativity. I will not. If you guys let me do your job, uh, if you let me do my job, I'll let you guys do your job. I will not sign with any label who will not grant the Jesus Twins complete musical creativity. All right, I'll tell you what. John, don't let, stroke let me. me. I'm let not me stupid. I, right, I know guys, you're guys, a guys, operandi. Guys, you operandi. You think you could stroke me all on right. the Stern show? It's not going to happen. I want something in writing. I want the money in writing, right, and guys, then we'll consider. Seven seventeen Eastern time. I'll tell you what. I got to fly out. Robin, uh, Howard, listen, I want to thank you both for letting me come on the show today. Right. Yeah, because but that's the only publicity that you get with the Jesus I got to fly to Chicago this morning, and I've got to meet with a few people, then i got to go to Detroit tonight. People are actually going to meet with you. Okay, I'm gonna, I have an important yeah. meeting tomorrow uh, in Detroit. Hey, I will get together with my people. I'll tell you what, guys, you guys got it. You want creativity? You got it. But you let me do my job. You cut. Uh, All right. Why don't you guys? Why don't you guys go work this out? Hey, John. I, they're gonna get back together. Yeah, it looks like they're getting back together. Hey, John. I'll tell you what. If you stop the alcohol, I'm again your manager. Hey, John. Yes. Let me ask you a question. These Please. meetings that you have tonight, who are they? What are they pertaining to? The Jesus Twins, I bet. But no. But I bet they don't know that you've been fired April 24th. Well, actually, it was April 4th. Uh, whatever it is. It was April 4th that I got fired. All right. But anyway. All right. Why don't you guys go work this out? Howard, I'll tell you what. Hey, guys, John. I'll make you a deal. If you no, promise not, not to right. drink, I'll, I'll, I'll accept my position back. What do you guys have to say? You get us back on the Stern Show as regular guests, then we'll consider it. All right. You make a deal with Howard. 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 Make a deal what, Howard. what do the Why boys have to do to get back on the show? Where my booger? We'll get back on the show with open arms or forget about it. So wait a second. Beside, 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 beside the booger, what... what Forget the booger. I mean, let's get away from the sandbox, the third grade stuff. All right, listen, I got I to gotta go. You guys go work at your deal. Howard. It has nothing to do with us. It has nothing to do with us. Right what? Right, Howard. deal with John right now. No, I'm not dealing with John that. Don't tell me. John got you back on the show. Don't so tell me. You ought to take him back. Yeah, don't tell me who to deal with. All right, well, hey. Howard, first of all, I think you're a genius in your own right. In the history of music. And if... if I could listen to that. <laughs> I could listen to that all day, but uh, what can I tell you? I love it. Yeah, I, I love that. I, what can I say? We have so many bigger issues to tackle. I cannot sit there with that. This is a perfect one. Exactly. Uh, listen to these words. We'll be right back. More to come when the Howard Stern Show returns in a moment. Broadcasting from the top of the Howard Stern Building, you're listening to the Howard Stern Show on the Stolen Vehicle Police Recovery Network. Is that right? No. <laughs> You'll be advised people seek for me, the council. You know, there's so many things that need to be done in the world. Oh, come on. Don't start. <laughs> and everybody's oh, sitting on. around trying come to figure on. out how to scratch an itch. <laughs> oh, please. Just because you're not horny. Dave, you're on the air. Dave, you're Who? On. Yeah. Howard. Oh, wow. i got two guys on the phone. Hey, Howard. How's it going? Well, maybe I don't. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Hey, uh, listen, Why are there two uh, guys on the phone with me? When your movie first came out, we uh, we went to this bar and we uh, we were promoting the hell out of it. And we told uh, everybody that we were the Jesus Twins. 
So we ended up uh, hooking up with these two girls that thought that we knew you and everything. And uh, so we went back to the hotel with them, and we banged them and everything. And, uh, we caught chlamydia from them. <laughs> yeah? Robin. Hey, what is chlamydia? It's, it's, it's a bacteria that people have in their genital area. <laughs> What's it do to you? Um, I don't know, rash you up or something? <laughs> what did it give you? What did it do to you? Uh, well, it made my balls hurt really bad. And, uh, I mean, my balls hurt bad, and I don't have chlamydia. I know. <laughs> Every day. But Both of you guys got chlamydia from these chicks? Yeah, we did. <laughs> you didn't use a rubber? No, we didn't use a rubber at all. I don't know how you guys don't use rubbers, especially when you meet two strange women. Yeah, we were pretty stupid. Yeah, I, I don't get that, man. I'd be frightened out of my mind. Well, hey, Howard, people are you fearless out there. I know. They really are brave. When are you going to come back to the Tidewater area? They took you from us. Oh, stuff yeah? Up, stuff up Virginia. Yeah, we got thrown out of there. Those bastards. They said we were too controversial. I can't talk to guys who are talking over me. <laughs> they got chlamydia. That's pretty funny. That's funny. Well, they lied. It was God punishing them. Sally, you're on the air. Hey, how's it going? All right. I have to ask your opinion about something. Hey, why don't you keep your radio up louder? Can you turn it up at all? Can you, you want make... me to turn it up? Yeah, yeah, turn it up, because we want you as confused as possible. Oh, okay. Okay, out in our lobby is Satan. Oh, what? Remember the Jesus Twins? Those guys used to come on our show and everybody hated them? Yes. And they were going to be the next big rock act? Right. According to them. You two guys are the gayest couple I've ever okay. seen. Right. Watch you get right. a... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Why did you lie to no, stare but, at him but, trying to get a show for three hours? Totally let's not talk. Let's listen, to, the, let's listen to your loser music. Uh, the music will it. wind up on the soundtrack. And you'll oh, yeah. 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 Are you guys really convinced I will hear this music? Yes. yes. And, and you are yes. really convinced? Yes. Oh, listen, you have... If you want me to criticize the album, I'm more than happy to. All right. You haven't heard the album. I don't give a rat's head. I am the innovator of music. Listen to me. Listen to me. Shut up. Ozzy Osbourne should have been superannuated years ago. What? The guy's like 75. And Perry Farrell? Yeah. He's an impresario. He's not a musician. He hasn't played a gig in years. He's no good either. They all suck. They all suck. Okay. You're the only guys who are good. Wait a second. All right. Here's your song. Let's hear your song. Your audience made us to 18, to 50, and you have Green Day appeals to new kids on the block crowd. Well, listen. Green Day. Green Day. This. They suck in the times of all well, these bands. Bush, you're saying, Bush, you're saying, Bush was in the studio. They Bush. suck. You're saying guys, everyone I sucks. Have... I don't mind that you say everyone sucks. Why is it you guys have, have not been no discovered? One, we are discovered. By who? Right now. Oh, there was, right Howard, now they were throwing right around now. a big name. The manager was telling me that the guy that manages Janet Jackson mm -hmm. is in charge of them, and he made a call to you know you your did, label. Now, you're a dick. You that, was an, that was an act to oh. get in, you retard. Get him out of here. Fred, last time I called in, last time I called you in, he played cuckoo music, right? Right. Yeah, I got Fred, security paid We have talked bucks. to these people before. Yeah. Fred, Fred, <laughs> Fred these are the guys. These are the guys what? who got on the Tonight Show. Remember, they called us. They got on the oh, Tonight those Show. Guys. Did, 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 did tell that story again. What happened? You got on the. I how called did you, it enough. How did you get on the Tonight Show? T uh, just do it quick. Let okay. Okay. Would you shut up? Jay <laughs> was at a kinko. He's so annoying. Here's Satan. He's reinvented himself. He just got crazy. Gary says it's real disturbing because. He Supposedly, doesn't look anything like himself. And he just got out of the hospital or something? Well, I don't doubt that. <laughs> I bet you the other one's still in. No, the other one's in, in Los Angeles. Here he is, Satan. Wow. That's Satan. <laughs> I liked you with the long hair, man. Well, Satan doesn't want long hair. Don't you think he was a lot better looking with long hair? Yeah. You lost your look, dude. Why'd you shave your head? Satan. Yo yo yo! Oh, is he gonna? Is he not gonna talk now? Here we go. What? <laughs> Shut up! <Here> we go. <laughs> Satan, are you going by the name of Satan or the Jesus Twins now? Satan's fine. Satan's fine. Signed the release, Satan. He did sign the release. I go back and get his, his, you know, his birth name. I was right. gonna say because is that legal? <laughs> You know Satan's got a Jewish name. I know. I know he's Jewish. Jew well, Falwell Jerry Falwell was right. What happened to you? Nothing. What happened to you? We cut off all your hair. What happened to the Jesus twins? Is that over? Jeff's in L.A. when I'm here. Jeff, your brother. Mm -hmm. And why are you no longer with your brother? You guys, <laughs> you guys, you're so close. We are still close. You are still close. Okay. I know, does I, he know you're Satan? Now he does. Did he shave his head? No. He did not. He has the long hair. Why did you shave your head? I wanted to tell. Yeah. And and uh, now, when he says he's Satan, does he mean like the devil, or is he just taking a name? Yeah. You know, What's going on with you? You get into devil worship? Are you? 
Hello. Hello. We were just having a nice conversation in the green room. Where's my cigars? They're on their way. Oh, he's complaining that he wants to smoke in here, and I told him that he can't. Yeah, you can't smoke in here. And then he said here. if those faggots, Rob Zombie, and all those other faggots can smoke in here, he's going to smoke yeah, in here. Yeah, but Rob didn't smoke in here. I've seen people smoking. Who did you see smoking in here? I've seen people smoking. Tell the truth. Who did you see? You see any I've ashtrays? Did you see an ashtray in here? Years ago. What, are you afraid of a little smoke? Yes. yes. We're not Satan. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I am. I don't like smoke. We're not Satan. You are. Now, what happened? You went into the hospital? Tell me about this. What happened to you? You guys were on your way with your music career, and what happened? Did you have a breakdown or something? No. What, what were you in the hospital for? Just bullshit. Well, you can't curse. I told him that. I know. Well, he's, he's Satan. Satan. He, he, Satan. He, Howard, Satan did mumble something to me about um, something about. I said, "Well, what did they say you were in for?" And you said that they thought you might be bipolar. What's bipolar? That's a uh, manic Nothing. depressive. Are you depressed? What are you depressed about? Good looking guy. Not depressed. Got a future? What? What's the matter with you? Hey, can I ask you a question? There's this thing on your hand that looks like somebody put a cigarette out there. What is that? Burn. You burned yourself. Are you into self mutilation? No. Well, this is a fascinating interview. Yeah, I guess Satan has to go. I thought, I thought Satan had a little more to say. Here's a, here's a good question. Why did, why did you come here this morning? Intuition. <laughs> hmm. And, and is intuition striking you right now? All right. Okay, listen, Goodbye, I, I tried. Satan. I'm trying, I Satan. Never, I can never figure out with these guys, because like, the first thing he did is he went into a refrigerator and tried to eat the horseradish. <laughs> really? What was that all about? No. <laughs> Don't eat that horseradish. Trust me. Very dangerous. I, mean, I wouldn't eat it if it was fresh, and I don't think it was fresh. So, Satan, you don't want to tell us why you're here? I felt like coming here. All right. And what is going on with you? How are you making a living? How long were you in the hospital? To give me some information. Everyone's, everyone wants to know. Because i got to play Old Dirty Bastard next. I just broke out yesterday. You just you broke, broke out, out of the hospital? Okay. What hospital were you in? L.I.J. L.I.J.? On Long Island? Mm-hmm. You're from Long Island? Mm-hmm. And you broke yeah, out? You weren't released? Right. You broke out of the hospital. Right. So are you on the lam? I mean, are they looking for you? No. No. Oh. Yeah. Well, what kind of break? Are you on medication? No. No. Well, should are you, you be? Should you be? Should you be? According to them? No. Did they, they didn't have you on anything there? They tried to give me some shit, but I broke out. <laughs> All right. All right. So anyway, well, listen, it's good uh, seeing you, Satan. I always like seeing Satan. Oh, can we get his brother on the phone? We could spend him. Where is your brother? Is he available? I don't know. You don't know. Do you have a phone number for him? Like, I could call him right now? You could. Okay, hold on a second. Well, it's all right. I mean, it'll take too long. All right. Uh, I just, there's I, nothing here. We talk to you longer if you have more to say, I think. Right, I think you're kind of quiet right now. Maybe you want to go hang out a little bit. Maybe you'll have more to say later. You want to try that? No? See, visually, this works well, but for the radio audience, it's a little dull. Yeah. Satan, did you have a message or anything? Yeah, I mean, I want to give you an opportunity to talk. It's just you're not talking. Hold on, you got to put the head. You got to. Oh, you done? Going. Are you right. done? No, listen, you guys need to chill out, all right? All right. What do you got there? Fucking side show. No, 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 don't, don't use the f word, please. Why are you what here? is that? What are you doing? I'm taking off my shirt. Why are you taking your shirt off? Because it's hot. Well, you got a good physique, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I wish I was built like that. Doesn't eat. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, anyway, listen, we got to take a break anyway. It's good to see Satan. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. Yeah. And uh, if you want, you can hang out. And if you have something to say later and you get more comfortable, you'll He's come back telling in. telling us this is not a sideshow. Why did you come here? I'm not making it a sideshow. I just wanted to talk to you. Don't glare at me like that. Oh, you got balls when you're behind glass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys go. Why don't you guys go chill out, give Satan something to eat, get him a breakfast, okay. and see if he feels more comfortable later talking. All right, you want to do that? Want to sit down for a while? Yeah. Give him, give him a chance to unwind. <laughs> He's not comfortable yet. Satan needs to unwind. I know these guys. These guys have a lot on their mind, but they got to get comfortable. Trust well, me on that. He might be here a week. <laughs> so let him get comfortable. That's all. <laughs> I'm trying go to ahead. get comfortable. Good Lord, he has nobody at all. Right. Well, he got thin. Hang out for a little while. No, he just has no idea. When, right. You know, he, he got he upset when you asked nice about his guy. penis, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. Uh, I, he at first, what did he, he, but then he, then he thought. I think he knew that I, I was yeah. from you, and then he, then he yeah. was nice. He's a cool I guy. Met him in Montreal. He's a cool guy. Yeah, he seems like a nice guy. All right, good. Cool. Uh, yeah, okay. okay. All right. Yeah, great. Then, yeah, is Rappaport coming on? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. you want to sit here for that? I'll hang out, but the Jesus guys are coming. Oh, right? so bring Rappaport in right now. Okay. We don't have to break. Put the microphone on. It is on. Oh. 
the Jesus twins are as strange as ever. Uh, just, why don't you bring Rappaport in first? Yeah, because Ben wants to be here for Rappaport, and we got to okay. hear Rappaport. This guy, this guy's bitching and moaning that he can't get into the Playboy. Why and he's because he ne he's never he been there. Go. He's never been there. So it's that syndrome of like you know you until you've gone. He's a married man. Let him stay home. Look, he should earn his own way into the Playboy mansion. He's not that well known. He couldn't have been. What's he making man? a picture? Mike Rappaport. He was in Spike Lee movies. You don't get paid. He's for in those. Woody Allen movies. I wish I could get into Woody Allen. Movies. Woody Allen movies don't but pay anything. I know, but it's come on. Him to put you in. The guy has to choose you, and he's been chosen. So well, I don't know. You know. Well, you tell him he's a nobody. <laughs> he's a very talented guy. Mike Rappaport, who I know right, personally. Yeah. No, no, no. Sit it's right there. Right. Sit down. Hello. Hey, Mike. How How's you doing? Going? All right. Thank Mike, you Mike, name some of the movies you've been in. A lot of people don't realize who you are. Especially um, Ben. Ben was saying you're not really well known. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. This guy has been in every Well, hung? No. No, come oh. on. What have you been in? You've been in I've Spike been Lee. Bamboozle. I've been Woody Allen, Small Time Crooks, Mighty Aphrodite, True Romance, Copland, Beautiful Girls. All of it. So Kiss of Death. Intimidating resume. And what is your problem with the Playboy Mansion show? <laughs> well, my problem with the Playboy Mansion show is, is that I want to go. Right. Me? We don't have room for you. Why not? Who do you want to come with? Wait, wait, wait hold on, hold on. I know for a fact, because your man Gary told me that you are sneaking in. Melrose, Larry Green. Howard, one of and those I can't get two tickets? Here's no, one of the most embarrassing moments I've ever had. Right. So Michael's got me in the green room, and I'm literally going through the ticket count. You know, 450 tickets, you know, 200 go to musicbank.com, 100 for cash and crew, yeah, the whole that's thing. that's true. And then I walk out of the room, 10 minutes later, I'm in, and he goes, hey, how come Melrose Larry hasn't been on this week? I said, oh, he's coming tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you First of all, take, you're yeah. a married man. I know that. Me and that. my wife want to go. Oh, you're so pussy whipped. What? You're going to bring your wife to the Playboy Mansion? You know, we get down like that. How really? No, you I'm don't want to do that. What if I give you one ticket and you don't bring the wife? No, no, no. Oh. Well, then, oh. uh, what am I going to look at the... Howard, I want oh, four tickets. Come on, don't even I pretend. I want, like, me and my crew. I don't no. just want me. No. I mean, Can't happen. If Greg Cimino was here, would you let him in? No. Yeah. Who cares? Take the, take the one ticket. Just to I'll take the one ticket. You know, I'll scalp it. Have you been to the Playboy Mansion, mansion uh, Ben Stiller? I have. He's have. been there. He I've knows what's there going on. What goes on? And be honest about what goes it's on. It's not right? as exciting as it seems. It isn't. You've been there, right? No. Oh, you've never been there? Okay. I, I, I was there, Wait but not for a party. Were you there for a party? I've been there for a couple of parties. Yeah. Yeah. And there's hot chicks there galore. Yeah. Yeah. And First I, of all, it's not a place you want to go if you're not single. Right. Right? See, you want to be single. Yeah. Right? I'm avant-garde. Otherwise, no, it's you're boring. Not. It's not fun. It's just like it's a huge place. It's the grotto. <laughs> it's but let me ask you something. You are you've gotten your share of famous women. You've oh. banged lots of women before you got married. Talking to I'm you, talking man. to you. Who are you yeah. talking to? <laughs> I'll give you a quick rundown. No, Calista, Calista Flockhart. This is like the wow. least impressive rundown of no, 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 in wait, terms of you. numbers of women. Gene, he banged. There's like three he banged women Calista on there. Calista Flockhart. They keep on every time. Yeah. Wait till you hear mine. No, that's not true. Yeah. Go give your list. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's a non. It's a, it's you a, never banged a famous chick. Lily Taylor. Mm, yeah. Well, she. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the list. She's. Yeah. Well, you know, there's. I keep the other. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's the only one. Do you want, do you want, do you want Which one is Lily Taylor? I don't even we know. We talked oh, about this. Go that's the point. This every time. I, well, yeah, ben, I, have you banged Lily Taylor? <laughs> no, but I've met her. She's very nice. Very nice girl. How are you? She's very pleasant. I'll give you the quick sentence from uh, Michael's uh, <laughs> uh, notes that we do on him. Uh, in 1998, Michael pleaded guilty to harassment charges filed against him by Lily Taylor. But we talked about this. <laughs> we things. go over this all the time. I mean, Howard doesn't know who she is. Nor Why did you harass her? Right. I, got into a little, I got into a little rut, you know, <laughs> and I was making a couple of phone calls. I knocked on her window. She actually lives next door to Gwyneth Paltrow. At first, I knocked Knock on, on her window. Well, that was, yeah, yeah. I would have really gotten I heard about trouble. this. I heard, you got a little yeah. obsessed with it. Michael, a little, Mike, a little bit. You why are you so obsessed with a chick? That's pathetic. You are a guy who could get we laid. Howard, I mean, uh, Howard, By the way, she'll on. be at the Playboy Mansion tomorrow. <laughs> oh, really? You know how it, you know what the funny thing is? For that thing they locked was, you up in I'm jail? I'm still on probation. I'm married with a kid. I'm still on probation yeah. from this, this Is she person. still afraid of you? Oh, yeah, I, pro I would assume so. Right, and what happened? You got, you, uh, explain to me I'll the mind you, of a stalker. You got <laughs> so... <laughs> I can tell you, I can tell you. You got so... Walk me through it. Yeah, well, walk I me through it. I'm afraid I might be my friend last night. Right. My, she was like, you know, we got to cut it off. So in my head, I'm like, you got to cut it off. And then in my other head, I'm like, you don't tell me what to do. Right. I'm doing it. So I'm like having this conversation oh, myself. Like, you don't, I was in like, you know, a little. Shh, shh, Michael, that's why how, how many times did you call her in four days? According <laughs> like to the police report. 18 times. 21. 21, 21 times. times. Now, let me, I call my agent about <laughs> 10 times a day. No, but be serious. When you start calling a woman 21 times. Who said go away? But first of all, never once during that four-day weekend did I speak to her. Right. Uh, you so only it was a said lot the machine. Hanging up on the machine. Right. A couple of messages, mm -hmm. and that's it's people do it all the time. She was on speed dial, and you kept going. Yeah. 
Right. Do you know that? Do you know that I'm, I'm obsessive on the phone anyway. Do you know right. that Michael was ordered to attend counseling twice a month for a year? Did you really do months? that? Yes. How is that? I, you help? know, it's just good therapy. Helpful, I don't think right? I had to pay. Yeah, right. very, that's a good thing. My, yeah. my therapist, Betty, she's very, very helpful. Yeah. Well, look at the list Ben Stiller has had. No, Callista, no list. Callista no. Flockhart. How about your list? What's, do you have a Let's list? Let's talk about no. your list. Oh, no, I yeah, do not. He had his Bring press me. conference the other day. He was like, why are you asking me that? <laughs> well, why are you asking me that? <laughs> because you're asking him his list. I'm telling you his list. It's Callista okay. Flockhart. That's impressive. <laughs> I'm not going to give you any help I, with I this. I don't know. Is that impressive? That's a skinny bag of bones. Why not? She's a big star. Oh. You try and get her. Let's see you get her. Um, Ben's acting right. like it's no big deal, but I, when he's laying in the rack with a famous chick, it's, it's a great But it was rush. probably pre-fame, though, right? I'm Did sure. You no, know, he got her when she was famous. I'm sure that Mike has been with a lot of women that he's just not going to bring <laughs> yeah, up Yeah, he's here. not telling us. Right? I, 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 You've been around. I, right? I honestly, honest to God, as far as the celebrity types in Hollywood, I haven't really indulged in that much. But wouldn't it be great to stalk uh, Callista Flockhart and uh, have her your next girlfriend? <laughs> have her. Yeah, well, all you got to do is put some food order. outside the door. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you ever hook up with uh, Jeannie Garofalo? You, Michael? No. No, oh, Ben yeah, did. I, no, no, but no, Ma Michael friends. used to hang around with her, too. Oh, he did? Um, nah, no, I didn't hook up with her. <laughs> How the hell do you know that? I didn't, I didn't did hook up with her. Did you bang her or no? No, 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 no. You did a movie with her, though, right? Janine? Yeah. No. No? Oh, okay. You just hang around with her a lot. Here, here's yeah, the rest of Ben's know. list. Uh, Gene Triplehorn. Oh, uh -huh. man. He was engaged oh. to her. Claire Falani, whoever that is. Mm. Cute, cute. She's All very right, pretty. Here's the one I like. What? Who's who's my favorite? Do you know, Ben, on your list? Yeah. Who's my favorite? Patricia Arquette. Oh, yeah. oh. that's it. Because I no, I didn't. I never went. I did oh, a movie with her. I don't, I don't know. know. Winona <laughs> Ryder. That's a nice no, one. Never did that. No. Never that. That's from the movie. <laughs> never did that. He did movies. <laughs> yeah. so, what is there? I got a name for Michael. Sarah Jessica Parker. Ben. Oh, True or false? No. Friend. Elizabeth you... Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> yes. I would have liked. Go ahead. I got a name for my... Moon Unit Zappa for Michael. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh, Moon Unit Zappa. Oh, wow. that, was, a, that was, you know, at the time, that was like a, a, a love of mine. Moon Unit Zappa. Well, I guess, you know, if you don't have a hit movie like Meet the Parents, you get Moon Unit That's Zappa. But <laughs> I, uh, let me tell you, I, I got to tell you. I like Moon Unit Zappa. She's cool. I would have sex with her. Yeah, so. If she would I, give I, me some. Yeah. Right. Well. So that must have been great. You didn't stalk her, though, when she broke up with you. Ah, she just didn't report it. Right. I stalked my wife. <laughs> yeah. And how's that going? You like being married? Yes. Because Ben, I think Ben is... He has a kid. Yeah, well, we all know that. Yeah. Yeah, we know. I, I, I enjoy it. I, I think enjoy that's a whole other level. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, you're not at that point. Not yet. No. Not yet, mm. but she's ready to go. I think we're both ready to go. You're going to have a kid? I want to do that, yeah. All right, all right. What? All right go ahead. Too what, do you want the humanity to stop? He's too young. What not is he going to do? Younger, he has a kid. Right? He be, can't even play ball right. with him if he waits any longer. All right, now tell me... Tell me. That's true. I can't get you into the Playboy Mansion for one reason. don't tell me can't. I love you, man. You're a good, Mel you're a good guy. Melrose Larry Green is getting in. That guy is a half a that is, job. That's sad. And he's getting in. I can't even get a plus I one. I pass him when I'm driving to work, that guy yeah, holding the I sign Yeah, I work out with him at the gym. <laughs> All right, but how but about Michael, you? don't you think it's a little embarrassing to come and beg to be in the at the Playboy Listen, Mansion? Listen, I need to... First of all, I have nothing to pub on the show, so, you know, i got to come up with some <laughs> shtick. Yeah, let me ask you something. Why are you here with the Jesus Twins? <laughs> all right, I'm here with the Jesus Twins because you were... Uh, how do you know them? I know that. Well, first, let me answer the first part of the question. Yeah. I'm here with the Jesus Twins because you were, uh, f you know, inviting me on. I don't really feel like I have much to talk about. I don't have a roster of famous women that I have plugged. Right, and, like Ben. And, and then and I know that, you know, the Jesus Twins are affiliated with the show. And my wife's friend, Jen Bush, she's very good friends with the Jesus Twins. And I know them. I enjoy them. Um, I think that... Uh, All right, what? let's, let's say hello to them. them. All right, here they are, the oh, Jesus Twins. They're back together. I'm shocked. You guys have broken yeah, up. They've been broken up for a while. That's good news to see the Jesus Twins together. <laughs> They're so scary. You guys are scary, right? Uh, but that's good to see you, again. Good yeah. to see you as well. Now, now, now I, which I, one was the one we saw last? Yeah, which Jesus twin did we see? Yeah, are you feeling better? I'm feeling fine. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, when I saw you the last time, you had gotten out of some kind of... Uh, right in my face. All right. Well, yeah. it has to be in your face so we can hear you. Yeah, it's that's hard to hear you. The last time I saw you, I was I was really actually very afraid because you had left the Jesus Twins. <laughs> you became somebody known as Satan, Satan yeah. right. and you were no longer with your brother. Well, I was there the whole time. I was the conservator. I was, oh, I was, I was actually what happened? Did you have a nervous breakdown? No, it's actually... It's um, manic depression. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Manic depression. Manic depression? Yeah. Jimi Hendrix song. Yeah. Are you better now? Yeah. You are. All right. Yeah. Uh, are, are you on medication? 
Yeah. Okay. Right. You're reunited with your brother? Yes, I am. All right. And the Jesus Twins are back? Yeah. And have you guys gotten any closer to a recording <laughs> contract? We actually, we have our own record company now. You have your own record company? laughing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Michael, <laughs> what are you carrying I'm on about? I'm tripping off of Gary. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing at Gary. He's making googly eyes at me. <laughs> you guys were always on the cusp. I remember when you had your band and you were trying, you were always, you guys always claimed to be the world's greatest rock band. You were always going to be the biggest thing. And it never happened for you. What How went wrong? We've been through hell. And now Go ahead. Back. What has happened? Give us your story. My twin brother had a complete nervous breakdown and it was very scary. To not See, be there's able to humanity to them. See, that's well, let what me hear now, what they have to now, say. In this the is past, a whole... we played music for a different reason than we do now. In the past, it was more about our ego, and now it's more about our heart. All right. That's all I can say. That's okay. what it's about. Right. That's the truth. They were telling me that their music is very autobiographical, and I said, is it like almost like religious? And it's like, it's our lives. Nobody can know what our lives are. Right. I didn't say nobody, nobody knows what our lives are. That's why we're here. Huh? We're here to share our lives. I didn't say nobody can know. I wouldn't be on the talk show if nobody can know our lives. All right, and and are the two of you in a better place now? Are you are you are you, are you uh, happy? Where look do you live? Don't they look happy? How do you have money? <laughs> well, how do you guys? Listen, make? we want to, we want to play the song. We would love we would love to play if, the song. If, uh, all right, the Jesus Twins right. have reunited. Uh, Woo! Let's let's see what yeah, happens. We, sit down. There's no there's no guitar strap. We have to sit down. We have to sit down. They have to sit down. Oh, 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 good luck. No, just sit, sit, stay right there. Stay right there. Oh, we're going to put this out. Guys, we can't have you sit down. I mean, I, no guitar straps. No guitar straps. Anybody got a chair? Okay, move down. John the Stutter. John you know, the Stutter will give you a seat. You get kicked out of the Playboy Mansion, now you get kicked out of your seat. I mean, what the hell is the world All right, the Jesus from? Twins are going to perform. When is the last time you, you two have performed on this show? It was years ago, right? It doesn't matter to me. All right, just sit down and do it. I want to hear this. No, sit down. Sit down. I don't mind. This song better be good if you're carrying on like this. It's it's good. All right, go ahead. Well, you have a strap. Hey, how you doing? You can stand. We're on the air. Sit down. What happened? Ben left. Don't go anywhere. Just go over here. Just stay right there. You go ahead. All right, let's hear this song. All right, hang on a second. You uh. All right. These are the Jesus Twins. Eric, right, you got a. Uh... What happened to your attitude? You guys used to be completely that mental. That was all ego. Check one, two. All right, let me hear this. Are these mics on? Yes. Oh. Uh, me, you don't have headphones. That's why you can't hear. Already? And don't give me any God at the Vita. Give me like a short I'm version. Back to, uh, You're gonna get a short problem. version. All right, go ahead. All right, thanks, guys. All right, here we go. All right. Here we are. Jesus Twins.
and live as a paraplegic. God, come down and live as a manic depressive. God, come down and live homeless on the street. God, come down and live as Christopher Reeve. God, where were you? There in the heart of God. God, where were you? When Jesus was on the cross. God, where were you? Oh my God! Wow. Look at you! Wow. Look at what just happened! What is that? I, I, that's why I brought them on because I would never be able to be as interesting as the Jesus twins. The Jesus twins have totally changed their style. Yeah, I was going to say the look is also different. Why, yeah, tra why Travis Bickle double. I tell you, yeah, I could, you could shine shoes with your hair. Look at that. It's really something else. You're wearing the mohawk look now, isn't it? What does the new look signify? It's like a cactus. It's like a cactus? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to say, uh, Jesus Twins, you're back with a vengeance. It's good to see you. I'm it's good to see you. I, I, I'll Thank tell you, you who's much. into your music. Thanks. It's Ben Stiller. I saw him. Ro what do you I think? I have of to that? say, I didn't hate it. I didn't. You hate didn't it. hate it. Um, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Well, there Thanks. you go. There's a guy who liked it. Well, uh, uh, listen. Um, congratulations on uh, getting out of uh, your manic depression and uh, getting back on the road with your uh, hit song. What is the name of that song? God, come down here. God, come down here. All right. Thank All you, right. Jesus. And, and is there some place people can find that? <laughs> Heaven Records. Exactly. Heaven, Heaven Records. Records. Okay. All right. Good. All right. All right. Let me see the Playboy right, Mansion tomorrow Thank you. with Kimberly from Hustler. Who's this idiot Michael Rappaport? He's right over there. It's the same. It's the guy you see at the gym every day. Who's the jerk off Michael Rappaport? How you doing? You'll be watching it on TV. I'm at the party with Kimberly from Hustler. She's going to be there tomorrow. Remember Kimberly from Hustler? How are yeah. you? How, How are you doing? Hey, Jesus Twins, let the boys right. have their seats back on the, on the, uh, on the couch. Thank you, guys, Jesus Twins. All right. Way to go, fellas. Jesus Twins have gotten a more polished act. Mike, did you like that? Me, Rappaport? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was great. You man. like that. Good stuff. I'm doing a documentary about them. All right, Rappaport, I'm going to let you come to the Playboy Mansion. With my with my crew? No. No, no crew. We, we don't have room for your crew. your crew. Ben, you want to come to... You can't come to the Playboy Mansion, Ben, or your wife uh, won't let you no. up? You know what? I'm going to go to that movie Hannibal tomorrow night. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, can you That's take fine. me to that? No. We'll go to that. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Seems like... Well, we you know what, work. Howard? I'm going to see that, too. Good. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to see 60 naked chicks. Ben can't get your tickets to that. All right. You want to come to the Playboy Mansion? I want to come to the Playboy... I was bragging about it to, to my friends. Gary, like, we don't have you. any room, do we? I'm good with Howard. Howard likes me. How, do we have any room for Rappaport? Well... Don't tell me well, and you're sneaking in this freak show. No, no, he was invited. Can you he leave the broad home? <laughs> I, I don't have any friends out here to bring. I, I need I, a plus one. I can't either kind of come with my, my partner or, or my wife. You, know, you yeah. still talk like a black guy. You're Go with your partner. Bring your partner. Let me ask you something. Ben, do you notice yeah. he speaks like a black guy? Well, that's always been his thing. He you know, knows he's me like for the, 10 years. Yeah, we've known each other but for years. But where did he grow up that he speaks like a black New York. guy? New York. But I grew up in New York. I grew up in an all black community. I don't he did that movie about. Zebrahead? Yep. That was like his first That was his first The original. Right, right. He was the racist in my original wig. Right. All right, so let me ask you. Here's the deal. I, just want, I don't want to put you on the spot, Howard, but if you give if you give uh, Michael plus one, that would probably close out our list. That would be it. Mm. We really? Have another don't, song. don't we want to save tickets for some hot checks? That's, well, that's your call. I you mean, do you give what it. You gotta do, Howard. We're gonna I'll give it to a guy. The whole point of the Playboy Mansion is there should wife. be a lot of hot chicks there already. Yeah, well, there are gonna yeah. be a lot of hot chicks. I can tell you that we have. I was looking at the list today. Thirty. 30 hot women, and I recognize every damn name. Big big stars. Tina Bockworth, Julie Ashton, Petra, something or other. Really? Yeah. Oh, these are, the are hot chicks? chicks? Yeah. Go to the game room. Go man. hang out in the game room. I was room. in the game room. Did you have sex with these girls, Ben? No. Uh, mm -hmm. Sure you didn't. <laughs> I've never even been there. All right. It's once you, you know, do it like once. That's not a big deal. Fault. Yeah, it's like my problem that you haven't been to the Playboy Mansion. <laughs> well, no, I just, you know, I thought we were cool, but that's cool, though. That's, that's cool. cool. But that's it's not cool. even going to be like a real Playboy Mansion party. It's like right. a Howard Stern show that's from the right. Playboy. It's yeah. not going to be. You don't no. want to be there. That's why I wanted Playboy as... Mansion light. No. You, it'll be just as good listening to it on the radio. Yeah. I'm not going to. What do you think I'm going to do? What do you want? To, what do you want to have happen there? You want to seduce a girl? No, no, no. I just want to, like, it's like, you know, people watching. Ralph, what is it? You should watch it on TV because why, why go there if you're married? Yeah, what's the point? You, you go in there for chicks. Right. Let's bring in the sandwich to the buffet. Right. Bring in uh, sand, sand to, to the beach. beach. Sand to the beach. Why are you bringing your wife? That I don't get. Because, you know, I'm married. What am I going to do? No, you are so married. 
No, we have fun. We go out. We, you know, we, you know. It's the only way to be married. He's going to bring his right. wife to the Playboy no, no, Mansion. Bring your partner. and yeah. My partner, yeah, all right. You want to bring a guy? Cool. I'm bringing, she I need her. Cool. Yeah, she's cool. She's cool. She's cool. She's you cool. want to bring your, you, all right, bring your wife to the Playboy Mansion. Because you know what, I'm going to interview, I'm gonna interview you and your wife. I'm going to see what kind of good time you're having over there. All right. We'll be, all right, we'll you're be doing in, fine. We'll you're be in. Doing. All right, cool. All right, let's all right you're let's in. Let's move on. Okay, can I just throw some quick names at you? <laughs> yeah. Victoria Fuller, Kylie Bax, um, Tina Bockworth, Ava Fabian. Uh, these are all women that have been on the show. All and hot they're women. all coming? They're all, uh, Robin, there's 30 names. Wow. And all being thongs? Thong, thong, thong. It gets pretty crazy. You know, end of the night, people start oh, just, going in the grotto. I'm really? actually just looking at the list of women who are just coming. Their only job is to just be in the pool while we do our show. Oh, wow. my God. Uh, what are you you're going to bring your wife? Look at me. Good moment. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, that's what? the last time I saw I was on the phone with her. I had a little situation. I, I, I saw him. I know him personally. Yeah. I walk out. He's having a fight with his wife on the phone. I said, what are you doing? <laughs> Where are you? You're out in the street. We're at the gym. Coming? We're at the gym. Uh, and he's yelling. And his, wa his wife, his wife, no, you, his wife was yelling at him. He's a hothead. Tell, he's tell, a hothead. tell him what your wife was yelling at you about. I, I, I'll tell you because, you know, this show is about being honest. Go ahead. This is great. Do you want to hear this? Yeah. This is great. You All are right. so pussy. Here we go. No, oh. here, no, 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 no. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. My wife is cool. I know, but She's go ahead. She's real cool. She's here. She's All cool. All right, go ahead. I'll meet her at the Playboy Mansion. I go was ahead. in uh, Florida. Oh, here we go. This is this is what I I was in Florida, and I was out with my, my friend Mike Lindenbaum, who I might bring tomorrow night, or I might bring my wife, Nicole. <laughs> so we were down there. We were hanging out at some charity thing, a tennis thing, because I support uh, charities. And then... um. Tell them what happened. I had went out, blah, 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 blah. You know, was, you know they're, they're not used to seeing even, you know, subpar famous people down in Boca Raton. Right. You know, okay, like, so what me. happened? You met? So, no, so I didn't meet anybody. So this girl was like, we when we were yeah. watching the Trinidad fight, these girls were like, are you going to this place? We're like, we don't really know where to go. We're not from here, you know? Right. So they, and I'm talking about Annie Mall. This girl was an Annie Mall. All right, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So we were out, la, 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 la. I wasn't even speaking to the girl. Go ahead. Cut to... Three or four days later, for some reason, my wife, every now and then, she'll go on these, these fan pages I've had, because I had a little <laughs> problem with one of them. So she'll go and she checks it, whatever. On the internet. On the internet. There's the whatever Rappaport thing. And this girl, <laughs> this girl is like, it was a great time uh, meeting you down in Boca. Um, <laughs> blah, blah, no, no, no. The only thing I regret is that I didn't come back to your hotel room. Right. Uh-huh. So your wife so read that. Emails the girl as if she's another psycho fan. Right. And then, da, 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 and she, da, da, da. your wife said to her, how, how was it with being with Michael Rappaport? But she said there was no being with. Yeah. There was a couple of things that were said out of context. <laughs> a couple of things that were taken. So your wife called you up and oh, she, yeah. she let you have it. She called him right at the gym. Right at the gym. And, you know what? Let's and get he, bygones because And we're he's just on the phone and the whole time I'm like, why don't you hang up that phone? Are you crazy? And my you told like, her already. My wife was like, who the F is that? I said, let me Tell speak him, to her. Me... She was yelling at him. I said, what are you, a little boy? Are you a little boy or are you a man? I, I, look, when I was a man, I got arrested for being a man. Like, you don't tell me no. Yeah, See, right. I, so I learned. They learned me. But it the seems to me way. that email said that you were innocent. Anyway, because it said you didn't go back to Thank the you. Room. Right. I Thank th believe you. me. I don't know what that email said. That's his no, version. No, that's what it said. Yo, it Michael, said you should be married to Ben. He understands. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is I said, Michael, you should wear a sundress. The way you're calling me. <laughs> Isn't that embarrassing? All right. Though, tomorrow you're, you're coming. in the middle of the gym with your wife yelling at you? Well, I wasn't standing in the I was in an office and Howard's there. He's, you know, warming up and, you know, whatever. Listen, and, you oh come well. with your wife tomorrow to the Playboy Mansion. <sighs> I want to see what that's like. And I want to meet your wife and I want to have her, I want to have her on the air with us. That's what I want. Uh, here, she, well, wait a second. Here's your wife. She hasn't, she, 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 she hasn't heard a word. Are you crazy? <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> oh, I, we, you crazy? No, no, no. Wait a second. What, did you hear what he was talking about? No. Yes. Oh, you did? Oh, you did? T tell us oh, what yeah. happened. <laughs> Nicole, what are you doing out no, here? No, let Nicole talk. Are you crazy? Michael, like let Jerry Nicole Springer. talk. Go ahead, yeah, yeah. Are you crazy? <laughs> Go ahead, Nicole. What happened? Keep it fair. Yeah, keep it fair. Keep oh, it fair. Put up her fair. microphone. She started talking about Can keep someone it. get a different microphone? It doesn't work. What, what, what the happened? What's going on here? I want to know what happened. Michael told a woman. <laughs> Go ahead. That he wasn't married. That didn't say that. You did. And this is what happened. The girl That's said what to me, I heard. The girl said to me, are you, we, are you married? Is that a wedding ring? And I said, no, it's not a wedding ring. Like, what the hell do you think uh, it is? Mm-hmm. 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 Michael told the girl he wasn't married. And no, I didn't 
didn't say. I said no. It's uh, not uh, now we're getting. And no, what no, else? No. And the what thing said. What are you said, doing out here? <laughs> Listen, what they the asked me to come out here. Well, no, go ahead. So yes. Go on. And said. Would you please come back to my hotel room with me? And for whatever reason, she didn't want to do it. Right. <laughs> she asked her to go back. That's to what she said. Oh, wow. Like, did I, I didn't do anything. Uh, well, now happened. I know why you were mad. Yeah. Wow. Right? So, that, so have you resolved it? I mean, I heard you yelling at him on uh, the phone. I was holding the phone half the time. Well, we yeah. brought Betty back into the picture. Yeah, Betty uh, from the Lily Taylor situation. Yeah. Oh, oh. She came in. Oh, the counselor? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, so therapist. Betty's back in she's the picture. She's a therapist. Yeah. <laughs> so you're in $20 a week therapy. So you just got married and you're already in marriage therapy. Hey. Yeah, well. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> do I look like a, do hey. I look like a simple, you know, simple situation? I mean, you That's are a, a beautiful story. woman. Thank you. If I was married to you, I wouldn't be uh, doing what Michael's doing yeah. and uh, telling people I wasn't married, for yeah. God's sake. I told you what I said. Doesn't I, that sound right to you? Are you married? No, what do you think this is? I see. He's All a right, hothead. Listen, He's a hothead. Listen, I, knows I, I might use a bit of a hothead. You're, you're a faithful guy. I know that. Yeah. What? <laughs> I mean what? He is. So you. So I what do you think? I don't know anything, and he doesn't either. Right. So why are you married? Who he's talking to over here? I'm not sure. Is this married Jew or this married Jew? I don't know. Right, so, so what are you saying? Is everything okay in the marriage? Yes. Yeah, so it is. Okay you forgive him for doing this? Thin ice. You know, Ooh. I don't really. So bring why up do anymore. you want to come to the Playboy Mansion with him? I wanted to go to the Playboy Mansion to see the Playboy Mansion, but I didn't realize it, that it was. The confinements of the uh, party. Uh -huh. I thought it was just a regular party. Nicole, tell them what you're going to tell me when we leave. How come these can't get us any tickets? No, I wanted to. Uh, I thought it was just a regular party. I didn't know it was. So live can he from go just Manchester. with one of his male friends? Of course, but I would like to go. I always go. Oh. He goes out all the time. She's not a. You tells know. people he's not married. He wants to go. He wants to go to the Playboy Mansion without his wife. I think. Howard, you th I do he that knows. when I'm in Boca Raton. I yeah. don't do that like in my he backyard. What do you think? Can't I'm stupid. Can't crap in your own backyard. Yeah. Got right. Another state. Avant garde marriage. All right. So you're going to come to the Playboy Mansion if I'm allowed. Is she allowed? She's allowed. No, if we get a ticket, you allow I'll give you two tickets. No, two, two tickets is two tickets. You got to figure out how to split them up. <laughs> Michael, come with me. I swear to the life of my children, those are the last two tickets, so they're yours. Just figure out how do you want to use them. Gary, listen, listen. If a you big figure star out how to not bring your wife. You and said they needed the tickets, it would be. Then fine. you know what would happen? I would tell you you couldn't come, and I'd give them to him. Ben, don't you think Alec and Kim are doing better than uh, these two? Oh boy, I'm sorry. I don't believe you came out here, Nicole. You made me Why are you mad here. that Nicole is here? If you're out here, you know, you're not telling the whole story. I told the whole story. No, you didn't. You didn't tell the part you didn't tell the woman you were married. I told no. you. No. <laughs> well, what's the deal with the hotel room thing, though? Did you? Moving on. Is most of these, these, these the actors, they do things on this. I don't do right. anything. I'm a, a friendly, I'm a people person. Right. You see me? I walk the streets. I'm a people person. Well, listen, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you, too. I know you just had a beautiful baby. I'm happy you had happy hit movies. She's going to have a beautiful Thanks. baby soon. Yeah. Uh, yeah, one of these days. One yeah. of these days is going to happen soon. I've seen yeah. your beautiful wife. I'm happy she... for you. You guys are like you renewed the contract. <laughs> right. right. I mean, everything yeah, is going well. Here. It's good. <laughs> yes. And, and I tell you, it's, uh, it's great. Now, listen. Everything's great. Everything's great. <laughs> Everybody's beautiful. I wanna, I, bring a tape recorder home when your wife's yelling at you tonight. Oh, yeah. And how are you going to figure out how to get to the Playboy Mansion without your wife? You're going to have to have her sleep together. in front of the we, air conditioner. We go out together. She's cool. We're, she is we're, we're avant-garde. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hit on you tomorrow night so you can get him back. That's all. All right. All right. Um, Howard, you got to bring somebody better than you for me to get, you know. No, I'm just playing. I'm don't just worry about it. Just just thanks a lot. Okay, listen. <laughs> ben Stiller? Yeah. I yes. don't know what you're no, promoting, but I'm... Nothing. Would, nothing. nothing at all. You just came on to... Uh, yeah. Did you have a good time? Yeah, I had a great time. You looked like you were enjoying the Jesus. Except for that times. one guy who calls every time. <laughs> that one guy. to eat my ass. That's, all. That's right. <laughs> Uh, he did enjoy the Jesus twins. You did. I, I, I never saw anybody enjoy. Well, music I like that more. they were taking what was happening in their lives and putting it into their art. You yes, know? yes. I think there's a movie in that. Yeah. Well, uh, Michael says he's doing the, the documentary. documentary cause oh, those guys are far more interesting than you guys even know. Oh, I, I, I believe it. I know. We're just seeing tip of the iceberg. Yeah, I, yeah, I think no, you're talking to Ben about they're that. Trip. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Michael Rappaport, I love you. Thank you, Howard. Are you promoting anything? I'm the only the only thing I got in the can right now is Doctor Doolittle Two. And I'm going to do a, uh, it's a voiceover in there, but it's, it's going to be, you know. It's what animal are you? He's one of the animals. I play Joey the Otter, and oh. uh, I'm going to do a, 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 a you Hey, know. I don't want to brag, but I turned down Dr. Doolittle 1. For the Joey the Otter part? No, for the hamster part. Gary Shandling took it. Oh, okay. Yeah, or Pigeon or some kind of crap. Yeah, well, I, I'm taking, you know. I'm, I'm proud of one. that. You know everybody who has stories, they turn down movies? Yeah. yeah. I turned that down. <laughs> I turned down a few. What'd you turn down? The biggest mistake was Armageddon. 
Yeah, why would you turn they, that down? Who wanted you to take the band? I was hanging like out with Lily Taylor doing independent movies. Uh, you were in jail over there. Right? Uh, ben, what have you turned down? That was a big mistake. Um, I've turned down a lot, but they kind of just go out of my head because then you get too frustrated. Oh, over please. It. He knows exactly he knows. what he's turned down. No, yeah. He I'm knows. Sure. He's always a good guy. Just you know? one. Just he one. Can't give us one. Give us one you turned down. Turn down my part in the Woody Allen movie. No, I would not. In a second, I'd take a part in Woody Allen movie. No, come on. What did you turn down? I can't think of anything that I Don't lie. No, I mean, I've been he knows, doesn't he, Mike? Things that I haven't gotten, so I'm sure he probably knows, but that's just, you know. No, no, I do, but I really, I block it out of my mind because I just. All right, we'll it. just have to look it up. All right. I'll try to think of one. I'll call in. <laughs> so, what are we doing? We're going to end the show right now? We want to oh, say. We're, really? We're done. We're done? We're done. Ah. What do you want, Ralph? Can I ask a quick question? Yeah. I, I'm just trying to figure Why does a guy like Michael get married? I mean, he, he obviously doesn't want to be faithful. He's famous. He'd get a lot Ralph, of chicks. Oh. Don't so, why does he get situation. married? <laughs> I want to be married. I'm happy. He wants married. to go to the mansion. He wants I, to have fun. I, I chitter chat with you know somebody approach whatever. I don't. Why well, do get married it. then? Have a good time. Who is this animal? Who ben, this? it's true, but he does make a point. Ben, you wouldn't go to the Playboy Mansion. Now you're married. Uh, I've gone with my wife. Thank yeah, you. A bunch of friends. All right, okay, yeah. well, there but you it's go. not the same. You know, it's Alan, really not. You win a little bit more Playboy Mansion. Do you hear what he said? What? It's not the same it's when you go with your wife. It's not Nothing really is the same. You're avant garde. I'm going to say it. No, you do it once with your wife, and it's fun, and then you both say, you know what? We don't. You know, we've done it. You know, he's going to make a documentary about the Jesus twins. I'm going to make a documentary about his marriage. Yeah, they, Far more interesting than you know. If, if you could do that, we got Oscar caliber stuff going on. <laughs> Michael Rapport, you're... <laughs> it's the exorcist. <laughs>
average radio listener listens for 18 minutes. <laughs> the average Howard Stern fan listens for, are you ready for this? Okay. An hour and 20 minutes. How can that be? The answer most commonly given, I want to see what he'll say next. Fine, but what about the people who hate Stern? Good point. The average Stern hater listens for two and a half hours a day. But, but if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer, I want to see what he'll say next. All right, Bill, quickly, because I have to get to the Jesus Twins. Bill? Yo, what's up, Howard? Come on, quickly. You got two Yo, what's seconds. What's up with you, man? Why the f*** you sit there? Oh, and... the F word. The F word. Goodbye, right, genius. Man. Uh, Glenn, go ahead. Oh, I wanted to get on when the Jesus Twins were in there. So I could tell them, man. They're waste of life. They're like little faggots. Like All right, well, why don't I get the Jesus Twins in and you can tell them yourself. The oh, Jesus oh, oh. Twins haven't been on this show in a couple of years, oh, I don't think. Oh, uh, They're guys who have a rock group. Uh, as far as I know, they never had a hit song. I've, they've been recorded by anyone but themselves. Yeah. And uh, they evidently got very violent in the green room and punched one of our pictures yeah. and broke the glass. I wonder what they look like now. The last time we saw them, they had changed into a more beefy, kind of short... They have mohawks. They've changed yeah. again. And the Jesus <laughs> Twins punched a picture of uh, Ralph in the green room. And uh, their hand, they said the picture frame broke, but your hand is bleeding. Yeah. So clearly you guys... There's forthcoming as right. they've always been. Mm. Well, let's see if this interview goes well. Hello, Jesus Twins. They look good. Why would you punch a picture? Now you've hurt your hand. Which Jesus Twin is bleeding? Yes, this one right the here red, closest with the red to me. Shirt. Yeah. What is your name? I never can tell you guys apart. You. You. Microphone you what's your you name? Got a microphone. You got microphones. You're bleeding. Howard, right now. I'm sorry about the glass. Why did you punch the picture? Howard, we're sitting there for two hours, supposed to be on the show. But you guys know we have uh, scheduling problems. Listen, let's forget about the glass. You guys were scheduled for seven. We got you on at eight. Hi, right, listen, right now, let me just say one thing. You guys are so angry. Why would you, your whole hand is bleeding. Before you get to your one thing, you guys got to get into some sort of anger management program. Yeah, how are you to make it with all this anger. Howard, when you're representing 30,000 people serving life in prison... Wait a second, wait a second. That's what you guys are recording, artists. <laughs> Howard, we're representing 30,000 people serving life in prison for a nonviolent offense. Who we... appointed you that? Excuse me? Who told you that you're representing 30,000 people? This is the political action committee that we're representing. Are you guys serious now? Because you... sometimes you come on here and... and uh, you... Deadly serious. And what is going on with your music? Are you guys still recording, artists? Howard, we wrote a song for this organization called guys. Citizens Against Violent Crime. Explain to me, though, how you guys make a living. Do you Are you rich guys? Because you, you do appear to have great clothes. I don't know of the work that you do. You have pamphlets that you're handing out. These have got to be expensive to make. Security. It's the organization. Right. You got. But I'm saying these are expensive. You guys have an expensive lifestyle. You're traveling with bodyguards, black bodyguards, who are not cheap. What do they need bodyguards? Howard, yeah. right now. Right. Why do you guys have bodyguards? Listen to me. Go ahead. You get the bodyguards... Forget Why? The Why? The Constitution of the United States is being <laughs> on by California. The Eighth Amendment of the Constitution clearly states that no excessive bail shall be required, no excessive fines imposed, nor cruel and unusual punishments inflicted. Okay? 30,000 people right now in jail for nonviolent for life There's for life life in prison you're hang on to, you're hang on no, no don't Howard, hang, hang on. on hang on hang on hang on hang on let's hold it hold on let me Howard, say one Howard, thing the american public sincerely believes that our prisons are teeming with dangerous you don't have to filibuster you don't have to filibuster to listen. Howard. i want to explain what i think you're talking about because nobody knows let, 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 let me explain let me explain let me explain let me explain Stern, let me explain hold it now now you've gone too far 35 states <laughs> listen to me 30 I, didn't make, I didn't make i didn't make i didn't make i didn't make this trip for nothing referring to the three strikes yes law. i am yes. oh. and california is the only <laughs> state out of 33 <laughs> states that employ the three strikes law that will put someone away for life for a nonviolent Petty offense. Did you break your hand? No, uh, I didn't break my hand. Let me see your hand. My hand's Hold fine. it up. Bleeding. Ugh. You're bleeding. Why did you punch up glass? If you're worried about nonviolence. Yeah, really. Well, he's afraid he could be put away, I guess. Listen, um, how well, wait a second. One of you guys <laughs> Seriously. was put away for a little bit, right? One of you guys did serve some jail time. Is that how you came to know this thing? Which... Howard, tell Howard, me what You happened. have someone you love in prison. Who is it in is prison? It is like a knife in your heart. Who is in prison? 
Thirty thousand people in California. No, no, no. Who do you, who do you know? That, who do you love that's in prison? How are Make you this a personal listen, story. Listen to me. Just Go relax. Ahead. Everyone, relax. No, what about you? <laughs> relax. Relax. I'm relaxed. You're Wait, not let me, relaxed. Let me relax. Right, okay. Let, let's start over. Okay. All right. Let me. Can I interview you? Sure, but let me just state. You said right. a, a personal. Are thing. you recording artists? Yes, we're recording artists. We wrote a song. For okay. You. Okay. Number two. Go ahead. You guys haven't made money yet as recording artists. Am I correct? Pretty much. Okay, that's the case. but you're living a good lifestyle, I think. Why? Why would you say that? I don't know. You guys seem to have nice Where did clothing. You get leather coats. These clothes were provided by a suit company in L.A. that sponsors us. All right, but how do you get a sponsor? How do we get a sponsor? Yeah, I mean, what are they sponsoring exactly? The nice clothes. All right. Listen. All right. So are you guys? Do you guys have a trust fund Listen, or something? Would you shut up. Uh, what is it, Doug? I know about these guys. They grew up in a very rich town. In the uh, in the five towns is where they're from. So that's you know that, very wealthy area. But they don't. But that's their how, dad has money. Yeah, Listen, so their family is very wealthy. Oh, it is. Oh, it right. is. Listen to me. I, all right. All right, so that, all right. Now let's move ahead. Howard, our dad, we were growing up in high school. Yeah. And our dad was in jail. Oh, well, I didn't our know that. Was was six, our for dad six, was for six years. Why was your dad in jail? For embezzlement and fraud. Insurance. Okay, but this is this is totally different. Oh, so we grew so up we grew up very empathetic. When you go visit someone you love in prison, right. and the correctional officers treat you. Have you guys been in prison? I've been in prison. You have. Prison for what? Jail. What'd you do? Jail. Tell me He's what you did. Howard, as you know, you you've read the article. I don't even remember what what, what did you go to what jail for? I'm trying to understand I, why you guys are so bent Howard, out of shape. Howard, I had a medical thought. condition a few okay. years ago. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um. Which I'm very grateful to say that I've 100% overcame. A, a medical condition, a schizophrenia or something? No, manic depression. Manic depression. Yes. And you overcame it. Wow. Howard. He punched out a glass. Listen, listen right. to me. Right, go ahead. Thank God that we're both healthy. Right. Okay. Um, you do seem better, because the last time yeah, I saw definitely. you, he... you were almost catatonic. Yeah. Well, th as, uh, Howard, that was when I just... Um, that was a day before he got in trouble with the law. What did you do? It's you've you've read that on the air before. I have. Yes. Yeah. Does anyone remember what he did? I think uh, I thought I remember something. Somebody being involved with selling drugs, but I can't no, no, it. get out of here. Then what is it? Did you rape a clown? <laughs> I got into a little altercation with a police officer. Oh, you did. That's right. Why did he stop you though in the first place? Like I said, I was um, mentally ill at the time. I had a. Uh, chemical imbalance. But what did you do to make him stop you? I was driving a uh, stolen truck. A right. stolen truck? <laughs> and, then, and then when he stopped you, you took no, a that, swing at him? That would cause an altercation with a police officer. It wasn't exactly... It's not black and white like that. At the time, I was driving a uh, truck. The police officers tried to... Um, I really don't even want to get into it. It's so in the past. I mean, right. so how many? How how long did you go away for? Two months. Two months. Okay. Very, and and well, you know what? That doesn't seem unreasonable. No. Yeah, I mean, I, and, actually, that seems pretty fair. <laughs> I mean, if it's a little light. If to you're me. driving a stolen truck and you get in an altercation with a police officer and they give you two months, I'd say the laws are pretty lenient. Howard, the truth. Would you is, agree? Howard, the truth is. Yeah. That the people in California who are serving life in prison aren't as lucky as Eric has been. These people. No, well, wait a second. Eric has also done other stuff. Too. Did you ever? Did you ever threaten a social worker? Yes. Okay. So I mean, not only that, not only did he get in a fight with a cop, not only did he steal a car, he threatened a social worker's life. So he, for all of that to do two months, See, how it, the that, laws are how, pretty. Sometimes the law working. works for you, Howard. Yeah. That's. I feel that's why I'm here today right. to repay my karmic debt. I feel I've been given a second chance. And this is part of the reason that we're here today. I got involved. Right. So you say I, your problem is that if a guy commits three crimes, he automatically gets life. That's the big misconception. All right. What's the One offense can count as multiple strikes in California. Oh, is that right? Yes. All right. Now, Howard. <laughs> all right. So, guys, what do you want us to do about it? We're with this political action committee, CAVC, Citizens Against Violent Crime. We go to the meetings. I was at the Democratic State Convention a couple months ago talking with the governor of California, Gray Davis, about this issue. All right. Do you think that's really a good idea for the people you're trying to help? Did you really meet with the governor? Yeah, I have pictures. Really? Pictures. Do you guys ever laugh or smile? Yeah, we do. This is a serious this is issue. Very serious. <laughs> but I'm just saying, do you really think you represent your issue well? Robin, have you forgotten what color you are? No, 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 no. What no, Alabama I'm just, I'm was saying. to race relations oh, here we in the go. civil rights movement. <laughs> California is to the prisons and the prison population. Well, wait a second. You but have if to I admit... saw you two coming, I'd say maybe we need to make the law stiffer. 
Okay, what about Howard? That? Seriously, while we're here. Well, give me an example of the laws you think that people broke. I mean, I like the fact that people go away to jail for, for no breaking laws. laws. Violent criminals. But what about what about the, the what your law, brother did? He assaulted a police officer. I, I think too much is violent. too lenient. That's violent. Howard, I had a medical condition. Okay, fine, whatever. But I'm saying that's violent. That it is was. violent. Of course. And that, guys, was in, that was in New York. We're talking about California right, right now. Now, in California... California is the... Keep in mind, the only state... In the nation, out of 35 states, New York has a three strikes law. Right. 34 of the states have the three strikes law that applies to violent crime. But why worry in about California? It? Let me give you an example. Listen, why are we worried CCPOA. about this? CCPOA. Because I live in California. Okay, and you live in $750 and million, million, million dollars in tax. Because you probably have a couple of strikes against you. I have no strikes. I have no, no felonies. Strike. Nothing. No strike. I'm very lucky. And that's why I'm doing this. But, but I like that you're worried about having three strikes. I don't want you acting out. You are a guy who is known, whether it's medical condition or not, to go off. You're punching out frames in this, the green this room. Isn't about my brother. I like that you guys, but it is about no, your brother not. and anyone like him. I like that people are afraid. Afraid. The idea that they have the this law. law and people are still breaking to break it. Break the law. No. I and agree with you. I How? agree with you that when it comes to marijuana and drugs, that's what be, they, no one should Howard, be in prison. They are, are the prisons are filled with junkies and drug addicts. This is who the law has targeted. Drug in nineteen in nineteen ninety three. Are most of those junkies what? and drug addicts in jail because they've also committed crimes, Listen. felonies? Yeah. Yeah, but that's to support the hat. Right. right. That is right. To they have a medical habit. condition. All right. Let's let's see if you check want some drug, people up. Check, Listen, check bouncers. No. Drug users. And petty shoplifters are being sent away for life. Well, I have no California. problem with shoplifters yeah. being Why sent away. Why did you have keep doing it? Howard, right. depending. Uh, a homeless man. A homeless listen, man is different. Listen to me. A homeless uh, man Jimmy the church door because he was starving. And he, he got stole a, a slice of bread. This man is sitting in prison right now. And he's serving life. And, he, and he didn't do it once. Yes, he did it. No, he didn't. He had to do it three times. No, no he didn't. That's didn't not... I tell you that one offense can count? Well, I don't know. Like, these are all imaginary Did you know that cases. there's no statue? Of, there's, there's, yeah, I mean, I don't know that their, these are real cases. Someone in their early 20s could commit a felony 20 years ago. And 20 years later, for a nonviolent petty for, offense, he can go away I, for life. And I, it's I, happening. Let me tell you something. I'm 41. I got no felonies, no non-petty crimes. I just think you just stay out of the way. Don't do anything wrong. You, got, you guys got to realize that, too. We got, a, we got Howard, an epidemic we have, of we, lawbreakers. I, I, Howard, I have... Howard, this the, is uh, big business in California. The Correctional right, Officers see. Association... Listen to me. But let's see what people... Listen to me. The let's Correctional try, Officers try, Association of California is the largest growing labor pool in the state. All right, let's see what people have to say. Wait a second. Let, wait a second. Wait, let's see what people have to say. Let's see what the people have to say. big business in California. This is what let's it's about. Let's see what it's people have to money. say. It's the most powerful union in the state What did California. Beretta say, though? Do you guys know what he said? What did Beretta say? What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Howard, we're not right, saying that. We're saying should fit the time. That's what we're All right, saying. let's go find out what the people think. Rich, go ahead. You're on the air with the Jesus Twins. The boys have gotten political. That's right. Really, very political, and they're angry. Oh, yeah, they've always been angry. How we know uh, people? Uh, uh, we know people uh, uh, personally uh, 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 who are serving life in prison for, for what? Bull offense. For what? What's the BS offense? Drug possession. Oh, drug, a drug addicts are in prison right now, for life. All right, let's you, go. You to know the how phone. many people in California are I sent away to life for possession of marijuana? Issue. I've been screaming about this for years that all drugs should be legal. What are you going to do about it? I, no one's listening. Wait, 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 what are you going to do about it? Nobody's this is America. This is America. We no, are the not. government. No, you're not. We no, are not. the government. No, you're not, no, you're not the government. Get out of here. You're not the government. <laughs> you're not the government. The people are the government. No. Yes. No. We elect our representatives in Congress, the state assemblies, the legislative state Big senators. Where were the government. you when they were enacting this three strikes law? This was in 1994. In 1993. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. No, listen to me for a second. I want to. I want to. Wait, you're not listening to me. I want to educate you. I'm smart. Howard, just talk these guys out on their asses. Every time they come in there, they got listen, some. Can we get? Can we get some educated people Until on the phone? Until they change the law, behave yourself. That's my point. We're working on changing the law. That's you're why we're here. To make the... We are gathering. The organization that we represent is gathering signatures to put this initiative on the ballot for November. Let's but go part of the problem is you're working to make criminals safe. All right, we'll be back right after these words. When I was a little girl, Daddy wouldn't let me play very far away from home. But I always did. We'll be right back. Howard Stern. 
Tony, go ahead. You're on the air. Yeah, I just want to let these guys know that airwaves on the Howard Stern Show is sacred. We don't care about the governor of California. You're wasting our time with all your garbage. You're not answering questions. Yeah, Howard, educated you. people on the phone. And, and listen, I'm, I'm not mad. About people that know about the law. Is educated just mean? Does that just mean people who agree with you? People who know about the law and what's going on in California. Get those people on the phone. I'll uh, hold it. Let me go get them on the phone. Hey Howard, let me just yeah. tell you, this guy. I want him on the undercard. All right. Both of them. I'll get them California residents to on the phone. Let's, get the, let's find, get the people who are affected by this law on the phone right now. All right. By the way, that was Governor Pataki on the phone. <laughs> All right. Let's go to Steve. Certainly, you've won some people over. Let's find out if you have. Steve, you're on the air. Hey, get these idiots off the air, Howard. I thought you weren't going to have them on from before. I like the Jesus Twins. I always like to hear what they're up to. Find them interesting and like to keep up with them. Yeah. There are a couple of reasons. Let's get some people who have been affected by this law personally on the All phone. Right. Their families are suffering. And this is not a joke. All right, Sam, do you uh, agree with the Jesus Twins? They're looking for someone to agree with them. Hey, do I agree with them? Yeah. Sounds to me like there's a lot of anger in the room. But, Howard, the bottom line is, do you want to treat somebody who shoplifts baby food as if they committed murder? Of course not. Well, that's the problem with this law. Our, our proposed initiative will only amend the law so that pizza thieves, cookie burglars, petty shoplifters don't get treated like rapists, robbers, and murderers. Well, That's the, we the, the problem is we are overrun with criminals, and it is very, very difficult to sit there and determine what drives people, what they do. And if how to potentially, deter crime. Yeah, it's very right. hard. It's not that simple. This is not a good and let me tell you something. Card. There's a lot of let guys the out there. Speak, Howard, let the man speak. Let the man speak. He asked me a question. There's a lot of guys out there who are deterred by the three strikes law. They are. There's been no de the, the the decrease in crime in California has been the same as the decrease in crime in states that have zero three strikes law. Well, well, and in uh, California, the decrease in crime in counties that don't prosecute the law at all is the same as the decrease in counties that prosecute the crime all the time. Yeah, well, the problem is you're worrying too much about the criminals. And you're not There's, worried about guys like me who don't have one strike, two strikes, or three strikes. And if I had two not strikes, even in the game. I would crap Howard, my this pants is, this is before I go rob someone. people who've never been I'm violent to anyone. I understand that. Well, you know what, Howard? The, yeah. This does a I have one strike against uh, me. Artie, you're lucky and, with all the coke you do that. You're not in serving life no, in prison in California. No, let me tell you California. something. <laughs> I got one strike against me in California. That's why you're in New York, probably. Uh, no, and I'm telling you, that, that scares the hell out of me. If I go to California... I'm glad you, you have a strike. You in the street now, I notice you it? behave yourself now. No, I'll tell you, when I go to California, I don't even speed. Let me find out what a Howard, there are crime people... Is, is breaking that, into there, a there, house of violent crime? There, Howard, there... Is breaking into a house of violent crime? Answer my question. Is breaking into a house of violent crime? Yes, it can be. It can be. Yes. Breaking into it a, is a violent crime. is a violent crime. Yes. yes. Of course. And if a guy does it three times, what are we going to do? Keep not, that's him? not how the law is. That's not how, what's going on. But that's on. what happens a lot of times. We have no. career criminals who we can't get this off for law, individual we, crimes. We are not here to so stay. So three strikes we, and out. We are not here to be soft on crime. We believe that violent criminals should be persecuted to the full extent of the law. It's the non-violent, non-serious crimes. So if you're a shoplifter, you could exactly. do it over and over it, and over oh, and over that, again. If I, I work in a store and I'm barely making it and I got an epidemic of shoplifters... You know what? That's going to cripple wait, my business. Wait, so you want to send them to jail for 25 wait, years? Wait, 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 yes, for yes, yes. What about people that are hungry? What if they steal a piece of bread? You can go to hungry? a food kitchen any time and get a meal. Half these people are America. Half these people, 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 people are mentally ill. ill. Good, lock them up. <laughs> hey guys, let me just ask you a question for you. <laughs> just because somebody commits a crime three times, you're acting it's like they've three times. not three times. You're acting like they've only committed a crime three times. It means they got caught three times, which means they probably committed it twelve times. Stock fraud is a nonviolent crime. Should 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 a guy go free like like Milken go free because he did stock fraud? You know how many people he hurts, Howard? He. He, he hurts not, people. That's not, that's not the issue. You're talking the about some homeless guys. No, we're not talking about homeless. You're talking about... And a lot of these homeless guys turn out to be violent. You're and hiding they... behind two homeless people to free old the American. Yeah, we got we to lock everyone up. The American public sincerely believes that our prisons are teeming with dangerous and violent people. But over, wait, listen, listen to me. Over 70% of the people in prison in America are in prison for a non-violent offense. That doesn't mean they shouldn't be Over 70% okay. of people in prison in America are in prison for a non-violent All right, I've given the Jesus Twins the last word. I Howard, always like seeing you guys. You Howard, wrote a second. song. Yeah, we have a song for the cause. Where is it? 
Thank you. Right, let me hear a little of it. I can't I play the whole thing. How, how, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. I, I didn't fly from L.A. to play Casey. Nobody. One of the stipulations that you said that, that the whole song was going to be played. You said the song was going to be played. You, you said the whole song is going to be played. You said the whole song is going to be played. You said that. Whoa, 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 whoa,
it's a great. And I ran I don't think we're going to find anyone who likes it. Yes, play that song. Please, let's just play it and then Come decide. On. Play it and then decide. Does it get better? Wait, is it going to change? <laughs> yes, it does. You're saying there's a part coming up that's better. The whole thing is better. Just play right. the song. <laughs> but it was you me that night in a hotel room. There's a guy on the phone after the song who was in prison. You know what? You're in their prison right now. I'm in prison with them. You're in their prison. I want to be in isolation. Is this song helping you? No. There's a guy on the phone who was in prison, Henry Hill. Oh, my God. Listen, this is, this is a joke, all right? I don't well, th who's joking? Tell me who's so joking? Criminal. I'm the only one who even care. plays this stuff. I don't care about Henry Hill, all right? Well, maybe you don't, but other people do. Well, I, I don't. He was in the movie Goodfellas. That we was his do. life. Yeah, somebody yes. heard of him. Yeah. <laughs> what is it, Henry? Hey, hey, Howard. Yeah, you were in prison. What do you think? <laughs> You're all for think? not uh, having the three strikes. Oh, yeah, Henry loves this, what you guys are about. <laughs> Henry Hill? Yes. Oh, wait. <laughs> Well, that's the real Henry Hill. This guy could have you guys killed in two seconds. You want to know something? How, 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 what, how, what, how, what, how, yeah. You got it all wrong. Wow, oh, he's drunk. Uh, oh. Is he off the wagon? Are you on Are you on booze right now? No. No way, Jose. Uh -oh. well, what does he have to say? Come on, say something to the Jesus friends. What? The, the, the Jesus guys are, go, are coming on next. Uh, well, look, I thought that I do a cane on my little car. How many, how many <laughs> days did you <laughs> have before I, I, we... Uh... I, saw, I saw you in Vegas at the end of January. You were doing so good. What happened? Who's that? Is that Gary? Yeah. 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 Gary. Yeah. I'm in town. What town? Are we going to make this a goddamn Motown. joke? We're going to get the people out of prison. Wait a second. It's not all about you. Henry Hill is calling We're in. We're on the show right now. This so is a man us. in trouble. This is a man in trouble. You have no compassion. The guy, the guy's supposed to not drink. He could lose. Do you know his children were given over to black people to raise? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Henry. You better go sober up. Cabby, go ahead. <laughs> Cabby, quickly. Yeah, I just got to say, uh, these guys are idiots. And uh, I think one of your undercards for the fight should be uh, IPC, those uh, idiots from the Insane Clown Posse, fight these guys and see who the king of the idiot in right, the world is. Go ahead. Respond to that. Listen, I'm not responsive. To you don't even... You won't, hey, don't no use the F, F word. word. No Eric. F word. Come on, jackass. Pull your head out of your ass. You suffocate right, your listen. small brain. All right, all right. Enough listen. with the insult. I'm never Thank you. going home. Enormously high and narrow concrete. Buildings, walls, ceiling, floors, concrete. No... What's this guy saying? Who, Who knows what anyone's Who knows saying? Already. That's, that's, that's a... I'll give you one fact. That's Since the that's... three strike rule, violent crime and robberies are down in California. That's not true. That is that's... true. That is true. Just pull that off. Off the news wire. Yes, it is. Robberies and violent crimes are down. Since crime the three is down rule? when the economy oh, is good. That's what they don't mention. And and the politicians in California want you to believe that. But the truth of the matter is that the three strikes law in California is big business. In San Francisco, they don't implement the three strikes. Right, let me hear the rest of the song. Let me hear the rest of the Direct contact between inmates. I got to tell you something. I don't know what the song's about. Well, watch them listen. If they're talking I'm over listening. It. It's hard to listen. <laughs> hey, let me out. In some places now we're too. <laughs> well, why are you laughing? I just what think, are you it's, I think it's horrible. Uh, oh, my God. I mean, it's just... not a, horrible. Is a what you think? <laughs> hey, don't use the S word. Sorry. Come on. You know what? <laughs> John Lennon wrote Give Peace a Chance. At least it was a good song. I mean, I'm just dude, I'm just saying the music and the, sing, the singing's horrible. Right, right, right. The singing's horrible. I think your, your album was real great. I sold more than this crap will ever right. sell. John, no offense. But, uh, Yours is about on par with you. Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. I think in the final cut, you should leave in the phone call from Henry Hill. It makes it better. <laughs> I'm trying to understand the words. I can't fly. Lie, I can't fly. fly. I can't fly. Die. Oh my God. You're embarrassing right. yourself, moron. Harvey no one's Leeds. laughing with you. Harvey Leeds is on the phone. He's a professional record guy. Let him have the final word. Go ahead, Harvey. Hello there. Yeah, go ahead. What, what record company do you work for? Uh, Epic Records. 
Okay, go ahead. Over 30 years. Thank you. Um, Do you want well, to sign the guys? All, it's nice to be back in the air with the Jesus twins. <laughs> um, I think what they're talking about is a very serious topic. However, I think they're making a joke out of it. Did, and the song, I think, is just so... Listen, did, listen, this is... Um, finish. This, I think the song is so... Did, didn't we reject your ass a few years ago? I think the song... Is this, is this your way of getting retribution? Way of something? Are we going to get a real record company executive on the air? He is go? real. He is real. He's no, very he's not, big. He's as real as it gets, my friend. Yeah, he's as real as it gets. He is. He's a, he's a vice president. He's a, he's a, he's a also, very big and man. And he also came on the air with us a few years ago. And we called him a douchebag, and now he's trying to get the... So you called him a no, douchebag, no. and he's not important. No, no. This is his way of... Getting back at you guys, you feel. No, no. I think what they're talking ah, about is a up, very adult. serious subject. Right. But I'd like to see them get somebody of uh -huh, right. value and somebody who has artistic... Well, the boys are passionate, Harvey. They're... The boys are passionate. Yeah, but Harvey does make a point. Why would the group hook up with the Jesus Twins and not a, a band that has some recognition? I don't know any of the bands that really would hook up with this. So the Jesus Twins have taken it on. I guess. You know what? You know they who, were the only ones available. You know, look at this, oh, this is a serious I'm happy to see the Jesus Twins at least doing something serious. <laughs> The Bay City Rollers. They were, pa they were party boys for years. You know who's around? That guy from the Spin Doctors Listen, is doing is stuff. Yeah. All right, Harvey, well, thank you. I have you. one question. I mean, do they yeah. feel that every person that's in prison for a nonviolent crime deserves the same uh, prison sentence? I mean, you can't just lump it all together. Somebody, you know... What is he talking uh, about? I, I don't know either. All right, Harvey, you go back. You can't with him in person. I yeah, think. you talk to the Jesus <laughs> Twins person. All right, you boys getting laid on a personal note? Are you? That department's fine. All right, that's all that counts. Anyway. Right. What's your manager? What happened to him? Oh, forget about that. Where's your manager? I heard he's back. John no longer... No, John. John's no, not no, back? I heard no. he's going to be here today. No, he's not going to be here today. <laughs> <laughs> he was the best part of the ensemble. <laughs> yeah, the all right, Jesus Twins, it's good to see you boys. Thank you for coming in. You've gotten your message out. Let's see what happens. He has bled through this entire... Interview. I know. I'm very upset understand. about that. That's, there's no, I don't know what's going on with you. That you're punching a, a picture. That's crazy. Picture. That is crazy. You, you know what's even crazier is that 30,000 people are serving no, no, life no, in prison. No, no, it's not as crazy. All right, all right, all right. Okay. That's what's crazy. You guys, you got to take care of yourself. You can't sit there and punch. Your head. Do you play guitar? Yeah. Now, how are you going to play the guitar with your hand like that? Better. <laughs> how are you going to play your guitar now? Listen, my hand is fine. All right. All right. I've been told we went 40 minutes with the Jesus Twins. Oh, wow. see Jesus Twins? I'm getting yelled at because of this segment. And you scream like we don't give you air time. <laughs> All right. Um... Good luck with your cause, boys. Thank you very much. I know you're passionate about it. Jesus Twins, thank you for coming in. Come see us again. The Jesus Twins. Ladies and gentlemen, when I come back, there's going to be a weigh-in. we weighing in the Jesus Twins? <laughs> you know I what? love those guys. Yeah, so I right. love them. <laughs> They're the best. <laughs> very intense. I love them so yep. much. What was the, didn't they have another top, another uh, issue the last time they were in? They had another f movement. They were, uh, I think it was mental health. Right, mental health. Mental health. They're now into this. My favorite Moving part is they're standing there bleeding with those jackets and everything, and he goes, you're embarrassing yourself, moron. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, the Jesus twins have said it all. I sort of like them better in their Feel My Ubiquity days myself. <laughs> I think they're growing as artists. I, I, they, I have loved the growth. They have not stayed the same. They have changed with right. the times. You, you like their music? Oh, please. I'm not a fan of the music. I'm a fan of them. Yeah. No, no, I'm saying, but it seems like you I would. think they're insane. <laughs> and I like it. Let me out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Jesus Twins. We're going to take a break. Did you promise those guys you played their whole song? No, no, we never played the whole Maybe song. Maybe the publicist just Except to the get publicist. them in here. Say. All right, all right, we'll, we'll lie right. to get them in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll be back right after these words.